All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day four, Barbados. We're just gonna give you a quick rundown once again. We're gonna start off with the junior men's round of 48. We're gonna go into the junior women's round of 32 and then back to the men's, junior men's round of 32. That will round out the day. So service in the water, free servers. We got about 15 minutes before we're gonna start. So you're gonna wanna look to clear the lineup about 15 minutes before we start. All right, free servers, just a reminder. All right, kicking things off today, we have Will Dean in red, Jack Zietz in blue, Kieran Spring in white, and Diego Ferry in green.
All right, calling alternates for the junior men. Calling all the alternates for the junior men. Cannon Carr, Braden Birch, Kepa Mendia, and Jaden Hill. Can you please check in with the beach marshal? All right, free servers, free servers. We got about five minutes to start, so please make your way to the beach. We got about five minutes to start. Make your way to the beach. All right, webcast crew in the bus. We are going to be live in about 30 seconds. I'm going to talk for about two minutes, and then we're going to kick it off to the highlight reel, so please stand by. Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to the broadcast. We're tuning in today. I'm Louis Venezia sitting here with Jimmy Hogan. We're gonna get things started off today with the Live Like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. We're gonna go into junior men's junior men's round of 48. And then we're gonna go into the women's round of 32, and then back to the junior men's round of 32. So currently in the water, we have about a two to three foot wind swell, falling tide, low tide coming up right about now, 8 a.m. So that means the tide will be coming in pretty much for the whole day. Waves seem to have dropped off a little bit today, but it's scheduled to come back by tomorrow and then get a little pulse going on into the weekend. So yesterday we saw some women's action and junior men's action, so good surfing on tap yesterday. What did you think of the surfing yesterday, Jimmy? Uh, it was spectacular surfing uh, from some of those heats were really like finals and uh, it was, ex you know, some explosive surfing and some of the chess games at the beginning of the matches, you know, of, of the heats were very interesting to watch and um, we, we've seen a couple waves that were paddle battled and taken right as a horn blue and uh yeah it was pretty good blue yeah we had some good exchanges from the uh olin sisters one dropping sonoa getting two excellent rides coming out with a, a, a 16.5 two wave heat total also the young surfer from tahiti koa fiero boy she opened with a bang dropping a nine point ride right off the bat so it was exciting surfing nonetheless we're gonna throw it down for some highlights of yesterday's. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get started with the junior men's. So coming up in that first seat, we're gonna see Will Dean, Jack Zietz, Kieran Spring, and Diego Ferry. So we're gonna throw it down to the booth for some highlight reels of yesterday's action. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. The 
BTMI Barbados Surf Pro and Live Like Xander Junior Pro heated up in the Barbadian sun with women going lights out in their highly anticipated debuts with near perfection and explosive performances. Live Like Xander Junior Pro action got underway and the men showcased what's to come from emerging event threats. Check it out and more March 18th to the 24th. Okay, back to live action. Thank you very much, Niall Thomas, for that highlight reel. That was fantastic, really capturing yesterday's proceedings. So we're just about to kick things off. So free surfers are have cleared the water. Surfers are in the lineup. If we can get the webcast to tune in to the servers in the lineup, let everybody see what's going on on the outside. One minute to start. Here we go, guys. We're counting this one in. Ten seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. So we are on. The heat is on. Live and direct. Right here, you are tuned in to the BTMI Live Like Xander Jr. Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. This is heat number one in the round of 48. Coming up in the seat, you see Will Dean in red, Jack Zietz in blue, Kieran Spring in white, and Diego Ferry in the green jersey. These will be 20 minute heats. We are currently right at a bottom of the tide. So from here on out, the tide will be making its way in. So Jack Zietz gonna get up and riding on his first exchange. Yeah, Lou, I remember these low tide sessions when Xander would walk me across the reef and I'd be doing the urchin dance trying to get away from him. He'd just run across it like it was like it was just a sidewalk. I was like doing this <laughs> dance to get out. Yeah, it's, I, I was explaining to one of these servers this morning when I was growing up, from the rip to the rocks over here, which is about 100 yards, you didn't dare come in that area. I mean, I saw kids walking across that this morning. The urchins just aren't as much as they were before, but it was treacherous back in the day. You only had a very, very, very small little sidewalk to walk through, but that's changed a lot. So here we go, Blue, he's gonna look at this little insider. So he's already got two waves under his belt. Waves are a little smaller today, but it's still gonna hit the reef the right way and give these surfers plenty of scoring opportunity. So that's a little better than his first exchange. We'll see where the judges go with it. It's going to set the scale for the day. Just waiting to see if we can get these two replays of this young surfer from the USA, Jack Zietz. This is the junior men, so this is 20 and under. Still waiting for the scores to drop. They're watching the replays. And here we go, red up and riding. This is Will Dean. Top seed in this heat.
Will Dean currently ranked 22. He's currently ranked 22 in this junior rankings, North America rankings. All right, score is slowly starting to trickle in. Surfer in, in blue. First of blue, 3.0. First, second of blue, 383. First of red, 317. So Surfer in blue will hold down that third priority as the priority has not been established between white and green. Fourth priority will go to the surfer in red. 16 minutes, 10 seconds remaining in this first heat. So here we go, green up and right, and Diego Ferry saw some fireworks from him yesterday. Working it to the inside. So priority will go to the surfer in white on the outside, Kieran Spring. We'll wait for that score for green to trickle in. All right, last of green, 2.0. I think we're having a little technical difficulties. We difficulties with the replays so we'll try and get them to you as quickly as we can we're watching green scratching for this one he's paddling for it he's up and riding a little bit more bumpy conditions today but the wind is forecast to get a little bit lighter and go a little further to the right so this is just the bottom of the tide So early going, blue, blue currently in the lead. And we're looking at Will Dean, he goes up and out. So as soon as this next score for green drops and red, I'll give you the situation. Yeah, a little bit different strategy with 20 minute heats compared to 25. So. Uh yeah, that extra five minutes could feel like a lifetime. So last of green, 313. And White's going to use his priority, finding a nicer looking wave, a little more open face on it, and he can't manage that finishing maneuver. With three minutes, 20 seconds remaining. So 13 minutes, 20 seconds. I think we're having a little problem with all the graphics as well. So please bear with us. Or your eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit early in the morning as well. Yeah. I just happened to miss that one. <laughs> you know, if I get a, a good shot at you, you know I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, last of white, 357. So in first position is green, sorry, blue. Blue, you have a 383 and a 3.0. Green, you are second. You have a 3.1 and a 2.0. Red, you're third. You have a 317 and a 0.5. You require a 1.9. And white, you're fourth, sitting on a single wave of 3.57. You require 1.5. 12 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. 
And this heat number one, so we see the graphics of the scores on the, on the screen now. So it's working out a few kinks. We are on day four. This is the B BTMI Liv Alexander Junior Men's in memory of Xander Venezia. Hey Lou, why there's a lull here? I'm just curious. Last night I was like woke up and these guys had spotlights and they're running around the reef out here. What were they looking for? Um sea cat, octopus. Okay. Yeah. Good. Octopus. They can uh it's a, a local delicacy. Yeah, these guys were running across the reef like like it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. And they probably didn't have shoes on. That's why there's no more urchins on the reef. Because they're all on their feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I was like, what in the heck is this? Like, big old spotlights. I was like, that's weird. So I yeah. stood up and looked yeah, out the window and seen these guys running around out yeah. there with these big spotlights. So I was just curious. It yeah, they, 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 you know, there's not much in uh, like onshore fishing here. It's very strange. There's not much reef fishing here either. It's all, all pelagic ocean fish. But sea cat is abundant. Um, it's what we, you know, we call it sea cat, but it's really octopus. It's yeah, they abundant, and it's they do it here in all different ways: pickle it and fry it, bake it. But there's a lot of good recipes for it. Yeah, while in Portugal they're doing the same thing in the daytime. They got these sticks that look like uh, uh, the spear, you know, the yeah, spear uh, spear guns, but uh, just slingshots. That, Pretty and much the same thing, yeah. but the difference is that in, in, um, in the daytime, they, they go right down into the reef. It's only at night they come out, and it's only at low tide that you can fish for them. But anybody goes to a restaurant in Barbados and it has sea cat on the menu, order it. It's amazing. Another local delicacy here is uh, ceviche, and we have a lot of, a lot of kingfish and, and mahi-mahi um, that we fish. And we use the kingfish to do the ceviche. So it's, it's cooked, but it's cooked in lime juice. So it, the lime juice and the acid in the lime juice is what cooks the fish. Yeah, back to this heat, Lou. Uh, Blue, you know, right at the start of this heat, he didn't wait for anything. He turned around, got two waves right away, backed up his first wave. And uh, with half the heat gone, he's, he's in the lead with priority. Uh, it has a good strategy. The, the conditions have slowed down a little bit, and it, you know, everybody has realized that the conditions get slower on the lower tide. Uh, but there is plenty of scoring potential. It just slows down. So sometimes the low can last anywhere from five to ten minutes. But these twenty-minute heats, best thing to do is get an early start. You know, make that first wave count. And right now, that's right up there. You know, he's sitting on the highest score of the heat, three eight three. Surfer in white, only having mustered up one wave. So he was sitting with priority for a little while, but Surfer in blue in the driver's seat right now with the lead and priority. So he's going to have the pick of the lineup. Yeah, if white would have finished that last turn, it would have been definitely in the four range and above. Yeah, I would have think so. But he is in fourth priority. Suit Bowl is a predominantly right point break. So it's kind of difficult to separate yourself from the pack. There's eight minutes and 10 seconds left. Eight minutes and 10 seconds left. Priority blue, red second priority, green third priority, white fourth priority. And so here we go, blue. He's up and riding, looking to better. One of, well, he's one of his top two scores. A bit nicer looking wave, still lining up quite nice. Even though it's small, there's going to be plenty of scoring potential. So we'll see where that goes. It's judges set the scale on the first wave of the heat. So they'll do a lot of comparing back and forth. We do have live replays. Full panel of extremely qualified and experienced judges. Full panel of replay scoring. So judges comparing this. So this is the replay. 
I was back at live action, surfer in red. So this is the last wave of blue. And then we'll bring that replay for you from red. Yeah, breakdown of blue's last ride there, Lou. He just he took it and stayed busy going up and down, doing a couple of really nice turns and then getting a nice kick out. Yep, stayed nice and close to the pocket. These smaller waves, you don't want to end up getting too far out. You know, he got his feet in the wax right away, and then, you yep. know, you can see he's feeling that each wave seems to be getting just a little bit better. Just getting a little more accustomed to the... I'm waiting on your score, Blue. I'm waiting on the scores. Also waiting on a score for Red. All right, last of blue, four, six, seven. Last of red, 5.5. So red goes to first, blue drops to second. Green, you are third. You require a 5.37. And white, you are fourth. You require a 4.9. Five minutes, 30 seconds remaining. All right, here we go, white. Here in spring, going up in the lip, and he comes unglued and goes down. As green, looking at this one, he's going to leave it. Red's going to look to back up that 5.5. Five. He's going to leave it. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. Service in the next heat. You're free to paddle out. However, stay down in the channel. Okay, so situation in water, red first. As white is going to go up and out on this one. So red is first with a 5.5 five and a 3.1. Blue is second with a 4.6 and a 3.8. Green is third with a 3.1 and a 2.0. Green requires a 5.37. And white is fourth with a 3.5 and a 0 .80. He requires a 4.9. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining. So priority sits on the outside with surfer in green, followed by red, blue, then red, and white. So green, blue, red, white. White, way up inside, and red. As white goes up and out, following red down to the rip. As green paddling on the outside. Red working his way all the way to the inside. Priority change, blue, then green. All right, so red looking to back up that 5.5. He's sitting on a 317, currently in the lead with three minutes and 10 seconds remaining. All right, last of red, 583. That strengthens your lead. That is your best. So 583 for red, two minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Yeah, Lou, I, I noticed that, uh, you know, red had a little bit more lined up wave on that one. It had more face all the way through, and they rewarded him for that. Yeah, definitely picked a better wave. Here we go, white. 
Looking at this one, sniffing it out. He's going to have to get some legs. Here he goes, first turn up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. Hits the oncoming section. As this wave lines up for him on the inside. Throws it up, and on the outside, Blue gets up. Series of nice major maneuvers on the outside. Wow, going vertical. So this is a definitely a much better looking wave, and he ripped it to snot. As he's looking for a nice finishing maneuver, Jack Zietz. At one minute, 30 seconds, and red on the outside. He's going to get up on a nice little nugget. Eyeing up this inside section, coming off the bottom, throwing it vertical up in the lip is Will Dean. Yeah, he ranked 22nd. Here's the replay, and White kind of misses that first section, goes up and tags the. All right, last of blue, 783 blue, you go to first. Red, you require, you, you have another wave to drop. Yeah, here's the replay of blue. He goes straight up and attacks three verticals in a row, and that last one was really quick and fast and very fluid. He's been... You know, started off with a three, got a three eight three, a four point six seven, and a seven eight three. All right, last of red, six point zero. So white, you require an eight point two, and green, you require an eight point seven. So with twenty five seconds remaining, next heat, hold your positions. Next heat, stop paddling. Here we go green, sorry, blue up and riding. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Okay, white was up before the horn, so this will count. My voice is only a reference for the servers out there, letting them know the heat's counting down, but the actual end of the heat is when the horn goes off. Servers in the next heat, hold your positions. We're going to go on a short hold. We have a couple of scores to drop, so just hold your positions. We watch this replay of White. Yeah, he goes up right into the lip, gets a little bit caught right there, and um, tags it, but come unstuck on the end. Okay, last of Green coming in at a 4.37. That's not enough, and white is just going to come in at a 2.6. So last of blue, 437. So blue goes back to first and drops red back to second. So those two surfers will advance. So Jack Zietz taking the win, followed by Will Dean. We're going to go on a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with heat number two in this round of 48. Stand by. In red, we have Timothy Fande. In blue, Grayson Grant. In white, Quade Farian. And in green, <laughs> Back to live action. And that was Red just finishing away. We'll just wait for the replay. 19 minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Out the back, white paddling, white up. Nice roundhouse cut back at the start. Tack and lip, keeping the speed, following through back to the power pocket. As he S's his way into the inside, waiting for something to line up, he kicks out blue up behind him. 
attacking the lip, getting getting some speed, and some big power turns. It was a great finish there for Blue. Here goes Green up. Oh, has a little bobble on the bottom turn, kicks out, paddling back out. With a race with White, White's replay, roundhouse cutback, back to the power pocket, attacking the lip, and then we lost the rest of that, carving back into the pocket on screen. S turning in, and then he was finished that one up. All right, priority goes to red, white, green. Red, white, green. Red's going to use his priority. Timothy Fonde dropping a 4.8 on his first effort. While blue was up on the replay there, and we have live red up and surfing here in the pocket. And finishing here, and on that replay, blue. Battle green. Priority change, white, blue, green. On the last replay, blue finishing up with fireworks on the last turn, and back to live action. Here we go, replay of red. Drives it off the bottom, does a big carve in the power pocket, waiting for this thing to stand up, does two big carves, bouncing his way in, looking for a, a nice finish, gets another carve keeping the board flowing with a little check turn there and a little finish here, white up. Here we go, white up and right in. There's Quaid Farian. And green up on the outside, giving way to blue. As white, working it all the way down to the inside. Nice series of maneuvers, finding a good rhythm on that wave. Nice little front side hack to finish it off. Yeah, that was a good combination of uh, waves right there ridden. Uh, green that was behind blue on that. Uh, got a couple big hits. I'm looking forward to that replay. Blue. Yeah, last of previous of white. Previous wave of white, 4.4. So we're waiting for another score for red and another score for white and a small score for Blue. So priority on the outside. Here we go, Jim. Look at this one. Uh, blue attacking this, going straight up into the lip. Power pocket, roundhouse, hitting it again. s and through and kicking out. So green up and right and on the outside, down Banfield. Sending it up in the lip, throwing it up in the lip a second time. Out onto the open face, hits the north section, and he goes down. So last of blue, 6-3-3. Last of blue, 6-3-3. So still waiting for some scores for everybody else. As we watch this replay of green. Drives off the bottom. Car's a nice turn. Gets a little hung up there. Comes up and really gets some tags this one. Has a wave coming around. Fireworks right there, but comes unstuck. All right. All right, so... Yeah. Priority change, red goes to priority, blue second. And we're gonna watch this rave of red, he's up and riding. Floats the section and goes down, so as we're gonna stand by for these scores to drop, we're gonna cut to the glass, standing by with Amaya, is the winner of the last heat, Jack Zietz. Here we are at the St. Luke last with Jack Zeitz, who just won the heat number one, round number two of the BTMI uh, Live Like Xander Junior Pro and Loving Memory of Xander Venezia, presented by Diamonds International. How are you today? I'm good. I'm just stoked to be here and have some waves. First time ever being here, so it's always fun to see you somewhere new and surf somewhere new, and I'm just stoked to be here and get a couple waves in my heat. Yeah, you were just saying it's your first time here. How is it to adjust in those little morning conditions? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a, a weird wave for me. I mean, never serving here, I was kind of lost on uh, where to sit and 
where to line up with like the beach. But definitely free surfing in the morning and afternoon has been paying off and stoked to find a couple. Yeah, you did find that seven point with a few uh, nice backhand top turns. That must feel good under your feet. Yeah, it's always good to get a solid score for a seat in the morning and kind of start the day off. And yeah, I am just can't wait for the next round. Can't wait to see more for sure. I know it's very early back in California, but you want to say a little something for friends and family maybe? Yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to Still Frothy for uh, helping me get to this event and paying for my entry fees. And then uh, Dave Latinsky at Sex Wax for uh, being the best mentor I could ask for and all my family and sponsors at home. All right, thank you so much, man. Thank you Have so a much. good day. See you again, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Third, red, you require a 661. So back to live action. Blue goes to first. White second, red third, red requiring a 6.6. .6. And green, your fourth, requiring an 8.6. So blue with priority, Grayson Grant up in the lip. Gets unstuck and goes down. Just breaking that one down, Lou, I think. Um, surfers are still repositioning, and there's a lot of tactics going on as this, you know, a little bit smaller this morning and closer in. So the window of opportunities in a smaller area, the surfers are a little bit tighter bunched up, so it's a little more competitive. Tactics are going to come into play today. All right, with 11 minutes, 15 seconds remaining, server in blue, currently holding down the lead, sitting on a 6.8 and a 6.3, followed by server in white in second position. White is sitting on a 7.0 and a 4.4. Red, you are third, sitting on a 4.83 and a 4.1, requiring a 6.6 .6 to advance. And surfer in green, from Barbados, you are sitting in fourth position with a 2.6 and a 0.7. You require an 8.76. 10 minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Here we go, Blue. He is current heat leader, Grayson Grant. He's looking to replace the 633, and he knows he's not going to get that without opening maneuver, so he goes out the back. All right, Blue, giving another sniff. He's going to look at that insider. And he leaves it. So this is how Super Bowl gets in between swells. It kind of gets really slow, but there's still scoring potential, plenty scoring potential. We got two, three scores on this board in the good to very good range. So there's still a lot of opportunity out there, a lot of scoring potential still. There we go, Dan Banfield with third priority. He's going to use it, throws it up, bangs it off the lip, 
comes out onto the open face and red behind him as he comes around the first section. Nice top turn. Timothy Fande. Nice wrapping cutback. Working his way all the way to the inside. We watch this replay here of Green. Breaking down that last replay of Surfer in Red. All right, last of Red, 6.63. Six red, 6.63, six you're still in second position. If you want to regain the top position, you need a 6.5. That increases your lead on white. White is currently in third position. You now require a 4.4. And last of green, 3.5. You now require a 7.9. Six minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Priority is sitting with the surfer in white on the outside, followed by blue, then green, and red. Green, you're currently in first position. You have a 6.8 and a 6.3. As you were saying, Simon? We have written by red, uh, Timothy. He um, really did a lot of nice clean outside, real work, couple taps, roundhouse cut box. I linked it all the way through. As we're looking at Green, going up in the lip, down Banfield, picking that one up, way up inside. He's got a little bump to get over and he has a north section to hit, eyeing it up, throwing it up vertical, completing the maneuver. So down the man, he is looking to replace a two, six, seven, and that is gonna come close to his best which is just a 3.5, so we're gonna break this replay down. Going up in the lip, kinda getting a little hung up, kinda regains his composure. He sees the north section coming at him, sets himself up nicely and throws it up vertical. So the judges will analyze that, break it down, determine where it's gonna go. And red on the inside, up and out. So last of green, is gonna come in at a 4.0 green, 4.0. You now require a 7.4 with five minutes remaining. Coming up in the next heat, we're gonna see Nadi Vitar, Cooper Jewel, Becca McCart, and Kai St. George. You surfers should be checked in. Red, you are currently in second position. You have a 6.63 and a 4.8. Red up and writing, throwing it up in the lip, eyeing that north section, blizzed out the fins, getting way low on that north section. So it's good to see that we do still have a little bit of a north section in the water. That north section, you'll see it coming up in this replay. Right there. To give you any indication, the forecast for that north section is 0.2 of a meter, which is probably one foot at I think 13 or 14 seconds. And we get swells from the same direction with a forecast of two meters, 2.5 meters at 14, 15, 16 seconds. 
So you can do the math. That is when we get graced by the goat himself. That's his forecast right there. Anything over 2.5 meters with 14 seconds, he's a coming. I was telling Jim a couple of years, Jimmy, he was here with, I think it was Bill Hartley and a couple of other guys as we watched Blue up and right, and he's the current heat leader. Grayson Grant banging it vertical on that north section, cutting it back, and Red's up on the outside as Blue works his way to the inside, looking for that one finishing maneuver, bangs it up vertical, and Red with a beautiful swan dive, earned him a couple of extra points for that as we watch the replay of Blue. Yeah, Blue getting a little bigger wave here, coming straight off the bottom, attacking the lip, double, Double verticals back over this bump, letting the wave set up, really uh, making the most out of this wave and tagging it at the end. Well surfed wave, and he's uh, definitely putting the pressure on. Why Red out the back does a vertical on his, comes back into the power pocket, and he's waiting for this wave to set up, but didn't fade it out on him, and that was it. Waiting for scores for blue and red. All right, so two minutes remaining. And Surfer with white sitting with priority. White just requires a 4.4. Going to wait for this last to red, see if he's going to increase the requirement. Yeah, breaking that, that last of that exchange, definitely seeing blue getting... The better, of, the better of that exchange, but Red did a great outside first vertical turn. So judges will probably reward that with something. If it improves his situation, we'll see. Much green giving this one a sniff. Nope. He leaves it. So still waiting for that last of Red. We were talking yesterday. There's one minute, 10 seconds remaining. And for the surfer in Red, this heat's going to take... 10 more minutes to run by, and for the surfer in white, and we need to score, it's going to take 10 seconds to run by. <laughs> so last of, last of blue, 6.5. Yeah, that was a well-surfed wave there, Lou. We have 50 seconds left. Take it away. Yeah, last, last of blue doesn't look like it's going to factor in, so white, you're still requiring that 4.4. The 30 seconds remaining. If it does up your requirement, I will let you know. After review, after review, priority change. Priority goes to white, then green. White, red. Check that. White, red, blue, then green. White, red, blue, green. So blue is up and riding with 15 seconds remaining. So last of red, 4-2-3, does not factor in as this heat's going to come to a close with five seconds remaining. And three, two, and one. So that ends the heat. Servers in the next heat, please stand by, hold your positions. We're going to go on a short hold. So official results are going to go as follows. Taking the heat, win, and advancing, Grayson Grant. Coming in second in the red jersey, Timothy Fande. So you two servers will be surfing again today, later on in the round of 32 coming up this afternoon. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with heat number three in this round of 48. So stand by. We'll be right back. Up every single race, paradise is we name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. No search for many and miles.
All right, welcome back to the broadcast. We are live and direct. This is heat number three, round of 48. Coming up in this heat, the red jersey, Nadiv Vitar. In the blue jersey, Cooper Jewell. In the white jersey, Becca McCart. And in green, Kai St. George from Barbados. Big shout out to Dave Paskowitz, my good friend, Jimmy's good friend. Yeah, he's in Panama listening. Thank you for tuning in. There we go, live action, red up and right in the Diva Tar from Israel, working it out onto the open face. And white on the outside, way up inside. Eyeing up that first section, throws the reverse, spins it around, rides out cleanly, and he goes out the back. We're going to look at this replay. Here he goes up and attacks that first move, really explosive with speed in the roundhouse. S in this wave up, looking for something else, but it flattens out on him. But that first turn was very explosive as we see White coming up and throwing the tail into the tail reverse for one maneuver. And well done by both those guys. What do you think, Simon? Yeah, looking at that replay there, those were two pretty similar, well, similarly scoring waves, but that one last wave by White, that's the most explosive maneuver for the heat. That was a large blow tail straight into reverse cleanly. He didn't even grab any rails. Ought to see how the judges think about that. Right up in blue, so taking blue. a wave higher up and higher up, not really able to make that connection. Yeah, so I mean, both those waves were ridden a little bit different here. They're on their screen, we have Blue doing a little cut back and just pretty much this wave fading out on him. He get, he's going to get back out and look for something else. But those first exchange with uh, Red and White as the scores are coming in, uh, Red gets a 6.67 there, Lou. What do you think? Uh, definitely a good well surf wave. And judge re judges rewarding it with a, a good sc a score in the good range. First of white coming in at 517. And the first of blue coming in at a 2.0. So priority will go with surfer in green, Kai St. George, as white is up and riding. So white earned a 5.17 on that little blow tail reverse. He's going to look to back it up with this wave here. Yeah, I felt like the difference was, Simon, on that first turn that Red got, it was very explosive in the pocket. And uh, on White, he really didn't get above the lip on that rotation. So, uh, yeah, that was the split of the difference there. Uh, we're, we're playing last of White. He picks up this wave almost, up, almost in the middle of the... All right, here we go. Green, he's going to go up and writing. It's Kai St. George, local boy from Barbados, working out onto the open face. He goes up and out the back. So while we have a little break in the action, we are going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Grayson Grant. Here we are at the St. Louis glass with the winner of Oh. Here we are at the glass with the winner of heat number two, round two of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. How are you, Grace and Grant? Doing good, you know. Good to get the first heat, the juniors out of the way. So, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, you managed to find a couple of sixes over there in those uh, kind of difficult-ish conditions. Yeah, it was uh, pretty difficult, a lot smaller than the past few days. So that felt good, you know, get some sixes and, yeah get the ball rolling. Felt good. How is it here compared to where you're from in California? It has a lot more punch here. You know, if it was like this back home, I, f I live in uh, Encinitas, so if it was like this, it'd be a lot softer and not as punchy, so it's cool to be surfing here and still have a little bit of punch, you know, when it's small. Well, it's nice to have you back here for your second year in this contest. Um, really stoked to see you on to the next round. You want to Hopefully, maybe say something if some friends and family are awake. <laughs> yeah, I want to uh, shout out the Encinitas crew and uh, shout out to my family and stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep it going. All right, thank you so much. Good luck for the next round.
was a 3-0-7. As we're back to live action, had a couple of waves ridden while they were on that short break. Red dropping a 4-3-7. Green dropping a 3-0-7. So situation in the water. We're going to look at this last of red. Yeah, red picks off this one on the inside, does a power turn, lets this wave stack up, comes around the corner with more fireworks, explosion on that, really explosive surfing. And very, uh, you know, his strategy, Lou, looks like he got two waves in the first five minutes. Here we go with green, then doing one big turn out the back and the wave fades out on him. Back to red, you know, he got two waves in f five minutes. He's got 15 minutes to back it up now. Uh, I think that's a pretty good strategy that he's got going. Everybody else has two waves except blue, but blue has priority. Yeah, you definitely want to get as early a start as you can. As I was saying, it does lull off a little bit when the tide starts to change. We had a low tide of about 8 o'clock this morning, so tide's going to start pushing in. Red's going to turn with third priority. He's going to give way to White, who has a higher priority. Throws up the first turn, comes out onto the upper face, floats the section, gets around it, and he's got the inside section to work on now. Looking for a finishing maneuver, bangs it up vertical, and he goes out the back. So that's Surfer in second position. He's sitting on a 5.17 and a 2.83. Yeah, queuing up the replay of that one. Surfer and White picks this one quite deep. He has a lovely first hit, throwing lots of water. He comes from behind, hits the white water again. Redirects, waits for the inside connection. Gets one big hit and finishes almost with a vertical stab and he rides out cleanly. That's going to be a good score. Yeah, that's a well-ridden wave there, Simon. He uh, connected from one maneuver to the next and uh, I think he'll get a nice reward from that. Yep. I think he utilized everything he could out of that. Yeah, that's going to go. That's definitely going to be his best. Here we go. Blue up and right in. Cooper Jewell, he's currently in fourth position, just sitting on a one single wave of a two. But yeah, we're going to wait for that score for White to come in. That's going to probably be his best as we're watching the replay of. Yeah, Blue gets this wave. It, this wave just kind of let him down. He wasn't able to get any action on this, but uh, he'll get back out there and catch another one. So even though today it seems to be a, a, a little bit smaller than yesterday, the conditions right now are quite clean, and the waves are actually hitting on the reef and grinding down the line, and there's still quality in terms of we have faced some maneuvers and it's actually not a little better. It's not as disjointed as yesterday at this time. But we're hoping for improvement in the size of the swell at the higher tide later on today. All right, scores for White starting to trickle in. They're looking good. Could possibly be best of the heat. All right, so last of White, 6.83. White, you go to first. Red, you drop to second. Last of Green was a 2.27. So Green, you are in third position. You now require a 7.9, and red, blue, you are fourth. You have a 2.0, and I'm waiting on your last score, and then I will give you your requirement. So blue, your last score was a 2.2. You, you require an 8.4. So 10 minutes, 40 seconds remaining as red picks off this little one. As he's working his way all the way down to the inside. And he goes out the back. And we go white up and riding on the outside. Yeah, here we go on that replay for red. Comes out with really explosive turn with some power. Come, carves it back to the power pocket really showing his strength on his rail, rail game here and firing off a big tail whip there. And he's looking for a finish and comes up and s pops off the back of the board. But well surf wave there, Simon, what do you think? Yes, this, um, this young surfer is from Israel, Nadav Atar. He seems to have a very 
good point break style and he's a beautiful surfer to watch. Blue up and riding and out the back. Yeah, again, uh, Red is from Israel and he lives in uh, northern Costa Rica. Like he's, he's looks certainly very comfortable out there and you know, he, he's very pleasing on the eye to watch. All right, so situation in water, red, you just dropped a 5.57, you go back to first. White, you drop the second. Green, you are currently in third position. You require an 8.90. And blue, you are fourth, requiring a 9.8. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining heat. So coming up in this next heat, we're going to see Ocean Giddens, Rex Hennings, Tommy Lason, and Liam Knight. You servers have about three minutes to paddle out. When you do pilot out, please stay down in the channel. Priority order, green, white, red, green, white, blue, red, green, white, blue, then red. Eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, Lou, with this, the slower conditions today, we're still seeing high scores. You know, we got a pair of 12s leading first and second in this heat. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, it's a little smaller, but definitely, definitely a lot of scoring potential out there with the lighter conditions, the lighter winds. Um, as Simon was saying, the, the, the lines, it's, you know, it seems to line up really nice with those lighter winds. The wind is forecasted to get even lighter this afternoon and swing more around to the right, which is the east, which would clean the waves up a little better. Yeah, in the last heat, you know, the top two winners... There was three, the top three scores were 13.37, 11.46, and 11.43. So there's definitely a scoring opportunity out there for the guys to get those kind of scores. So uh, even though it's slower than normal, there's lots of scoring potential. Red, you're currently in first position. Your last wave was a 5.5. Seven minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Yeah, Jim, it's, you know, there's plenty of scoring potential. And, I mean, the, the water clarity today, too, is, you know, the lighter, smaller waves. If anybody has really good polarized glasses from on top of the scaffolding and top of the stage, you can actually see the reef. White, you're currently in second position. If you want to go back to first, you need a 5.4. Blue is in, sorry, green is in third, requiring an 8.9. Blue is in fourth, requiring a 9.8. As I was saying, if anybody has on the beach has good polarized shades, you can actually see the outline of the reef just on the outside of the surfers. It's about 20 feet on the outside of them. And it doesn't matter if the waves are 6 foot or 10 foot. It don't break any further out than where it breaks each time. It, when the bigger sets and the bigger days come in, it just draws the water off the reef. And the, the wave actually almost doesn't break from the top to the bottom it breaks from the bottom and the top folds over so the water sucks up the face and falls over the top of the wave creating the soup bowl the barrel that we get here is is insane so red way up inside he's up and right and he is the current heat leader looking to replace a 5.57 he's going to work his way to the inside gets a crown that little reef tip Yeah, breaking down last of red. Sir from Israel, Israel living um, in Costa Rica. He really has a lovely point break style. Just a little check turn to start with. Rip doubles up, builds some speed, gets a lovely little flow. He says it's not even worth the f a phone playing effort. He's out of there. He's already got his scores down. He's going to be out the back looking for a better wave. So Nadav currently in 24th position in the rankings. Yeah, in these conditions, you know, they're very difficult, but the judges are definitely picking it apart and uh, being able to separate. Uh, and I think they're doing a great job, that pair. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. White going left, looking at that air section, flicks it around, and he comes undone in about a foot of water. Yeah, in these conditions, Lou, they're, they're so similar that, uh, you know, th this is... Uh, 
probably one of the harder conditions to judge as a judge, I would think, because everyone's yeah so close. But they're they're picking it apart and they're they're doing a great job up here. Yeah, the judges are doing an awesome job up here. As we're going to look at this replay, he's eyeing that north section, throws it around, flicks it out, and literally he is probably in about a foot of water, right there. He's up on his board and paddling back out. Yeah, he knew that. He, he fell flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think today, with this smaller conditions, yes. you, you might see surfers actually elect to go left on quite a few ways as the opportunity to throw airs with the wind and holding the board underneath. Your feet is there, and some of these lefts actually pack a little more punch than the rights when it's this size. Yeah, for sure. It's going to hit the reef a little bit different. It's going to line up a little better on some of the laps, especially when the tide starts to come in. With three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Surfer in green, Kai St. George from Barbados, holding down the priority, looking for an 8.93. So he just needs to find one of those runners because Kai has a world of talent. He can just offload on his backside, on his backhand. Yeah, Simon, uh, talking about those lefts, Philippe, in the men's uh, a few rounds back, he did a full rotation on one of the lefts, like a big one. He he, let, he got it rewarded for a nine two seven, and I was able to watch him in the the U.S. Pro Tour going on the last couple of events preparing for this event. Uh, so it's been fun to watch some of these guys prepare in different areas. Some of them I have never met before, but some of them I'm just watching and observing and. Uh, it, it's good to see. So here we go. Paddle out the back. Take it away, Simon. Surfers spotting little white water and some lanes up in High Rock, and they're moving around. You can so you, you can actually see the surfer from Barbados, Kai St. George. He is not even daring to follow these kids up there because he knows that they're way outside the bowl. So white is up but gives way to red, as I was just saying. You know, look, Kai is right there. Green is right there on the bowl as green, sorry, blue goes left. And we're going to follow him. So surfer in green looking at this one with two minutes remaining. Where he is is going. To, that is actually Super Bowl. Those other surfers are way up above. So they're way off the peak. One minute, 45 seconds, one minute, 45 seconds. So Surfer in blue, waiting for a wave as we watch that replay. One minute, 25. This is time really so, uh, ran away quickly in this one, huh, Lou? So last of blue, 367. Blue, you now require an 833. You have gone to third. Green, you dropped to fourth. You still require that 8.9 with one minute, five seconds remaining. So the trend remains that the servers that get busy earlier in the heat usually end up coming out on top. But you gotta look for little waves that have a little stretched out wall and try and make all the connections you can. Mm, Kai was so wishing that was gonna open up for him. He does have a good air game as well. With 30 seconds remaining, he was eyeing that left. I was saying the other day that we've seen this event win twice on the buzzer with going left. Cam Richards, Cam Richards won. And also, Cole Hauschman. Next heat, please hold your positions. Next heat, hold your positions. Thank you. So we're going to count this one in. in five, four, three, two, one. White was not up in time. Deems the judge, the priority judge. So that wave will not count. Service in the next heat, hold your positions. We're going to be on a short hold.
So official results, taking the win, Surfer in red. Nadal Batar moving on to the round of 32. Also in second position, moving into the round of 32 is Becca McCart. So those two servers will be surfing later on today. So we're going to throw it down for a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with heat number three in this round of 48. Stay tuned. <laughs> to live action as we see green up and riding and on the outside white Tommy Lason from Barbados he goes up and down so coming up in the seat in red Ocean Giddens in blue Rex Hennings in white Tommy Lason and in green Liam Knight so surfer in green just dropping a 2.33 and surfer in white with a 1.0 Yeah, looking for smooth transitions with major quality combination of turns out here is what is being rewarded today, Lou. Yeah, quality maneuvers. We saw a lot of them yesterday real close right up under the curl. Saw a lot of scores going up in the excellent range. Saw a couple of nines. So the judges are definitely rewarding now as high risk maneuvers in the most critical spot of the wave with 18 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Only two surfers having caught waves that was the surfer in green and white so white will go to third priority and green will go to fourth leaving the surfers in red and blue with conventional priority as no priority has been established with them yet So they're just there at the bottom of your screen. You can just see that little piece of the reef there. That reef is completely exposed at low tide. And at high tide, there's only at most two feet of water on it. So we only have about a three foot tidal swing here. Doesn't really affect the waves too, too much as you see the reef there. Those are the little tidal pools that we all love to soak in as we pan back to live action. This is Tommy Lason up and riding. This kid's explosive, throws out the fins, up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. Here he comes onto the shoulder, setting up this inside racetrack. Gonna look for a finishing maneuver. Tommy Lason, nice little front side hack. I want, I want to Crowd likes it, let's see what the judges think. I'm sure, I'm sure his, uh, his family's breathing a sigh of relief right there now. Tommy starts off with a lovely hook back in the pocket. Then he gets a little form claim, waits for it, tags a lovely round house cut back, picks the lower road, makes the connection. Just does a couple more little, a little check snap to finish it off. Way down on the rip, probably in about a foot of water. Live action. Back Blue. to live action. Rex Hennings working it on a better quality wave, better quality maneuvers. That seems to be the day, the day's order. Pick a better wave, you're going to get the better opportunity. So as these scores for white start to trickle in, we're going to watch red up and right, and he's another local boy, Ocean Giddens, out onto the open face. Working this one to the inside. Score for white coming in at a 4.3. So that's a decent little start as Ocean trying to make the connection, but the wave just not cooperating. I think maybe what wave size is going to be a little bit of a factor today. Maybe in that, we're replaying last of blue. Jim, go ahead. Yeah, he, he get, gathers the speed up here, does a big power carve into a figure eight, straight from the figure eight up into the power pocket there with a nice turn with a big tail throw there. 
and finish him with a little turn and kick out. So uh, nice, smooth transitions on his as we see Red Ocean getting a, attacking it out the back, doing a big roundhouse. You can tell he knows this wave. He bounces back into this double up and waiting for the reform, being very patient, waiting for this thing to set up for him. Unfortunately, this wave really didn't give him anything at the end, but you could tell that section, he knows it really well. Yeah, last of blue comes in at a 5.67. So blue goes to first. As I can see, a couple scores for red. He's not going to get up there. So blue momentarily is in first. Just going to wait for this last score for red to drop, and then I'll update the whole situation. 14 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. All right, while we're waiting for those scores, standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat. We'll get to that as soon as we watch this wave of white. Okay, here we go. We're going to send it down to Amaya. Standing by with the Divatar, winner of the last heat. Here we are at the Saint Luke Glass with Nadavatar representing Israel, who just won heat number three, round two of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. How are you today? I'm really good. Uh, I'm always happy to be here. This is a great place. I look forward to this trip every year. And uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Well, not the easiest conditions once again over there. Kind of slow, but you managed to get a couple, score, a couple score just under your feet. Yeah, the waves are a lot smaller today. Um, it's super shallow too, so it's kind of really hard to tell which waves are good. But I'm super happy I got those two I got. Um, I'm feeling really good. We have another round today, so I really want to pass that one too. So yeah. So how are you going to prepare for that second round? I'm going to go home. We're staying together, a few, a few friends from Costa Rica, and Keanu too, we adopted him. He's from Japan. And uh, Rachel's coming up in junior women, and then Tosh is also in round two juniors. So yeah, we're going to support them. I'm going to get ready, and, and yeah. All right, well, I can't wait to see you more over there, you know, catching some some good waves, maybe bigger scores, right? Yeah. You want to give a little shout-out to friends and family around the world? Yeah, I know my parents are watching. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I know my brother and my best friend are watching, too, so I love you guys, too. I miss you guys, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action. Here we go. Ocean Giddens up and riding from Barbados. Bangs it up in the lip. Not offering much more, just looking back up that 4.4343. Judging by the way the last couple of heats have gone, he's even the last heat was two surfers had 12 point two wave heat totals, first and second. So that seems to be the order of the day. And and, and Rex Hennings, he's sitting on a 5.67 and looking to back up that. Working his way onto the inside. A couple of cutbacks. Wave not offering much other than that, so he kicks out the back. Leaving the server in green, Liam Knight with priority on the outside, followed by white, Tommy Lason. 12 minutes, 15 seconds as we take a look at this smaller inside wave. I think Rex is just trying to stay busy, back up that score. It is getting a little bit lully, so you want to get those three waves on two waves on your belt that comes in at a 3.7 for blue so blue goes to first white drops to second red your third you now require a 3.1 red and green your fourth sitting on just a single wave of a 233 three. you require a 4.2 green is holding priority followed by white then red 11 minutes 45 seconds remaining So Red's going to look at this one with third priority. Up and riding. Ocean Giddens. All depends on how this North Peak hits the reef. It's going to roll on to him. Here he goes. Nice little tail slash. Cleans the windscreen. And he goes out the back. So he's currently just looking to better a 3.43 or a 2.7. I think that's going to come in as his best. We watch the replay here. Yeah, breaking down the replay of Ocean. Local boy does a little fade in a form claim. Lovely roundhouse cut back there. 
sets up the inside with a layback. And then he gets one final hit on that wave, so he'd be pleased with that. Probably his best wave right. of the heat. So here we go, surfers, two surfers up on the outside in white and green. This is Tommy Lason in white. Doing good to keep the nose of that board from purling as he and Green are gonna battle to the outside. So Green getting his second ride. Tommy trying to better on his first. Yeah, breaking down Green's wave. Cuts back here. He's waiting for something to happen, but this wave's kind of going out to sea, so it's kind of letting him down. He wasn't able to really capitalize. The wave was breaking out to sea, and he, he was trying to make something out of nothing. But he kicks out and gets back out there, and here goes White cutting back to the power, waiting for this wave to stand up, zigzagging back and forth, drives off the bottom into the power pocket, hits it, pokes the nose a little bit, but comes out with a fast, explosive turn that then kicks out, and he gets back out. Yeah, bre breaking that down, I think maybe Tom Tommy could be on a groveler today, and he seems to almost have po poked the nose twice on that. Um, the wave, that wave was... I think he would still have got the better of that exchange, though. Yeah, I think so, too. It's not going to come in as the highest in the heat. All right, 4-1-0 for white. 3.7 for the last of blue. 4-6-7 for the last of white. And 2-6-7 for the last of green. So with nine minutes remaining, blue is in first. White is in second. Red, you are third. You require a 3.76. And green is in fourth, requiring a 5.76. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So red's giving this one a look. He's in second priority, up and right in Ocean Giddens. Little wrapping cut back. He's got a north section ahead of him. Throws it up in the lip. Out onto the open face. Another little cut back. He's going to look to finish this one. It's going to hit the reef and, and continue on for him. Here he goes around the section. Throws it up in the lip. And the wave just runs away with him. It was a little bit of a smaller inside wave and kind of got a little hung up. But I still think he got some work done. Eight minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Surfer's putting themselves into position. Server in blue going to hold priority and pull the trigger. So here he goes, throws up the first turn, out onto the open face. Pushes out the fins, cutting it back, staying with the power. And green is going up on the outside as red, sorry, blue continues onto the inside. So green, this is live. So he throws it up in the lip. Didn't really have too much other than a couple of cutbacks on the outside. We'll be able to see that in the replay. With seven minutes, 30 seconds remaining, leaves the surfer in white. Tommy Lason by himself on the outside with priority and bl here's blue on the breakdown takes off throws it straight up into the lip where the power pocket was it has a little bobble there comes up and snaps it though his board looks really good under his feet as he's s turning back looking for a finish here does a little foam climb a little slash and he's back out simon break down this next one will you this is live action Ocean Giddens flicking around the reverse. Not being able to ride out of that one. So last of red, 417. Red, you go to second. So white, you now drop to third. White, you require a 4.5. And green, I still have a wave coming for you. I will then give you your requirement. Look, looking back at that um, exchange, I think it was a pivotal moment in the heat there for Blue, where he nailed the, put all the nails in the coffin with that set wave that he was able to get good outside maneuvers and connecting it all the way through and finishing it strong. So it's really a, a race for who can grab the second spot here now because Blue has solidified their position. Still plenty of time, six minutes left. So these scores for blue trickling in, 5.6 blue, 5.6. So you are in first, red is in second, 
White is in third. White, you require a 4.5. And Green, you are in fourth, requiring a 5.6. Your last coming in at a 3.2 Green, so you require a 5.6. Five minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Big shout out to my good buddy, Rodney Archer, one of Palm Beach's finest. Watching back from Florida, he's usually here for this event. Can't make it this year. Welcome to the broadcast. Great, you're tuned in. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes, surfers. Rodney got a heart of gold. He will do anything for anyone. Great man. Thank you very much, Rodney, for your service. All right. White holding priority. Red with last priority. And everybody lets him go. So he flicks it up. Blows out the fins. But this is going to get a nice little inside section. Here we go. This is the North Peak. Comes off the bottom. Throws it up in the lip. Working it out. Can he get around it and get a finishing maneuver? Here we go, Ocean Giddens looking at this one, eyeing it up, banging it, completing the maneuver. So Ocean Giddens with fourth priority sneaks that one away. We saw Leilani McGonigal dropping 8.5 yesterday. As White with priority, he's going to pull the trigger. This is o Tommy Lason comes around the first section. He's going to get a nice looking wave on the inside. Waiting for it to line up. And he kicks out and goes out the back knowing that he doesn't have that he doesn't have an outside maneuver. So with three minutes, 50 seconds remaining, this could have been a big blunder by a lot of these servers as we're gonna watch this replay of Red. Uh, replaying Red, he actually blew the fins out, had to lay back, and he came around that. Got a lovely north section, hit that section, waited, had to take his time to get around the end of it, but now he's connecting the last dots, still was able to hit a finish. So that'll be a well, that's a well surf wave, and that's probably going to be his best score. We're playing Blast of White, Tommy Lason. Pull the trigger on this medium sized set wave, had to do some setup work. Two round house cut, he's really clean, but he decided, elected to get out as the inside connection wasn't there for him. All right, last of what red, 517. Last of red, 517, so white, you now require a 5.5. And green, you now require a 6.6. .6. Two minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Surfers in the next heat, hold your positions. Thank you. Yeah, Lou, red on that last wave, he manufactured that whole score. Uh, you know, he threw the fins out, came up, attacked it, and then really had to work to get that last finish and uh yeah he did rewarded him but uh he, he had a lot of work to do on that his blues up and riding blue up and riding throws a reverse and can't hang on he goes down so with two minutes 20 seconds remaining yeah jim the amazing thing is, is that he was in fourth priority and everybody let him go so at that point in time you can't you know the, the, the surfer in third and fourth just required they both required fours, and he took the wave and dropped the five one seven. How was this replay here? Yeah, he's really throwing it up there, trying to extend his lead. Yeah, back to live action, Ocean Giddings, and White on the outside. He's paddling, but he can't get in, so he drops. He stays in second priority, but Green with priority, with one minute forty five seconds remaining, goes up in the lip vertical. Out onto the open face, nice cutback. So he has that outside maneuver. So he's trying his best to stick with it, but the wave goes away from him. White, you're too far. Go back, White. Next heat, you're too far. Paddle back to red. Thank you very much. Every single heat that has run for the entire event, we have given every surfer enough time to get to the lineup. There's no reason to try and interfere with these surfers. And Blue up and right, and he is the current heat leading leader, coming hard off the bottom. Nice down carve on a bigger wave of the set. And White up and riding on the outside as Blue sticking with this one. But White going to town on the outside. 
Series of major maneuvers out onto the open face. Nice wrapping cutback. Tommy Lason looking to finish this one strong. Nice big closeout section as Red, he's also trying to answer back, throws a reverse, tries to flick it around and can't hang on. So with 30 seconds remaining, this could shake up everything. So I'm going to drop these scores as soon as they come in with 20 seconds remaining. The server's on the inside. Sure, they have no chance of getting back out to the outside. With just 15 seconds remaining, leaving the surfer in green by himself on the outside. Yeah, I, li I really like this wave here of blue on his replay. It comes at right at, it has a bowl coming down. In him three, two, one. Does a combination of two nice maneuvers, but unfortunately that wave didn't give him that much. Uh, yeah, but this offer. is the breakdown of white. Break, breaking out last of white, Tommy Lason. Picks up a lovely growing wave here. There's some setup work and two, two lovely first hits. He holds it on real, lovely round host cut back. Just setting up the inside. There's another snap. Keep links inside connection. Okay, servers in the next heat. Hold your positions. We're just gonna be on a short hold as we watch this last of red. This was an important wave for red because potentially white May have leapfrogged him, so he's trying to answer yeah, back. Yeah, last of Red Oak should get his did some great outside work through a big air reverse, but wasn't able to write out cleanly. But he did some outside work. You have to see how the judges will compare those two scores. So we're just waiting for some scores to drop here. Blue's last wave coming in at a 7.17. Blue is in first position, and I don't think that's going to change. But we are looking at this score for white and for red. The judge is watching this replay, so servers in the next heat. Just hold your positions. Still standing by for these scores, surfers. And judges watching replays, making comparisons, want to make sure to get this right. They've done a phenomenal job so far this entire event. Judges still going through all the replays, trying to lock in all the scores, so we're still waiting. I got definitely a lot to consider in the last two minutes. All right, here we go. Scores starting to trickle in. All right, server in white, needs a 5.51, drops a 5.7, turns the heat, goes to second. And the crowd goes bad. So taking the win in blue, Rex Hennings coming in second and advancing into the round of, into the round of 32 was Tommy Lason. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with action from heat number five in this round of 48. Please stand by and stay tuned. I'm from a place, we upset every single race. Paradise is we name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year Where we just get away Most beautiful display No search for many and ways Travel for many and miles To find a time like this And have a time like this You may have a million problems Peace and place to ease your mind Welcome to my place Oh yeah In a mind of mine This place here is the sweetest place My country you can eat on
Okay, back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're gonna see Benji Lang in red, Hunter Saunders in blue, Gabriel Diarahu in white, and Luke Rubensdorf in green. Just one wave ridden, and that was by the surfer in white, dropping, hasn't dropped yet. But this is Benji Lang up and riding, working it out onto the open face, throwing it up, nice quality maneuver right there, another quality maneuver right there. So Benji Lang's on his way to a good score. He's gonna try and finish this one strong. He's got two major maneuvers on the outside. As he finishes the wave, so the first of green, sorry, white starting to trickle in. Xander would like that wave, uh, breaking it down. Getting one in the bowl here, going straight vertical with power snap. Has very nice transitions, keeping the speed with another big hack. And he's got this board going like it's a half pipe up and down, getting it all the way through, finishing right here. A little poke of the nose at the end, but well surfed wave by Red. Yeah, all the work was done on the outside. I'm, it's gonna get very close to the excellent range for sure. That reminded me of Xander a lot right there. <laughs> it really did. I, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So here we go, last first of Red, 717. First of Red, 717. As we watch the surfer in white working his way down to the inside, his first score only coming in at a 1.6. Getting very, 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 very close to that reef on the inside there. He's probably in about six inches of water right there. Got him. And blue up and right in. Hudson Saunders from the USA, and he goes out the back. So green, Luke Rubensdorf, up and riding, and leaving it almost an empty lineup on the outside. There's a lovely inside wave rolling through as he goes down. So priority is going to go with the surfer on the outside in red, with 17 minutes remaining. Three waves just hit the reef the right way and rolled off onto the, and, and including that one you're seeing there at the bottom of your screen that surfers duck diving. Yeah, green taking off on that one on the replay. The wave kind of letting him down, but at the beginning he, he sticks with it, lets the thing stack up and he gets a real nice finish. Uh, gets, gets his feet in the wax and uh, down to the glass, Lou. Interview. All right, we're looking for green. Jock Ackerman, Jock Ackerman in the next heat. Call to check in. You still have time. You've got 16 minutes. So while we are waiting, a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass with Amaya, winner of the last heat, Rex Hennings. Here we are at the St. Louis Glass with Rex Henning, who just won heat four of the second round of the BTMA Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I uh, saw so you found a little gem over there, not easy conditions, but you did manage to hit that sections pretty well. Yeah, no, when you're watching the waves before your heat, you can't really, there's a lot of good ones, but it's like hard to find them. So if you could find one in a the heat, then that's pretty good. Yeah, well, you. I don't know if you realized, but you did. You probably like took it because it had like a little north yeah. coming in, and you knew that it was there was gonna be a, a wall standing up. So that's pretty good. You want to talk to us about what you're riding today? Um, I'm riding a uh, hand-me-down uh, lost surfboards. It's Lucas's old board, and I just saw it and I found it. It feels pretty good. It's a Driver Three. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, how about friends and family back in San Clemente? You think they're awake and watching? Um, yeah, I think they're watching. I'd like to say hi to my brother Mick and the rest of my family. All right, well, thank you so much. Can't wait to see more. Maybe see you at the next round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right, back from that interview. Nothing really happened while we were away on that interview. A couple of scores coming in, and red dropping a 717, blue dropping a 2.5, white dropping a 1.87, and green with his opener of a 377. So early going, 
Benji Lang surfing red in first position. And in second position, Luke Rubensdorf. Third position is Gabriel in white and blue in fourth. White, you require a 1.9, and blue, you require a 1.2. Yeah, just like I thought, Lou, uh, Red's wave went into that very good range. He surfed it, got a little bit bigger wave, surfed it in the power pocket, and here goes green, Lou. Up and right in, working it out onto the open face, going for the big blow tail, and comes undone. So that may have been a little bit of a mishap. You want to build that house before you can burn it down. <laughs> 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. You are tuned into the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro. In memory of Xander Venezia, we've been doing 12 years of these events as we watch green Hunter Saunders up and riding. He, he is currently in, sorry, blue. As an announcer, I, I, you're looking right at the color, you're seeing the color, and you still say it wrong. Sometimes you see the baggies, and the baggies are a different color, or the surfboard's yellow, and you call it yellow, and, the, and a green jersey. And I didn't even realize I just said green. I did it once today as well. <laughs> I, I, I thought blue was right, and it was actually green, so. Yeah. So that last of blue coming in at 1.9, last of green, 1.07. So here we go with a replay of blue. Drives off the bottom, trying to let this thing stack up, get, keeping the board speed up, but then digs the rail. Now back to live action, second maneuver for the surfer and blue on the left. So here we go, live action, red, Benji Lang trying to back up that 717. Little, two little vertical turns, third vertical turn. This boy's got a lethal backhand. So with 11 minutes, 45 seconds remaining, Benji's going to look to back up that 717. Gonna watch this replay. Yeah. Yeah, Blue looked at that right, had nothing to offer, and he saw this standing up where he was able to get a power turn in the power pocket, so, uh, and then red behind him, you know, he throws it up in two verticals with a, a nice snap at the end, throwing some fireworks and making the most out of that wave to get his back up with 11 minutes left and break it down green's wave drives off the bottom, attacks the lip, comes back with roundhouse cut back and gets caught up on the double up there. Priority white, second priority blue. Red, third priority. Green, fourth priority. Ten minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Ten minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Red is in first. Blue is holding down second, needs an 8.17. Green is in third, needing a 3.24. White with priority. Needs a 5.13 to advance. Ten minutes remaining. Blue and red will update. Okay. Red's last wave. A 5.5. Blue's last wave, a 4.5. Red in first. Blue in second. Green in third. White in fourth. 
Priority sets would white. White, blue, red, and green in priority order. All right, with nine minutes, five seconds remaining, surfer in red, Benji Lang, holding it down in first position, sitting on a 717 and a 5.5. Surfer in blue, currently in second with a 4.5 and a 2.5. Green, you are third, requiring a 3.2, and white, you are fourth, requiring a 5.1. Surfer's in the next heat. Have about three minutes before you can paddle out. Teddy Whitman, Titus Santucci, Loyal Kenworthy, and Jack Ackerman. Just remember guys, please remember to stay down in the channel. We have given everybody ample time to get into the lineup. No reason to try and get close as you can to the lineup. What gets very confusing up here for the priority judges. We can't really decipher who is in what heat. That's why we keep you down there. We're gonna give you at least 30 seconds to get from the channel. At least 30 seconds to get from the channel outside. So you'll have more than enough time. As I was saying earlier, anybody who has a good pair of polarized shades, you can clearly see the reef right now and where it drops off and where it has that little keyhole, creates that little north section. Two titles. We, we have, um, we've, been, we've been setting up buoys to measure. We've been setting up buoys to measure and every large swell that comes through, we lose the buoys because there's no And we'd like to welcome Woody and his girlfriend from Canada to the island of Barbados, coming down to watch the competition. Well, just to update you guys on the conditions, we're only got a little two to three foot swell, east swell today, and we're just past low tide, so the tide is on the switch, so you should see a little uptick in the size of the waves. All right, Green's gonna look to pull the trigger on this one. Here he goes, up and right, and Luke Rubensdorf, big turn off the top. Nice looking wave, is it gonna hit that reef the right way on the inside? Trying to finish strong, nice wrapping cut back. And he goes out the back, but he did get an outside maneuver. Currently he's sitting on a 2.7 and a 3.7. So that's gonna come in probably as his best or very close to it. Yeah, the replay of green takes off. Drives off the bottom, catches it a little bit, but throws it straight up. It comes into a roundhouse, waiting for this thing to stack up. Bouncing his way through, does another cut back. Waiting for a finish and really wasn't there, so he kicked out. But it's still gonna be close on this. And uh, he got a three, five, seven, which was good enough to move him into the second place. Five minutes and 50 seconds. Green in first. I mean, red in first, green in second, blue in third, fourth in white. Priority white, blue, and red. All right, coming up on five minutes. So last of green, fi uh, three, five, seven. So green, you go to second. Blue, you drop to third. Blue, you require a 2.8. And white, you are in fourth. You require a 5.4. Four minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Yeah, Lou, uh, why are... 
white has priority and blue has second priority. Both of them don't need that huge of a score. Under five minutes, so these next waves that they pick are gonna be crucial. Yeah, for sure, the next set comes in. Surfer with priority and second priority, both. They're sitting in the third and fourth positions, both of them just needing small scores. But that was a good choice, Surfer in green. All right, coming up on that three minutes, 20 seconds remaining. This is heat number five, and we're going down to heat number eight in this junior men's. Then we're going to shift gears and go into the junior women's. And Red, Benji Lang, he's current heat leader, looking at this one up and right, and he's just trying to stay busy, throwing it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face, cutting back, and he goes out the back. But server in blue and white, Looking for a score, sitting in first and second priority. Green, Luke Rubensdorf, currently in second position. He's going to try and build on his lead, but leaves the door open for blue on the outside. Here we go, up and right in. Hudson Saunders trying to manufacture just a small score. Nice wrapping cutback, and he goes down. Wave goes away with him. So with two minutes, 25 seconds remaining, this is going to be up to the judges. Looking at the conditions right now, it's starting to get really clean and buttery smooth. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Yeah, Simon, conditions, wind is starting to swing around to the right like it was forecasted to do. That replay of blue, driving off the bottom, nice roundhouse, redirects, tosses it up there, comes back with a nice roundhouse in the cup into the pocket, but wasn't able to hold on, Lou. No, and he only needs, you know, a, a small score, so last of blue you require a 2.8 drop a 2.5 not enough blue so you still are in third position you still require that 2.8084 one minute 35 seconds remaining so green and red paddle so here we go white up and writing so priority Yes, blue, green, red. So priority order, blue, green, red. One minute, five seconds remaining. So servers in the next seat, please hold your positions. Thank you very much. Coming up on 45 seconds remaining. And Blue's looking at this one. He's got priority. Here we go, up and right in. Hudson Saunders, nice little wrapping turn. Working it out onto the open face. Another wrapping turn. He's got an inside. He's going to get around it. Another wrapping turn. He's going to look to try and finish this one strong. He doesn't need much of a score, but he does need a score as he's continuing down into the rip. Next heat, hold your positions. And Red is up on the outside. We're going to stick with red. Red finishing this up on the inside here. Looks All back. Right. In three. In three, two, one. So white is up before the horn. So waiting for this score for blue, green, and red, not white. As the heat comes to an end, all four servers requiring a scores. So servers in the next heat, please hold your positions. We are waiting on some scores to come in.
So red is potentially the only one that's not gonna get affected. He will remain in first position. Yeah, Red's last wave wasn't going to factor into his top two. No, definitely not. And whatever is in second, whoever is in second, requires almost a nine. And they're, so they're not even going to challenge Red. So last of Red, for reference, was 3.8. So we're now waiting for green, blue, and white. Another score in the 12s there, Lou? Yep. That's... Two sixes, but Benji had a seven and a five. And that's what it's looking like. Twelves are what gonna get you through. All right, so we're watching green here. So we're working on green here now. And then we're gonna work on white. So surfers in the next seat, please hold your positions. We're working on some scores. All right, so Blue, you drop a 407, you go to second, but we're still waiting for a score for Green to drop. So can't really tell you what Green is gonna need, but I will before I call the score. So Blue, Blue's got another score coming. All right, one more score of white, white, 393, not enough. So green, green requires a 4.8. He drops a 427, not enough. So blue, you remain in second position. So blue turns the heat at the end. So taking the win, surfer in red, Benji Lang, and surfer in blue coming in second, Huns, Hudson Saunders. So we're going to throw it down to a quick commercial break, and we will be right back with action from heat number six of this round of 48, stay tuned. Introducing the crowd of life. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, server, stand by. All right, we're counting this one in. Ten seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay, so that's the start of heat number six. Coming up in this heat in red, Teddy Whitman in blue, Titus Santucci in white, Loyal Kenworthy and in green, Jack Ackerman. So those on the screen are the last heat. That is not this heat. That was the last heat that you see on your screen. That was heat number five. We are in heat number six in the round of 48. Just underway, 19 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. It's a pretty exciting finish to that last heat, huh, Simon? Seems that all these heats are coming down to the final exchanges. Um, it seems that the surfers that start well are usually the ones advancing, and they're usually the ones trading off final scores at the end of the heat as well. That's correct, yep. It's been working like that almost the whole event as we look at green. Jacques Ackerman up and riding. And he just, a couple of maneuvers, and he goes out the back. Yeah, it's interesting right now to see that there's a slight change in the ocean. 
and the surfers are actually now repositioning themselves much deeper on the peak. Um, I would say they're in the middle of the middle of this lineup. Um, still quality waves out there. Got a rider up in red. This is he gets two outside maneuvers, gets hung up on the second one. Can't make the connection. Paddle, paddle by green, but no takers. That's Teddy Whitman of USA riding the first wave. Dropping a, just a small score of 2.50, I think. Okay, here we go with opener of red, 2.5, opener of green, 2.0. So we got two more heats in this round of 48. Then we're going to shift gears into the girls. We go white, giving this one a look. Loyal Kenworthy, loving the mullet. I had one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, you remember Simon? You remember my mullet? <laughs> I love it. Looking like Mikey right out there. When Mikey came here to serve the event, he had a mullet and he was sporting it, man, trying to bring it back in his style. Well. Went to the queue back up the replay of Last of White. And that is Last of White. Connected a good, lovely first hit from deep. He's trying to do, make the connection. This way of kind of splits in half. He takes the low road. He's getting tons of little check turns done. Just trying to make the inside connection. He was able to stick with it. I get one final stab in, in the white water, so. It will just be an average score. All right, while we wait on that score and have a break in the action, standing by with Amaya, we're gonna send it down for the heat winner of the last heat. Surfer in red, Benji Lang. Here we are at the St. Luke Glass with Benji Lang from Florida, who just won heat number five, round two of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. How are you? Doing good. Uh, yeah, doing good. Well, you showed us a pretty fun wave over there, a nice 717. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, got a lucky because everyone paddled super deep, so I got that one pretty wide, so it was fun. Yeah, you set the tone for the whole, for the whole heat there, kind of, uh, you know, setting the pace and really asserting your authority. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, it was fun to get a good quick start and then I was kind of just taking it easy from there and just trying to get a good backup. Yeah, well, that worked out perfectly because kind of had a high requirement for the other one, so that had you pretty well sorted. Um, you were just telling me that it kind of felt like at home in Florida because it's a little slow and so you were just fine over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, back home. I just had a contest back home and it was like, just like it reminded me of like this, it was small little rights, so it was fun to get a heat like this. All right, great. Well, you're looking really comfortable over there. That's good to see. Um, maybe some friends and family watching you back at home. You want to say a little, a little hi? Yeah, um, I just want to say happy birthday, Mom, because it was her birthday the other day, and uh, hi to my sisters back home. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Maybe see you again. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, back to live action. While we were on that break, Surfer in white. Score trickled in. He dropped a 4.0, so he goes to first. Followed by the Surfer in red in second position. And red gives way to blue. Blue has priority. Big backhand turn. Titus Santucci on a, on a nice left as white is up and riding. He's looking to back up that four. 
White seems to be trying to surf himself into a rhythm here because he's, uh, he's probably one of the most active surfers in this heat so far. So he's waiting for a little backup to come in there. That way was not quite what he wanted, but he still got some work done. Yeah, so we're watching this replay of blue, big backside, big backhand turn, one maneuver. So 13 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Waiting for the score for blue and white. So this will be blue's opener. 6.0 blue, 6.0. So judges rewarding that um, one backside hit on the left. It was I think a the bigger wave, yeah, Simon. It was a bigger wave, and I think the surfer kind of got his tail out there, and it was it was clean, you know. Di didn't dig any rails. So waiting on the last of white, 2.20. So white first, blue second, red your third. You require a 3.5, and green your fourth, requiring a 4.01. And Blue looking to back up that six-point ride. And Green, he's going to be up and riding. Jacques Ackerman. And he goes up and out. With 12 minutes remaining. Yeah, we're looking uh, slightly, this is a slightly slower heat, looking to replay of Blue. This is Titus from USA. Gets a lovely first turn. Sets up in the pocket. There's a second snap, and he was out half to get out of that. Watching the replay of green. Tried to ditch the fins out the back, but went a little too big. Tried to overcook that turn, so. Back to live action. Green up and right in, working it down onto the open face. Still rolling on down to the inside. Last of blue, 3.0. So blue goes back to first, but waiting on a score for green. And then I will update the situation. Now we're playing last of green. Knowing now he needs to get a score in the back, he kind of just took his time with this one. He has a slightly wider stance, and he was able to connect two outside carves and then one hit on the inside. That way did not run through the inside for him. So he has to get out the back and try to get himself on a better wave. All right, just a reminder, folks, we're going to be doing a 12 and under event for all the youngsters interested in taking part. 12 and under, if anybody is interested, either contact myself or Chris. Come up to the judges' tent. And we will put you in. Right now we have five kids entered as Titus Santucci up and riding. One more time, going out onto the open face. He's sitting on a six and a three. So he hasn't got to that 12-point range yet, but he's getting closer with each time. Ten minutes, ten seconds remaining. So all the scores are in with the exception of this one. All right, breaking down the replay of Titus. Titus gets a lovely first foam claim. He's a very stylish surfer. And another little snap. Wave is not the best wave, so he's, he likes to do a little wrong host cut back. Very stylish young surfer. I don't know this kid, but he looks like a great surfer. Yeah, he has good technique. So once again, folks, we're going to be doing a 12 and under division for the kids. That is the apple of my eye of this event. I love doing it for them. I make the trophies myself, as I do for these juniors. Men and women, the junior divisions. So last of blue, 3.4. So that strengthens your lead a little bit. White, you are in second position. Green, you are in third position, requiring the 3.6. And red, you're fourth, requiring the 3.7. And red is up and riding. As the tidal push starts to come forward, waves are starting to get a little bit bigger and a little more lined up. So he doesn't manage that, but green leaves the door open for 
as he comes out onto the open face. So he's going to kick out to get back out in front of Green. All right, Washington replay of red. This, that, was, that was Teddy. Got a little caught behind, but he'll still be able to execute one big outside maneuver. Last of Green. Green picked up a wide wave here. All he could get was one, one round house cut back and had a leg to get out of that. Wave selection is key today. You have red, red up. We go red up and riding. Currently in second position, Teddy Whitman. He is looking to ditch just a 2.5. His last wave coming in at a 4.67. So white, you require a 3.1. Yeah, watching last of red. Didn't pick up the highest quality wave here. It did have open face. He was able to get one first hit, but he cut back to the pocket there and then another little snap. But this wave is a lot flatter on the face, so he really wasn't able to get the speed and the criticalness in the maneuvers that the judges will be looking for. I think that will be a throwaway effort for him. On, as we're now on the turn of the tide, you can see that conditions have slowed down a little bit, but we're hoping to see a little increase in wave size. Sets will be taking a little longer and there will be plenty of opportunity and multiple peaks. So guys can sit, select on the main bowl peak or they can go a little higher up. Today definitely seems to be about a foot smaller than yesterday. Um, but it's still very contestable. I think looking through the forecast, I think we may be looking at some better waves possibly over the weekend. I don't know if this, we might see a little pulse in the swell tomorrow, but I'm trying to get a, the last couple of days forecast for you guys that we could have it by maybe this evening or tomorrow morning. All right, last of green, 167. Last of red, 313. Five minutes, 50 seconds remaining. All right, surfer with priority is white, followed by blue, green, red. So priority order is white, blue, green, red. Blue, you are currently in first position. You have a six and a 3.4, five minutes remaining. Yeah, definitely uh, one of the slower heats. Um, of the morning so far and guys have elected now to sit lower down on the peak they're waiting for that one good wave that connects all the way through to give them all the scoring opportunity Folks, once again, anybody who's interested in doing the 12 and unders, you can come up to the judges tower and register. Huh? 
All right, coming up on three minutes, 45 seconds remaining. So with this incoming tide, the waves should line up for somewhat a little better, but we'll start to get a little slower. Plenty of scoring potential in the water. Red way up inside. He's going to get pick of this wave, working his way across the reef, eyeing up this north section, working it down, working it down, out onto the open face. All right, all the way on the inside. That was Surfer in red. Teddy, Teddy Whitman of the USA. He has been hunting this whole heat for that one wave like that because he's been struggling with fatter waves that didn't offer him more, much opportunity. So that would definitely come in as one of his better scores. Yeah, he's sitting on a 4.67 and a 3.13. So this could come in close to be his best. And White, Loyal Kenworthy up and riding. Nice little slashing turn on his backhand. And in the bowl is green as Loyal continues to work onto the inside. Another little cutback, sticking with it. And green. As green still looking for a score as well, sitting on a 2-5 and a 2. Leaving the server in blue. The heat leader on the outside by himself as green comes to a close. So, uh, two minutes remaining. Next heat, please hold your positions, guys, right there. Thank you. So last of red, 5-4-3 red, 5.43. Red goes to first. Blue, you drop to second. Blue, to regain the lead, you need a 4.1. Queuing up the replay here of red. He was picked this wave up, way up, almost in high rock, and he was able to get an outside hit, a carve, I made inside connection where he was able to finish strong with a big hit on the inside. So white, you now require a 5.4, and green, you require a 5.8. So white, you still have a wave coming. I'm watching the last repair of white. White was able to do some outside work, made the inside connection, finished with a couple little snaps. Now we're watching the last right of green. Starts off with a softer wrong host cut back, and he gets one more little carve, but this wave goes a little far on him. He's trying to pick the roll road to make the inside connection. We go green on the inside going left with 56 seconds remaining. Next heat, next heat. You need to turn around, Red. Thank you. Last of white, 410, not enough. So white, you still require a 5.3. Last of green, 360, you require a 5.8. 25 seconds remaining. Priority change, white paddle. So white goes to fourth, green goes to third. Red paddling as we're gonna count this one in. In three, two, one. So that ends the heat. White was not up in time. So surfers in the next heat, please stand by. We are on a short hold. So official results. Surfer in red, going to first on his last, last attempt. Holding down the wind, coming in second in blue. Titus Santucci. So Teddy William Whitman and Titus Santucci will advance into the round of 32 coming up a little later on. We're going to take a short commercial break and we'll be right back after this message. Thank you. Don't, please stand by. Two, one. 
So we're back to live action as you heard the horn go off. Coming up in this heat in the red jersey, we got Kyle Granny in blue. We have Teo Granny in white, Mason O'Toole, and in green, Timothy Simmers, as you see the surfers here on your screen. This is heat number seven in a round of 48. We are doing 20 minute heat, so this heat just started, just getting underway, no rides as yet. Guys jockeying position, you can see the surface of reposition way up in the point. These guys are picking off waves in a, in, a, in a wide range of area of spots. So, you know, this east swells, it's almost like a multiple peak. All right, here we go. Red, Kai Granny up and riding. Working it onto the open face. Got a nice section ahead of him. Good smash, cutting it back, sticking with it. As I was saying, the waves have slowed down a bit, but there's plenty scoring potential out there, and you see that. That uh, wave's gonna get up close to the excellent range, I'm sure. So last of Redis is uh, Kai. Is, that, is he from Panama? From Panama, but they live in Costa Rica. Last of Red, he gets a lovely outside first tap, a second snap. And he coils up and gets a vertical stab there. Cuts back in the bowl, throwing tons of water, waiting for it. And another hit on the end. This surfer just put down probably a very consequential score in this heat. I would say this is going to be above average score. It's an excellent score wave. This wave was a gem. It gave him lots of opportunity. Yeah, the score is trickling in. Here we go, Simon. 8.17817. For the surfer in red, showing us how it's done. Major maneuvers in the most critical section of the wave with speed, power, and flow are exactly what the judges are looking for. And that's what he did. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Just surfing, but surfing in the right spot at the right time on the right part of the wave. And the judges reward it. And he's about to spin around again, another score. And look, he's, gonna, he's looking to back up that eight in a hurry with 17 minutes. He's going to have a commanding lead after this wave. Just picking up where he left off. Major maneuver is a little bit smaller of a wave, but he's going to really distance himself from the pack with that one. And I talked about that wave right there popping up well, on your way out, that little north peak. When the surfer's in rhythm and confident, here we go, replay of red. He, he picks this up underneath everyone. Priority on the way back out. He's able to get a lovely first snap and a second hit. He wraps it back into the pocket. Another little tap on the inside and he's just sticking with it. Connecting all the dots. This will be a lovely backup score for him. Surf will be feeling so confident right now. Absolutely, and we see Blue kicking out. He was up as well when we were on that replay break. We'll get you that replay. Red, Red seems to be having a dream run this morning. And this is Kai, Kai Granny. Granny. Kai, Kai Granny and Teo Granny. Two brothers. And Teo Granny. W waiting for the score for, or taking back last of blue, Teo Granny. Lovely first hit on the outside. Big sweeping cut back. And another carve in the pocket, which he extends and kind of flares it out. Another little snap. So that was actually a, quite a decent ride, although it didn't have the quality of the first excellent wave. He did, go, he did get some work done. And we're looking at some decent waves coming through in this heat. Last heat was slow. This heat seems to be very busy. Yeah, this is the way it's going to go with this incoming tide. So Blue's going to turn on this one as well. Not sure which one's the older or the younger, but one is goofy, one is regular. And red looking at that one, so here we go. Blue's starting to trickle in, second wave, sorry, red is second wave starting to trickle in. 
617 red, 6.17 on your second wave. So within six minutes, within five minutes of this heat, server in red sitting on a 14.34. Red, your first wave was an 817, second wave was a 617. Green, blue, I'm still waiting for your scores. All right, first of blue, 4.5, second of blue, 0.43. So red first, blue second, white third, white needing a 4.9, and green is fourth needing a 4.9. So while we're waiting on this next set, we're gonna throw it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Teddy Whitman, winner of heat number six. Here we are, the San Luis Glass with Teddy Whitman from Florida, who just won Heat 6, Round 2 of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Opera and Loving Memories of Xander Venezia. How are you? I'm good. I'm pretty psyched to win that heat. Yeah, I mean, not not very easy over there, but you made it work. A couple of good scores. Yeah, um, not a lot of waves, but just finding the best ones out there is definitely the strategy. And it was quite tight till the end, right? Yeah, it was. There was like backup scores the whole heat, and then it came down just the two best scores. Well, still looking good. Waves are starting to kind of line up. And are you excited for next round? Yeah, later should be fun. And surfing with friends is always nice. So, yeah. All right, love, love to hear that. Um, you wanna, what are you writing today for those waves? Um, I'm writing my, it's a 5.9 Mayhem. It's a driver three. It's a epoxy. So, yeah, I love it. Good for small waves, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, can't wait to see more. You want to say a little something for friends and family back at home, maybe? Um, yeah, I know my mom is probably watching and my brothers and some family um, around the country. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. See you later, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Zed Layson, can you come to the judges tower, please? As we watch Blue up and right in, and he goes out the back, he's looking to back up or better a 4.5. So priority has not been established with the server in red, uh, sorry, in white or green. So holding third priority is the heat leader, Kai Granny. Doing some amazing surfing on his backhand, dropping an 817, backing it up right away with a 617, showing a lot of flair and a lot of talent on his backhand attack. 12 minutes remaining, surfers, 12 minutes. All right, here we go. White giving this one a look. Mason O'Toole up and right in. So Priority is going to go with the surfer in green. As Mason looks to manufacture a score, he's going to try and get over this next bump. And he goes out the back. So that wave is going to give him a little bit of scoring potential on the inside, but he decided he didn't want it. He'll go out the back, and he'll assume fourth priority. So with 11 minutes remaining, surfer in green sitting with Priority. Waves approaching the lineup. Blue is going to give this one a hard dig. Is he going to get in? Yes, he does. Tail Granny on his forehand. Throws the fins, flicks it around. Rides out, completes the maneuver. As he goes out the back. And here we go, White up and right and on the inside. Little inside runner. He's going to get some opportunity. Once it hits the reef, throws it up. He requires a 6.33. But that should change after we get this last of blue. And on the outside, red up and right in. He is the current heat leader, sitting on an 816, an 817 and a 617. And he goes out the back. 
He's just out there having fun right now. Watching. At nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining, we're going to watch these replays closely. Yeah, watching last of red there. Just the rail work he did on that one turn through enough water to garner the score. Last of blue. Throws a lovely fin and release reverse. Rides out cleanly. Only one maneuver on a close out. Watching last of white. He was able to do some setup work a little around host cap back. And this wave actually made an inside connection for him. And he got one hit. Slightly smaller wave. See how the what the judges make of that. All right. Last of blue coming in at a 4.73. So that is blue's best. 4.73 for blue. So white, you are in third position with a 3.0 and a 1.6. You require a 6.23. And green, you are in fourth position yet to open your account. You require a 9.23. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Surfers in heat number eight. That will be the last heat of this junior men's division. You should be checked in and ready to go. Coming up in that heat, we're going to see Kian Yang, Laird Lavik, Sebastian Blum, and Lucas Skinner. That's going to be the last heat of this heat number eight men's round of 48. And here we go, White up and riding. Mason O'Toole, he's trying to build his score line. He's sitting on a three and a 1.6. So flicks out the fins and he really needed to complete that last maneuver, but can't hang on and he goes down. So it's seven minutes, 40 seconds remaining. So breaking out the replay, last of White. And Mason O'Toole, USA. Picks up a little frothy one, but he offered some scoring potential. Got Two, three snaps done, but he lost it on the third maneuver. So last of white, a 283. So that will go in your score line. You still require a score of 6.2. And green, you require a score of 923. Six minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Surfer sitting with priority. Is the surfer in green. He's still looking to open his account. He's looking to get busy as there is only six minutes remaining in this heat. He's moving, moving himself. And White up and right, and he leaves it for White. Could Chris Clark please come to the judge's tower? Chris Clark, can you please come to the judge's tower? Can, can anyone update the music for us? Red, that was just red with the heat leader, Kai Granny, Kai Gran, Granny from Panama, currently living in Puerto Rico. That was just uh, up and down, so that won't be a score of consequence. Just a 2.63, but he's sitting on the highest two-wave heat total of this round so far with 14.34. 
So immediately following heat number eight, we're going to be going into the women's. Uh, Kayashi has surfed an entire heat in the first five minutes. I think he's just basically taking, stretching himself out there right now. He comfortably is ahead here with a 14.34 total. White, three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Your last score coming in at a 3.6. You now require a 5.6. Right, so Green with priority. He's going to look at this one. He's going to pull the trigger. Here we go. Timothy Simmers up and right in. Out onto the open face, cutting it back, working it out, working it to the inside. Another little cut back, and he goes out the back, waited a long time for that wave. He requires a 9-2-3, so definitely looking for two scores. He'll open his account on this one. Breaking down the replay of, of Last of Green, Simmers makes a lovely sweeping carve to start, and a lovely round house. And that's all that, that wave offered for him as it split and went out to sea. So a surfer sat for a very long time waiting for that wave. So first of green, 373, three, green 373, three, you now require a 5.5 with two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. All right, so red with priority, second priority holds off green. That's a little bit of brotherly love right there, guaranteed, as he throws it up in the lip, working it on onto the open face, leaves blue out there with priority. White's going to turn on the outside as red kicks out. Servers in the next seat, please stay down in the channel. Green giving that one a look with one minute, 45 seconds remaining. All right, watching the replay last of red. Last of red starts off just with a little, little redirect to the pocket. Another little open face carve, then bang. A lovely backside vertical hit. Gets another little tap on the lip. Trying to make inside connection, doesn't quite make it. This server has been in totally perfect rhythm in this heat. You can see it, how he links his turns. And he's been on all the quality waves, the set waves, and the long inside runners. Yeah, he really found his rhythm in this heat, Simon. That one's, that last of red coming in at a 5.70570 for red. So with one minute remaining, surfer in white looking for that 5.6 and surfer in green looking for that 5.5. They're putting themselves in position. Next heat right there, that's good enough guys. Blue is gonna hold off green as he works his way out onto the open face trying to build on his score line. Currently sitting on a 4.5 and a 4.7. Taking this one all the way down to the inside with just 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds. So that hands priority to the surfer in white followed by green. So wow. green, you require that 5.5. Watching last of, of blue, lovely form claim to start. A lovely wrapping turn back into the pocket. Wave is softening on him, but he gets another roundhouse and an another little snap. Surfer's utilizing everything he can over that Next wave. Next heat, stop. 
Here we go, counting it down in three, two, and one. So that ends the heat. While we were on that replay break, White had a wave, but it was inconsequential as it just rolls away from him. So official results and Surfer in green up and riding after the horn definitely will get the score on that wave. But unfortunately, he remains in fourth position. So taking the win, Kai Granny followed by his brother in blue, Teo Granny. So those two will advance into the round of 32 coming up a little later. Sorry, uh, uh, into the round of 32 coming up a little later on. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back for the final heat of this round, heat number eight. So stand by and stay tuned. I'm from a place, we have up every single race. Paradise is we name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year. Where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways. All right, back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we have in red, Kian Young. In blue, Laird Lavick. In white, Sebastian Blum. And in green, Lucas Skinner. So here we go, blue up and right in Laird Lavick. Uh, having a wave ridden by red, but just inconsequential, dropping just a 1.0. As we watch Surfer in blue going all the way down to the inside. Okay, replay on the live web webcast, Surfer in blue. This is Laird for the USA. He gets a lovely outside snap. Surfer has a lot of style and flair. Little check snap throwing buckets and the end he actually throws the tail a little bit. So I'm sure this will be a lovely score. The judges reward good surfing. He kept his rails clean and he was able to function quality maneuvers all the way through. All right, here we go, looking at that surfer in green, Lucas Skinner. Surfing his way. And here we go, blue up and right, and he goes out the back. So Red giving this one a paddle, Kian Yang, he goes up and out. So first of blue, 5.0. Green dropping in. As we check out this replay of green. Last of green. There's Lucas Skinner, and he's from Great Britain. Lucas is a very talented surfer. You can see he utilized a, did a lot of work, even on a very fast closing out wave. He was still able to. He was waiting on some scores, guys, waiting on scores. So first, previous of green, 267. We're waiting for the last of green. Last of green, 817. So green goes to first. 
Blue, you're second. Blue, you're sitting on a five and a point five. Red, you're third. You just have a one and a point three. And white, you are fourth, looking to open your account. So priority goes with white, red, blue. So just want to comment on Lucas. I know his dad, Ben, is tuned in. Welcome to the broadcast. We definitely want to apologize for the little blunder we had yesterday. Giving credit where credit wasn't necessarily due. All of Lucas's boards are hand-shaped by his dad, Ben Skinner, in Cornwall, England. He is supported by Slater Designs, but all of his boards are hand-shaped by his father. Ben Skinner is a perpetual longboard world champion contender for years. He's one of the best longboarders in the world. Just want to give credit where credit is due. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we apologize for the little blunder. But you can see what this boy can do. He, I was commenting the other day, he's one of the quickest surfers in the water. His boards are like lightning. And here he is up and riding. Lucas Skinner working his way all the way down to the end. Oh, and he just catches a rail and goes down, but he is sitting on an 817. And Blue on the outside, throwing out the fins, flicking it around. Laird Lavick, he's hitting on a 5.0. And um, I'm trying to break down this heat loom. This is actually a very highly contested heat. When I'm looking at the caliber of surfers we have here in this heat, we're going to have fireworks in this heat. Right up in the point, we have live action. So red up and right, Kian Yang. Working it to the inside, throwing it up. He's got an inside runner, cuts it back. He's going to wait for it to reform, and he can't hang on and goes out the back. So, so <clears throat> trying to see if they can queue up the replay for us. Okay, queuing up the last of red. Red picked this up from deep. It was a look like a pretty good quality wave. Start off with a big open face carve. He was able to get one more hit after that. The wave kind of split for he had to take him down the road to make the connection, so he wasn't able to complete the wrong host combat and make the connection. But judges will judge him for the work done outside. Okay, so while we are waiting for the action to resume. We're going to cut down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat with a 14.342 AV total. Kai Granny. Here we are with the two advancing surfers of heat seven, round two of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. I have the two Granny brothers, Kai Gali Granny and Theo Granny. How are you guys? Uh, we're good. Waves are actually really fun. On a day like today, when it's not that messy, it's pretty easy to see which one the good ones are. Since you're not going to go on the small ones in the set, it's pretty easy to tell which one it is. On a big day, it's all messy. Like There's good waves everywhere, so it's pretty easy to find the good ones. And it's always hard to compete with uh, a brother because uh, there's definitely bragging rights that go into this, and he's for sure washing the dishes tonight. That's for sure. Are you? Uh, I don't know about that. We're going to have to fight it out in the room. But nah, definitely fun to put a heat together. This guy's ripping, obviously. And... Uh, Clear water, good conditions, what else can you ask for, yeah. That's great, you just scored the best heat total so far for the day. Do you want to try and, you're obviously going to try and push it for the next round, right? Yeah, of course, I was pretty lucky to get that eight. Um, surfed it pretty good, and yeah, let's get two tens next heat, let's do it. Let's do it, how about you? Yeah, no, this guy's always pushing me, the level here always pushing me, so I just want my rematch with him, honestly, he can't get away with this one, so yeah, I want my rematch. In the final? Hopefully. <laughs> How are you guys going to prepare for the next round? Uh, listen to some Bad Bunny um, and yeah, watch some, watch some Netflix, call my mom, call my little brother, eat something and yeah, up to the next round. Sounds good. How about you? Yeah, same man. I might take his phone away and break it while he watches Netflix, but, but yeah, no, just really feel it out, uh, vibe out. Yeah, just uh, have fun really to the next round. All right. Thank you so much, guys. See you on the next round. Thank you. <laughs> All right, one more to drop for red. All right, 5.0 red. Your last wave coming in at a 5.0. Your previous wave was a 327. You require a 5.7 to go to second. Breaking down the replay last of red, Kian Yang from the United States. 
was really able to get some lovely real work down the outside, sweeping curves. He made a connection and was able to finish with a hit, snap, and he went all the way to the rip and tagged it all the way through. That'll be a well-surfed wave. I'll be looking for a good score from the judges for that. As you see there on your screen, one of our birds, our, our, well, they're not really even seabirds because you see them anywhere there's water, but that bird will sit there. It's called a gollin. It will sit there for however long and just remain completely still until the fish swims by in front of it and it just picks it off the reef. The fisherman bird, all kinds of names for them. All right, last of red, 5.0, last of Blue, 573, last of green, 3.9. So green sitting comfortably in the lead with an 817 and a 3.9. Blue, you are in second position with a 5.73 and a 5. Red is in third with a 5.0 and a 3.27. You require a 5.73 and white. Holding priority on the outside, yet to open your account. You need a combination of 10.73 two wave heat total. Nine minutes, 30 seconds remaining. As Red looks up and riding, and he's going left. Here we go, blue uh, from way up inside, Laird Lavic, but down in the bowl, the right's just gonna go and reel off with nobody on it, but white is gonna go left. As down in the bowl, the right was really working. These servers are way, way, way up inside. But that's their choice, they're out there, not me. So, some damage was just done. Waiting for the replay to queue up there. Surfer in blue. Laird Levick. The surfer picks this one up from deep. Does an open face snap. And a lovely second snap. This wave just kept giving and giving him the third one. He drifted the tail. Completed that without even a bobble. Yes, and that could possibly be his best as we watch this from white. This was the left of the right I was talking about. And he can't hang on and he goes down. So last of red, 717, sorry, last of blue, 717. Last of blue, 717, Laird, you go to first. Green, you drop to second. To regain the lead for green, you will require a 4.7. Red, you now drop to third. Your requirement is a 708. And white, your requirement is a combination of 12.07. Seven minutes, 15 seconds remaining. So coming up immediately following this heat, we're gonna go right into the round of 32 in the Live Like Xander women's. So coming up in that heat is Bella Kenworthy, Avery McDonald, and Jesse Engel. So you ladies should be checked in and ready to roll with six minutes and 55 seconds remaining. You're free to paddle out at the five minute mark. Please, however, please stay down into the channel. So there you go, you see first and second with over 12 point heat total. That has been the norm for the day. If you can't get 12 points, you probably don't have a chance. Anyway, that equates either an eight and a four, two sixes, a seven and a five. Really doesn't matter once it gets over that 12. And blue up and writing, well given that one a look, he didn't get up to his feet. He is the current heat leader. You saw that wave, he just 
had it was three major maneuvers, not a very long wave, not a very big wave, but he did the maneuvers in the right spot at the right time. As you see, the ladies about to paddle out in the next heat. They got about one more minute to go. Priority change. So green, red, blue, white, green, red, blue, white. So priority change again, green, red, white, blue. Surfer's moving way up the peak. So the surfer in white on his first exchange, dropping a 1.0. And blues looking at that one again. So here we go, blue, looking deep, way up inside. These guys are halfway to High Rock. So here we go, blue, up and right in, looking at that left, eyeing it up. He can't hang on and does a lovely porpoise dive. You don't realize, but these servers do get Extra points for a unique dismount. <laughs> Only by me, though, not the judges. <laughs> so I just want to say that that was, that was pretty cool that the two brothers, granny brothers, uh, did the interview together. And it was pretty cool sharing the, uh, the limelight with your brother. So they definitely worked as a team out there in that heat. We can definitely tell that. As we look at white, held priority for a long time. Nice quality maneuvers. So we'll see what the judges reward him for that. Three minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So looking to break that combination. Requires just a 2.07 to do that, which pretty sure he's going to break the combination. He's going to require probably an excellent score. So breaking down last of white, Sebastian for the United States. It's a lovely foam claim. There's a lovely little snap there, staying close to the power pocket. Another little snap, he lost a little control there, and a third. So that was a lot of work done on a small inside wave, but the wave gave him a quality wall, so he was able to capitalize on it. All right, white, your last wave coming in at a 4.27, white, 4.27. You now require a 7.81. And that can be attained out there. There is a lot of scoring potential on the board so far. We've seen a 717 and an 817. So we know that those scores are out there. Just need to be in the right position to find the right wave. So look what's popped up right in front of him. Is he going to turn on this one? He's going to let it go under him just a little bit too small. And it's not going to hit the reef on the outside. So that's a little inside runner. So Soup Bowl very, very rarely ever, ever goes flat. This basically is flat. Yeah, this basically is flat for us. If, if we arrived here on a normal day, we wouldn't even paddle out. It would, we would just turn around and go home. But waves like this pop up for blue. Look at this. Red going to hold the, the left. Rolling down the line, flicking it out. So when there's no set in the water, there's always a wave here and in the summertime this is a typical summer day huh Simon? Yeah this is generally how our summers this look. Is, yeah. Same wind, same swell, same everything. It's so fun and playful out there. Here we go green. Lucas Skinner up and riding out onto the open face. Big Whoa. wrapping cutback right in the power part of the wave. On his hand shaped board by his father they put a lot of work into these boards from Cornwall, England. Oh, and unfortunately, he comes unstuck. Red just looking to better at 3.9. Sorry, green looking to just better at 3.9. So girls, ladies, hold your positions. Hold your positions, ladies. 
There's plenty of time left as Blue working his way to the inside. Nice maneuver, but pearls the nose and goes down. So we're going to work on this score for green, red, and white. The red starting to trickle in. We are we're all some replays as well. Yep. Starting with last of red. Their little first check snap got hung up. It was late to the last section, was able to finish nice with a thin, a thin throw. That will keep the score down. Last of green now is Lucas Skinner from, from, from Great Britain. Gets a lovely way from deep. Has a lovely carving maneuver. Lucas has a lovely swooping clean style. He's a light, wary young man. He's able to generate a lot of speed on small sections. I'm thinking green will definitely have the better of that exchange. Here we go. Live action. Here we go. Red's going to turn and burn. Kian Yang, he's going to need a score. Up and riding out onto the open face. Throws it up in the lip. He's got a little north section on it. He's going to work his way to the inside. This is the high tide push we're going to get. As white stands up on the outside with counting this one in 10 seconds and red goes down. We're going to cut to white. Here we go. White working his way to the inside. And 3, 2, 1. So the heat is over and blue is up. Before the horn, he is the current heat leader. So ladies, stand by, hold your positions. We got some scores to drop. That was a lot of action to finish out. The last flurry of exchanges there um, with red and green getting some of their best waves at the, the dying seconds. Rippling last of red, Kian Yang. He's actually picked up a really good quality set wave and he got a big first hit there. A little thin release. He just redirected to the pocket. He's doing setup work here, just waiting for the inside. He gets the connection, and bang, he gets one lovely hit. And a second hit, but then at that point, he, per he pokes the nose in, so that will hold the score down, but the judges will reward him for the work he did before that. Last of white, gets a little check snap to start with, and another snap, but he, sticking with this wave, this wave is softening up for him. He tries to do one more, but he can't make the inside connection, so I'm not expecting white will be factoring that Last of Bloom. Gets a lovely opening for his carve. There's a smaller wave. Yeah. And a second snap. Wave kind of goes fat on him here. He's trying to make the inside connection. He makes one more snap. And that was his victory lap to the beach. All right, so previous of green. Previous of green. 7-0-7. Seven, seven. So green goes back to first. We have a wave coming for blue. Red and white. So previous of green, 707. Last of red, 467. So it doesn't look like anything is going to change other than first and second flip flop. That was the. All right, Red has another wave coming after that 467, which they're working on now. So we're working on the last of Red. So ladies in the next seat, hold your positions, hold your positions. Working out these scores. So we saw blue drop a 7, green, green drop the 707 and go to first. So right now blue is currently in second position. We have a score coming for red who is currently in third position. All right, here we go. Scores trickling in for red. Is he going to turn the heat? One more score to drop. All right, last of red requiring a 7.9, drops a 603. 
not enough. So Server in green, Lucas Skinner takes the win, followed by the Surfer in blue, Laird Lavic coming in second. Those two servers will be advancing into the round of 32, coming up a little later on. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with the start of the women's junior, the junior women's round of 32. Stay tuned. to live action. So this is heat number one, round of 32 coming up in this heat. We are going to see Bella Kenworthy in red, Avery McDonald in blue, and Jesse Engel in white. So this is the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Women round of 32. This event is in memory of Xander Venezia. This event all started as an idea from Chris Clark, my partner. For years, he wanted to do this event. I took Xander away one year to Cocoa Beach when he was about 10 years old. And he made it all the way to the semifinals and lost in like knee-high waves. And he was so upset, 10-year-old kid surfing against 18-year-olds, losing in the semifinal. He was so upset, and he asked me, he said, Dad, why can't we have contests like this at home in good waves? Not taking anything away from Cocoa Beach, but I light bulb went off and I said why not I came home I told Chris if you're still looking to do this I'm with you buddy let's do it so that year I went to East ECSC in August met Brian Robbins for the first time told him about the idea we had he said okay no problem we can put you in next year's schedule I said no 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 we want to do this in November and he let out a little chuckle and said uh, no we can't do it in November it's too soon I said, what do you mean it's too soon? How much do you need? You got to pay this? You got to pay this? He said, okay, I'll get it for you tomorrow. And he was like, what? And that's it. That's how it all started 12 years ago. And we've increased. We've kept the juniors every year. And we've increased from a 1,000 to a 3,000 to now a 5,000. And we're going to end up at a Challenger Series and potentially one day even a CT event. So that's what keeps the dream alive. And every year we've always done a 12 and under. So that's why we have kept the 12 and unders in there. A lot of champions from Barbados winning that 12 and under graduate right into the juniors and end up going right up into the QS. Josh Burke, Chelsea Twat actually making the world tour. Josh Burke, series of challenges, series, years. Yep, that's the life story. <laughs> All right, so Bella Kenworthy open her up with a 417. With seven minutes, 10 seconds, and the action slows down, we're going to cut to the glass for the winner of the last heat standing by with Amaya is Lucas Skinner. Here we are at the St. Louis Glass with the winner of the last heat in this second round of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia, the young Lucas Skinner from the UK. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Just trying to stay out of the heat for a little bit. You had a pretty decent heat total over there, looking really strong on your feet. Yeah, I'm feeling really good, thanks. Board's feeling amazing. And um, yeah, just been real good vibe with the crew, and yeah, I'm feeling really good. Yeah, I always have a Z behind you over there, giving you some uh, little local knowledge, although you don't fully need it because you've been coming here for a while now. Yeah, I've been coming here for a couple years now, um, since I was literally like four years old or something. Um, so I just I love this place and yeah it's just nice to nice to be competing here for the first time and yeah loads of friends here it's super fun. Yeah well we're glad to hear that you're fitting right in. You want to talk to us about this magic stick you're surfing? Yeah so I I was here a couple of weeks ago and I had my Hawaii quiver and I was like gonna stay out here and I need a new board so we went home 
made two new ones and they're just magic. It's like a, it's a model I've been working on with dad for years and um, it just feels like we've made the perfect, perfect model. Loads of groms are on it, which is super cool to see. And um, yeah, it's feeling really good. So shout out to all the boys at the factory making my boards. They're all legends. I know you're watching. And um, yeah, it feels real good. Feels good under my feet. Yeah, you're looking real fast and powerful. So that's amazing. Can't wait to see on the next round. You want to maybe give a shout out to, your, I mean, you kind of just did, but maybe to more of the family. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, all my brothers and sisters, mum and dad, um, love you all. Thanks for support. And um, <laughs> yeah, on to the next seat. Thanks. Keep it up, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here you go, watching this replay of White. This is Jesse Engel. First turn, quality maneuver up in the lip. Backs it up right there one time with a, another major maneuver and a third one. She's gonna work it to the inside and then she goes out the back. So three combination of three major maneuvers. We'll see where the judges go with this. This should... Surfer, surfer and White. Um, this is Jesse Eng Engel from the USA. I think she just dropped the hammer down on that. Those are three turns, the amount of water thrown, and there was no real downtime between those turns. She got a lovely little mid-sized wave that had a steep face for her, and she capitalized on it. I'm thinking that's going to be put her in the box driver's seat. Yeah, that's coming into the good range. 6.0, white, 6.0. So white goes to first, red sitting on a 4.17 goes to second, and surfer in blue on the outside sitting with priority. Priority Avery McDonald yet to open her account. She's requiring a 4.18. So there we go. White, she's looking at this one. Still a little too far up the point as that little north section ran away from her. As the wind continues to drop in ever so slightly and continues to swing around more to the right. 13 minutes, 25 seconds. This is heat number one in the round of 32. In the junior women's, Live Like Xander, presented by Diamonds International and the Barbados Tourism Marketing Incorporation. VTMI and Diamonds International and Mount Gay Rum are our three biggest sponsors. Want to send a big shout out to them. Thank you very much for your support. Also want to thank Infra Rentals, the BHTA, Zaccio's, Lloyd's Tea, General Distributors, Chickmont Foods, Eco Skywater, Remy Martin, Banks Beer, and a whole host of others. You are tuned in to the Live Like Xander Junior Women. Every year these events get bigger and better. I also want to let everyone know on the beach, the food and beverage tent is open. So under the main tent, all the proceeds collected from the food and beverage go directly back into these events, making them bigger and better every year. Those of you that have been coming here, as we see Bella Kenworthy up, looking at this north section, throws it up in the lip, completes the maneuver, and blue on the outside, coming around the section, going up in the lip, kind of struggled a little bit for speed, which held her to do that turn a little bit lower on the wave. But she's still going, working her way to the inside as White is up and riding behind her on a quality mid wave. Throwing up that last turn was White, but she goes down. We'll bring that replay to you. She is sitting on a 6.0. So we'll see where the score comes in for blue, red, and then White. As we watch red, Bella only managing that one smash on the north section as the wave ran away from her. But here's the replay of blue. You can just see the wave behind her walling up, and White was right there for it. So as we stick with Blue on this replay, she's going to bring it down onto the inside. But, you know, that first maneuver was just had to be cut just a little bit short, and it threw out a rhythm, which threw off the rest of the wave. So the last of red, as we look at the, the White, she does a nice cut back here, but the wave's going to hit the reef, and it's going to stand up for her. She sees it, and she just eyes it up. 
and goes up in the lip, but she just can't quite negotiate it, and she goes down. So last of red was a 5.0. So we're waiting on... Last of white. No, no, last of red, 5.0. We have the last of white to come and the last of blue, blue to come. So blue comes in at a 3.0. So just working on the white score, and then we can break down the situation. So 10 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. All right, last of white, 3.5. So white first. White, you have a 6 and a 3.5. Red, you're second. You have a 5 and a 4.17. You require a 4.5. Blue, you are third. You are sitting on a single wave of a 3.0. You need a 6.17 to advance. Nine minutes, 55 seconds remaining. So surfers in the next heat coming up. We're going to see the number three ranked surfer, Reed Von Wagner. She's going to be taking on Vela Matif, Cayenne, Person Doc, and Simmer Bastigia. I think that is, where is it? You know. That was the second time I went to call the names without reviewing it first. <laughs> the second time I botched it. All right, as this tide starts to push in, as we've been saying, the waves send, tend to settle down a little bit. The sets still come. Sometimes they take a little longer. Some heats are going to be faster than others. There's definitely plenty of scoring potential still in the water. Eight minutes, 30 seconds remaining. This is heat number one, roundup 32. Actually breaking down what we're what we're seeing right now in the water service have moved right inside and they're actually dead in front of us. Correct, yeah. In there's like a there's a lull in the action and the girls have identified the conditions and they've smartened up. So they've drifted inside and there are quite a few waves that are coming through on that inside bowl there and connecting on the inside. So smart thinking on behalf of the competitors. Yeah, like definitely is something that you try and teach all the competitors uh, Watch, you know, watch the heats, you know, three or four heats before your heat, see what the waves are doing, study the tide, study the wind, you know, is it getting better, is it, is it dying off? And they've identified this perfectly. It was a good observation. B that being said, we are only commentators because a second pop up way out the back and you'll be scrambling for it. So you gotta hunt around and keep looking. Here we go, white up and riding. This is Jesse Engel. She is current heat leader, sitting on a six and a 3.5. So she's gonna look to better that 3.5 at least. She can't muster up much and she goes down. So time's starting to tick away. Avery McDonald, surfer in blue. She just has a single wave of a 3.0. And Bella Kenworthy sitting with priority. She is currently in second position so she can hold off blue off of any wave that she wants. That's how the priority order works. So red has priority and she has the pick of whatever wave she wants and blue can only take whatever wave red does not want. So, so it starts to be a little bit of a cat and mouse kind of game. Some surfers like having the priority coming up to the end of the heat. 
Some surfers like not having it and being able to transition and be able to move around and you know, sometimes that priority is a curse and sometimes it's a blessing. So breaking out this heat so far, this is definitely one of the slower heats we've had. Um, seeming like white and red got into early rhythms. And I think surfer in white is sitting on the high score, so it's definitely in the box seat, driver's seat here. But conditions are definitely a bit slower, although it is glassy. We're coming up now as the tide is starting to fill in. So it will get a little more inconsistent, but hopefully it will get a little bit bigger. Yeah, it, it is forecast to get a little bigger this evening, well, tonight, into tomorrow, and then into the weekend. So we could be on slower for some pretty exciting surfing coming up. You know, for the rest of the event, this generally what happens in Super Bowl when it's in between swells, from one swell to the next, generally one swell pretty much, the incoming swell generally takes away all the energy in the swell that's currently in the water. But you and me both know that it can go from this right here and a new swell come and in one set, it's eight foot. Well, Not that it's gonna happen today. But I, it, I, I it, definitely think you're going to see some interesting surfing tomorrow evening and the weekend is going to be a little bit bigger. I think so too. I think you're right. But I don't want to put goat mount on it as we're going to watch this surfer from in blue work her way onto the inside. Four minutes and 15 seconds. as an old Bajan term. Put goat mount on it. And I don't want to do that. And we said that it was a slow heat and now we're seeing some, some lines turning up. Here we go. Red, Bella, up and riding. She's a small little girl, but definitely not in her surfing ability as she goes out onto the open face, cutting it back, working it all the way to the inside with those two maneuvers. She's looking to try and better a 417 as we break replay, down this. The replay of white. Just gets one opening hit. This is a smaller inside wave. So she has to force to do a little cut back, and the wave really does no energy left in there for her. Right, so that wave earning her a 2.5. The last of red, she picks this up from deep all behind the section and gets a big first hit. Opens up the shoulders and holds the board on real, gives a lovely little carve. Gets one more snap back into the pocket, so that's definitely the better of that exchange. Patience paid off there. That yeah, yeah, Simon, she's going to distance herself from the pack with that. A lot of power in that those turns, so they're gonna, she's going to get rewarded with a 6.17. So, red, you go to first with a 6.17 on your last effort. White, you dropped a second. If you want to retake the lead, you need to look for a 5.1. And blue, you are third. You require a 6.5. Your last wave coming in at a 2.5. So two minutes, 56 seconds remaining. Surfers in the next heat, please stay down in the channel. Thank you very much. Did not already know this surfer in white, um, Jesse England, England? She seems to be surfing very well at Super Bowl and she's got a lovely back hand. Yep. And all she's looking to do right now is probably back up that, that high score she said none of the six. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. She was on her way to a good score and she just missed that outside turn and then she fell on the inside. But she's definitely identifying the better waves. Very good technique. She has a lot of rhythm. Showcasing some flair on her back, backhand. The, the other thing with the, with the back slider, Lou, they, the they, they, they might, they, or their backhanded surfer, which is a goofy footer, back in the wave at Super Bowl, they would also be looking at all the left opportunities coming through as well. So after we see this next exchange, Bella's up and riding. And she goes up and out the back. So here we go. Server with priority is white. She's going to look at this one. She's going to pull the trigger. Keep off blue. Is she going to get into it? She's scrambling. Yes, she does get into it as she works her way out onto the open face. That, yeah, just a big east peak, and it bent away from the reef. So here we go. Is anybody going to take it with one minute, 15 seconds remaining? So Simon, do you know how and where the term goofy foot surfer came in from? 
You know, I think I've heard that story, but you, you tell me what you know. What was your take on that one? It was a Mickey Mouse cartoon, and they were drawing the character Goofy on a wave surfing on a surfboard, and he had his right foot in front. And we're talking about Goofy the Duck, right? Goofy the, the Goofy the, the character, the cartoon character. So everybody that surfed with their right foot forward was known as a Goofy surfer because it referred to Goofy. Here we go, up and right in Avery McDonald. On her way to the inside, she had a nice outside hit. With 19 seconds remaining, she requires a score. She's going to try and get busy on this inside section. Is it going to offer her anything else? No, it doesn't. And she goes up and out the back. So ladies in the next seat stand by is red paddling. Heat leader, Bella Kenworthy, as the heat comes to an end, nice down carve, cut back, as she's going to finish with some flair. So that ends the heat. We're waiting for score for red and also blue. So ladies in the next heat, hold your positions as we watch this replay of blue. Lovely uh, first arc there. This is probably Blue's best wave. Redirects to the pocket. The wave lets her down, but she was able to get some work done on the outside. The judges will reward her for what she did. This is just filling work, trying to make the connection, but not much happening there for her. Mm. And this is the victory lap last of red. She just won big swooping car back into the pocket, almost like a round house cut back. That was well, a well-timed maneuver. Yeah, getting back to that wave of blue, she had two nice maneuvers on the outside, and I think that if she would have been able to get that little peak, North Peak, um, you know, she would have got a little bit better of a score. All right, last of blue requires a 5-2-1, drops a 4-3-0, so that's not enough to move into second position. So the heat's going to end with red and first, Bella Kenworthy taking the win, and heat, and Jesse Engel coming in second position. So ladies in the next heat, stand by. We're just switching around things. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we will be right back. Stay tuned. All right, back to live action, back to live action, back to the broadcast. Welcome back. Coming up in this heat in the red jersey, Reed Von Wagner. She opened up with a .05. In blue, Vela Mativ. In white, Caden Persendock. And in green, Summer Bastigia. Okay, so just two inconsequential scores on the board so far. And Red, look at this one going left. So this is Reed Von Wagner. She is currently sitting in third position. In this. Talk, talking about goofy footers and we've seen 
queuing up a replay here of our surfer in red. Gets one quality tag on, on going left. Judges will have to deem that something. And we've had a rider in white waiting to queue up the replay so we can address the live audience online. Good morning to everyone online. Here we go, queuing at last of white, picks up a pretty decent wave, high lines floater. Doesn't kind of get around that, and that's the pull out. So here we are, back to live action. This is Blue Valamativ working it out onto the open face. She's looking at this inside section, smashing some lobsters on her way in. She does get a nice maneuver, and she goes out the back. So just a couple of scores drop in here. So first of white, 2.17. Last of bread, 3.5. First of green, 0.83. As we watch the surfer in blue on your screen. With 16 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. This is heat number two in the round of 32. This is the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro and this is the Live Like Xander Junior Pro you are tuned into. Memory, this event is in memory of Xander Venezia. We're about to live action, Surfer in Red. Yeah, Surfer in Red up and riding. This is Reed Von Wagner working it out onto the open face. Nice maneuver, bangs it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. As she works it down to the inside, she's gonna look to finish this one strong. Throws it up in the lip. So she is currently in second position. So that's gonna come in as her best. Reed is currently sitting in third position. All right. We're gonna see if they'll, they'll, they'll queue up the replays of the last of those two raids. All right, last of red. This is Reed Wag Wagner from the USA. Starts off with a lovely vertical backside hit. Had to do some filling work to get around the white water. And she does a couple little check turns trying to make the inside connection she gets another little tap in there. So this will probably be the best way of the heat so far. Yeah, I agree with you, Simon. Definitely going to be. As we look at this replay of Bella, sorry, Vela. Small little girl. Very powerful. She works her way onto the inside. She's sitting on a 5 and a .93, so this is definitely going to go into her score line. All right, last of red, 683, 683 for red. So we're just working on one for blue. Last of blue, 3.0 as green, looking at this one. So green, she's gonna turn on this little inside. A nice looking wall ahead of her. She's currently sitting in fourth position with just a .83. This is Summer Bastiga. And red up and right, and, and she goes out the back. With 12, 13 minutes and 20 seconds remaining, we're gonna send it down to the glass standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Bella Kenworthy. Welcoming Bella Kenworthy by the St. Louis Glass today. She just won the first heat in a women division for the BTMI Live Alexander Junior Pro. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. 
I saw you had a nice big turn that got you your first like decent wave of five point. Um, yeah, I had like I didn't have priority, so I was like, I'll just go on this wave, and luckily it gave me one like decent section, and yeah. Kept a little busy. I saw you sat a little deeper. Did you like check the around the sorry the heat before where the blue jersey was sat a little deeper? Is that why you're lying on that? Um, I just like didn't have priority and like other girls were like more like wider so I was like oh I'll just go deeper and like hope that like, one that I can get a score on comes. Fair enough but it did work because it was a keeper and then top it up with another six points so good. Can't wait for the next round right? Maybe tomorrow? Yeah I'm excited it looks like the waves are supposed to get a bit better tomorrow so I'm excited to get some fun waves. Hopefully yeah see you shredding a bit more. Do you have any like goal for the event or we keep like keep it chill? Um, yeah, I definitely have goals for the event. Like, I go into every event with a goal. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can reach that goal. <laughs> Fair enough, and keep that, you know, head of the leaderboard, right? It would be nice to stay <laughs> on the top of the leaderboard. Super, all right. Well, um, get some rest, maybe catch up with uh, everyone in the tent and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, I'm excited to watch the rest of the heats for today. For sure, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action. So no waves were ridden while we were on that short break. Breaking down the situation for you. As you can see, Red, Reed Von Wagner, she is in first position, sitting on a 6.83 and a 3.5. In second position is the surfer in blue, Vela Matif. She's sitting on a 5 and a 3. In fourth position, Summer Bastiga, she is sitting on a 2.33 and a 0.83. She requires a 5.6 to move up into an advancing position. And in fourth position is Surfer in white, Caden Persendock. She is sitting on a single wave of a 217. She requires a 5.8, 10 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. This is heat number two, and you are tuned into the BTMI. Live like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. This event is presented by Diamonds International and brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. 12 years, Simon, we've been doing these events. Wow. You remember the first event we did? The, the, what was it called? The first event we the did. The first event when, with the BSA, we did an international event. Summer Beach Bash. Where Summer the, where the Guadalupe team came. Oh, this was like, you're talking about the first event, International Xander competed out here. Yes. And Che Allen. Yes. And we brought in, oh, some very good, the whole Tim Timothy Bezo. Timothy, yes, yes. And a yes. lot of very good quality surfers came to that event. Yep. Well, yep. That's, um, that's some really good memories. Here we go, green up and right in. Look, things, conditions are looking tough out there right now. Things have slowed down. Yeah, and it's getting a little bit slopier. So one goes left, one goes right. We're gonna stick with the right. Here we go, Vela Matif. And a nice surf wave. This wave's lining up for her. She's gonna finish strong. Another cutting back. A little be, cutty on his little... Gotta got be careful what he says, the commentator. I say that, and that's a, probably a, a, a good wave just surfed there with a good outside maneuver. That was probably a, one of the bigger waves we've seen for about 10 minutes. Here we go, Here we go. break Bre it down. Breaking down blue, Vela from the USA. Gets a lovely first crap, belt some water. And it lays down a little gaff there, trying to put her next position point on this wave and another little hit. One more stop on the inside, so that'll be her best wave. Shoot. And live action on the outside, white. Caden. Oh, it's showing some rhythm on this wave as she works her way onto the inside. Yeah. Eight minutes, 45 seconds remaining. So we had, you know, watching these scores. Yeah, yeah, little bringing up those memories with Team Martin, um, with all those Guadalupe surfer, surfers. Shout out all the our neighboring islands of Trinidad, Guadalupe, Tobago.
Yeah, that's just a quick up and down for Red. Watching, watching Blue. CTB, our, our heat leader, is now getting in the rhythm. Lovely snap there. And another connecting all the dots. This way, I've been able to see for her, but she did a lot of work. Yeah, so a little priority shift there. Not priority, a little situation change there. Blue putting down a 5.67 on her previous wave. Then she has this wave to come. Five minutes and 58 seconds. She goes to first. Reed and red drops to second. And live action is green. She's looking for an eight-point ride. As we follow this replay of Surfer in blue working her way to the inside. Just waiting for scores for blue and red. Five minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Blue currently in first position. Okay, so we're looking at this score for blue, it's dropping in 5.53, so that strengthens her lead. So red, if you want to go back to first, you need to, you require a 4.3 with four minutes and 45 seconds remaining. So up and right and white, coming around the first section, throwing it up in the lip, kind of gets a little hung up, regains her composure and she goes down. So you see how the rhythm of these surfers is so affected by any little wobble that they, they, they happen to have. So two girls from this North American region will qualify for Worlds. The two top ranked surfers, and at the minute, that is Bella Kenworthy and Sanoa Olin. As Red gonna turn on this one, Reed Von Wagner, she is currently sitting in third position on the rankings. She can only muster those two little maneuvers and then she goes out the back as the wave runs away with her. So you watch this replay of White. But you see she just had that little wobble at the top of the wave and it just threw off her rhythm and she was not able to regain composure and she goes down. So priority goes to blue, then white. And red on that replay. So previous of red, 637, so red goes to first. Blue, you go to second. White, you now require a 7.43 and Green, you now require an 8.87. All right, two minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Here we go, looking at Red. She is current heat leader. Sitting on a 6.83 and a 6.37. Nice quality maneuver off the lip. Out onto the open face. Working it to the inside. Looking to finish strong. Throws it up. Completes the maneuver and rides out. So she's building her score line. Currently with 13.2. 
And here we go, looking at that, two waves for both the first and second place. Right up there, one over 13 and one just about 11.2. So that's what we were saying earlier. It's coming up to that 12.2 wave heat total. Doesn't matter if it's two sixes, a seven and a five, blue with a higher priority. She's gonna hold off white, Vela Matif. She is currently in second position. That, this wave got nice scoring potential on it. She's gonna try and flip flop back into first, but does not give her an inside section. And on the outside, white putting herself in position. She sees the set, she's putting herself there. She's gonna look to turn on this one. Here we go, white cannot get into that wave. We look at this replay of blue. Nice turn right there in the pocket. Yes. Here we go, green live action up and riding as we're gonna count this one in, in three, two, and one. So ladies in the next heat. Ladies in the next heat, please hold your positions. We're gonna go on a short hold and we will be right back. So official results of this heat, taking the win, actually sorry, we got some scores to drop, so let me see where that goes. I forgot about that. Wave for blue, but then red also answered back. So once we get these two scores in, I will update the situation. As you see the big monkey on the beach, Sun Bum, one of our sponsors. Thank you very much for your support. So the judges are giving these a look, so. So the last of red trickling in, 7.20 for red. So that's going to go in your score lane. That'll be your best. And then we're going to look at blue. So plenty of scoring potential, even though the waves are a little smaller today. Definitely plenty of scoring potential as judges are giving this another look. Okay, so last of blue, seven, three, f sorry, five, seven, three. So situation remains the same, red first and advancing into the round of 16. And also blue advancing. So surfers in the water, stand by, hold your positions. We're gonna take a, short, a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with action from heat number three of this round of 32 women's. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the broadcast. You are tuned in to the BTMI Live Like Xana Junior Pro Heat Number Three Round of Thirty Two Women's Action coming up in the red jersey. Rachel Aguero in blue. Dana McCart 
in white, Mia Moore, and in green, Ludmill Gunter. Gwenter. We go red, Rachel Aguero. She's drawing first blood, up and riding. Nice little backhand hit. And on the outside, the girls having to go under this one as it sweeps the lineup clean. A sweeper set. So Blue's gonna turn on this one. Daya Makar, here we go, up and riding, and she goes up and out the back. So she will go into fourth prior third priority once she gets back on the outside. Priority has not been established between the surfer in white and the surfer in green. So with 18 minutes and 25 seconds remaining, looking at some of the scores that have been dropped so far for the event, a lot of good range scores. A lot of scores in the good range for the ladies and also for the men's. Had some eight, six sevens and eight one seven by Lucas Skinner and Kai Granny. A flat eight for Diego Ferry, eight six seven for Diego. And a series of seven one sevens. Highest two wave heat total would have been Diego Ferry with 16.67, followed by Lucas Skinner on those hand-shaped boards by his dad, Ben Skinner from Cornwall, England. Those boards look very spicy under Lucas's feet. He's definitely a top contender in this event. His father, a top contender in the longboard division on the world tour or, or in the world. As we see green, just a couple of small little S turns and then she goes out the back with 17 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. So Surfer in green, looking at a 167, Surfer in red, 317. And the server in blue, a point five zero. So Daya McCart currently sitting in the seventh position on the rankings. Here she goes, looking at this one. She's up and riding, working it to the North Peak, gonna cut it back. That's all she wrote. She can't get back around the section and she goes out and down, down and out the back. Looking like a lovely outside turn there on full on real turn by Surfer in Blue. That's Dea McCart from the USA. That would be probably her first score, counting score of this heat. Previous to that, she only had a throwaway. Bit of a slow heat so far, but we're now seeing a couple waves approaching. See if anyone is in position to grab this. Conditions are a bit slow and there's a little texture in the water, but overall it's clean. Um, not sure what surfers are riding today. Today you might even be able to ride a slightly smaller, wider, thicker board just to give you the drive through these dead spots. But if you're sticking with your outside turns, maybe you'll stick on your, your regular short board. Looking at a slight increase in swell during the course of the, maybe tomorrow afternoon and Definitely over the weekend, we should see a little bump up in the size of the swell, so surfers will be very happy to know that a little bit more swell is on the way. 15 minutes remaining in this one, ladies. Priority sits with white. Second priority is with red. Third priority is with green. Situation, surfer in blue, out in front with a 4.50. Combined heat, heat total, leading. Surfer in red is in second with a 3.17 total. Third, 1.87 is priority sitting with surfer in white, hasn't put a score on the board yet.
Right, here we go, up and right in, Daya McCart in blue. And servers on the outside, green gives way to red as server and blue working it all the way to the inside. Nice finishing maneuver. Breaking on this replay, surfer in blue. Dim, that's a lovely first carve. Redirects to the pocket. She's eyeing up the inside here. She says she's got one outside balloon. She wants to finish strong. She gets one bang on the inside. Cl clean and rid ridden out completed. There was a bit of a jostle for the surfer in red. She ended up just getting a, a snap this way, splits away on her. She tries to stick with it. This is Rachel from Costa Rica. This wave was. Really not much energy for Rachel. Rachel just did her best to keep her bo board moving and keeping the board speed up, but wasn't able to get any major maneuvers done on that. So she'll be looking for a better wave out the back. All right, while we have a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Reed Von Wagner, the winner of the last heat with a 14.03 two-wave heat total. Here we are with Reed Van Wagener from California who just won heat number two of this opening round in the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you, Reed? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I so love the backhand over there. You're looking real strong and steady. Do you like the waves here? Yeah, I love my backhand and these waves actually today is more fun than I think than yesterday. Even though it's, if it's a little smaller, it has a great bowl, and it's just super fun. Yeah, that incoming tide really has a little push. It's looking so much better than this morning, right? Yeah, it's so much cleaner. I mean, the water's blue, and the wind's kind of staying off it a little bit, which is really nice. So that might be it for today. Just one run, right? Yeah. Next yeah. upcoming heat uh, tomorrow. How are you going to prepare for it? What are you going to do for the rest of the day? Probably going to stay in the shade and maybe get some AC. Definitely drink water. Um, <laughs> Maybe get a good dinner and sleep early, but same routine every day, so. Sounds really good. I mean, you do look steady over there, so that's great to see some girls ripping. Always yeah. good to see. Um, you want to say a little something, a little shout out to friends, family, maybe some sponsors? Yeah, thank you. Again, my mom is tuning in, and then thank you to everyone who's watching at home. And uh, thank you, Chris Borst, because I'm feeling my board right now, and it's just amazing, and Bill Wong. All right, thank you so much. Have thank a good you. day. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, back to live action. While we were on that short commercial um, replay break, we score for Surfer in Blue. Diane McCart comes in at a 5.0, 5.5. So she goes to first, and here we see her up and right and trying to back up that 5.5. She's working her way to the inside. And Surfer's on the outside in white, up and riding as well. She's working it on to the inside. Catching up to the last of that ride for White. We will get you that replay. That was Mia Moore, her first wave, using her priority on that. Also on that wave was Surfer in green. She went left. So let's see if we can get it on that replay. Yeah, breaking on the replay, replay Lou. There starts off with a lovely snap. Pushes out the tail there. Just a little, little snap and trying to connect it in the last snap. The waves are really a bit gutless at the moment, and she's... Our last of white. This is her first wave of the heat, so she's been a long time to pick this up. There's a couple of snaps on the outside, and she taps the inside. She makes the connection on the inside. She gets one more finishing turn, so that'll be her first score on the board. All right, so back to live action as we wait for that score for blue and white to drop in. Nine minutes, 35 seconds remaining. This is heat number three in this round of 32 of the Live Like Xander BTMI Junior Women's. I am Luis Venezia, paired up here with Simon Coles, local legend, big wave surfer. <laughs> I've known Simon since, how old were you? eight or nine? 
a little too long now, you know. <laughs> we had an international event down here one year. You remember what year that was, Sammy? No, the one that you and Richard were the juniors. The Sprite Caribbean Cup. Sprite Caribbean Cup. That was an interesting event. Lou, yeah, let me tell boy, you, I remember yeah. this thing like yesterday. Yeah, so we used to do these events here. They were fully international events. Barbados was here. Jamaica was here. Venezuela was here. USA. USA was here. Brazil. Brazil. Australia. Australia. Australia, six or seven countries. Like a mini ISA World Games. So you have two juniors, four open men, and four open women. And it's run just like the ISA. And Simon and Richard Gooden, whose son Rafe is coming up a little later on, were the juniors of the event. And we had a really good team. I mean, our open team was like Alan Burke and Zed Lacey and Mark Holder. And the, one of the coaches for the Barbados team kind of threw the two juniors under the bus and said that they were the weak link in the team. And it upset me greatly and I kind of took them under my wing and I coached them and really just giving them encouragement but they were both managed to make the final that's right and you came second and or third third and Richard was fourth right and Barbados finished in second position behind the United States by one single point and who's this it was just a I mean back in the day we never had no webcast you never had you know you couldn't watch it on TV and I kid you not, and I guarantee you if you ask anybody that was in that time, you could not see the sand on the beach. It was, there were that many people down here and it, that event went on every year in November for decades. I mean, it was really a great time to be involved in surfing in Barbados. So we'll catch up with the surfing here as you saw some replays. Saw surfer in blue, really take, taking a stranglehold of this heat. Dan yeah. McCart seems to be in a really good rhythm, and I think she probably would be posting one of her best scores. And yeah. White, we have a replay here of White. The judge is trying to catch up on, on all these waves ridden. It's really a bit tough and hard unless you're picking the right, the best size set wave out there. Girls are struggling on trying to manufacture scores on the insiders, and girls are actually surfing really well if they're being patient and waiting for the sets. Just want to give Mason Staff a shout out. I so just asked like, for you. So it looks like we caught up with the replays, but the judges are now going to catch up with the scores. So we got scores coming for green, white, and blue. And I will give you a full rundown. So the previous of, of white, that comes in at a 367. The last of red was a 247. She's on the outside. Here we go. Live action. This is white. Currently in second position, she just catches a little edge and she goes down. So as soon as the judges get caught up with all the scores, I'll update the whole situation. Right now there is five minutes and 45 seconds remaining. All right, here we go, Red, she's up and riding. She's working her way on this left and throws out the fins and she goes out the back. Watch this replay of Red on this left. What did you see, Simon? Well, this is Rachel. Rachel's trying to be smart here as a goofy footer. She's trying to really capitalize on that left where she was able to get one quality maneuver there so the judges will reward at least the one quality turn the last of blue there is comfortably out in front of this and rachel which is white last I, we have so many scores to drop white you are currently in second position you have another score to come blue is currently in first red is currently in third red your last wave comes in at a four two zero three four minutes 30 seconds remaining so as soon as i get caught up i'll give you a full rundown so one more of white to, to come in, and then we should be all caught up. There was a flurry of waves surfed in the last five minutes, that's for sure. All right, last of white, 1.8. So 
up and right in is green. She goes down onto the inside. So blue, you're first. White, you're second. Red, you are third. You require a 3.5 red. 3.5. Three minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Last of green here. She got a little hung up and stuck behind that, put her behind the eight ball here. She got someone in front, gets one quality carve. And another sweeping carve back to the pocket. Trying to make the inside connection, but that is not a big enough wave. Not all these waves are connecting through. You really have to, when you stand up beside and see a quality defined line all the way through. So white with a higher priority gives way to red. She let her take it, red. Throws it up in the lip. She's going to try and get this reform. She can't manage it. So I don't know if we're going to queue up a replay last of red, but last of red seemed to have picked up a little double up there and was able to get one pretty big hit. The judges seem to be liking critical maneuvers. Okay, green, your last wave coming at a 267. You now require a 5.0. So red, your wave is going to come in right now. I'll give you that score. As we watch that replay of red. Not quite the, the amount of speed that she would like to be carrying. She would have liked to have hit that. So last of red, 3.40 red. You still require that 3.5 and green. You require a 5.07, two minutes, 10 seconds remaining. So last of white, 373. Red, you now require a 3.6, and white, you require a 5.1, one minute, 50 seconds. So that was a paddle for green. Priority shifts to blue, red, white. So blue with priority, red with second. Red's going to go left. Blue's going to go right. We're sticking with blue on the webcam. Wow. And she, oh, boy. She would have wanted to hang on to that one. So red requiring a score. We're going to get that replay. So judges will look at that. So green is up. She also needs a score. A little down carve. She's going to try and stick with it. She can't quite manage and she waved, runs away with her. So let's see what the red surfer in red did as one went left and one went right. I just love that. Blue looking on the inside. 35 seconds remaining. White's going to come in and escort Red back to the lineup. <laughs> She's just waiting for her, but 25 seconds remaining. we got to wait and break down the last score of Red. Fifteen seconds remaining. We're seeing quality wave rolling through the back there. So blue up and riding. She is the heat leader as we're going to count this one in in three, two, one. All right, ladies in the next seat, please stand by. We are on a short hold. We got quite a bit of scores to run through here. One score very important that is the surfer in red going left. Not sure if we have that replay, if they can queue up that replay for us. Last wave of red going left. It could be a wave of consequence here. So ladies in the next seat, please stand by. Last few scores for blue. 
are just a 2.6, 2.9, a couple of offers, so that's not going to factor in. Last of White was a 373. She is currently in second position, but we have this wave for Red that they are working on. So this, and wait and see if Surfer in Red is going to be able to turn the heat. Still breaking down the score. These judges have the ability to watch every single wave with surf. They really get a good look at it. They can replay everything. They're watching the replays, analyzing them, pick them apart. They're coming up with the right scores every single time. So here we go. Scores starting to trickle in for red. Red, you require a 3.60. You drop a 3.8. Turns the heat, goes to second. So taking the win, Surfer in blue, Daya McCart coming in second, turning the heat on the buzzer. Surfer in red, Rachel Aguero. So Daya and Rachel will be moving on into the round of 16. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we're going to be back with heat number four of this round of 32. Stand by. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is crown of light. So back to live action. We're going to count this one in in three, two, one. So we are underway. Heat number four, round of 32. On your screen, you see these contestants in the red jersey. Leanna Mons in blue, M Mia McLeish. In white, Maddie Storer. And in green, Koa Fierro. We saw this young girl, Koa Fierro, yesterday drop a nine-point ride. Literally, as the second the horn blew, she was up and riding, and she surfed it from way up inside and ripped it all the way down to the rip. And guess where she is right now? She's sitting exactly where she was yesterday. Right there, all the way up inside. Here we go. This is a young surfer from Tahiti, starting very similar to the way she did yesterday, but not ending the way she did started with a series of major maneuvers on the outside. She surfed the wave all the way to the beach, and she dropped the highest wave of the heat with a nine-point ride. I think she had a dream run there yesterday, I'm trying to repeat that same formula, but it doesn't always happen the way you want. Yeah, and Mia McLeish also was up and riding. We see this replay. She just manifested a 1.77 for that ride. First of green, this wave here. Breaking it back down, she just got a great first snap. She's a bit late to that second hit. Section took her out. Yes. She wasn't directly over her board, so. So she earns a 3.5 for that effort. Well, one maneuver. One maneuver. She has a, a lovely backhand attack. Has a lot of rhythm, a lot of flow. She took out our local contender, Chelsea Tuak, former CT surfer. Yeah, it was a hard heat to watch, but there were so many good heats and wave selection was key. And, yes. and priority, you had to be on those waves that gave you the stretched out wall. Yep, these waves are a little smaller than it's been, but definitely cleaner and definitely plenty of scoring potential in the water. We've seen 
a series of eights go down for the day. You know, waves all up in the very good to excellent range. Here we go, red up and right and on her backhand, throwing up the first term. This is Leanna Mons, and she goes out the back. We go up and right in white. Maddie Starr floats the section. She's going to come down, trying to get out in front of it, and she just can't quite negotiate that, and she goes down. Okay, while we have a break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass. For the winner, we'll have the last heat standing by with Amaya is Daya McCart. Here we are welcoming Daya McCart from Florida at the San Luis Glass. She just won heat number three of the opening round in the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> We were just talking um, kind of like on and off waves and it's kind of similar to where you're from. Yeah, it is. Um, it's still really rippable and I'm pretty used to smaller waves. So yeah, just having fun and surfing good. <laughs> you are surfing good and also you just came from a second place also back at home. So feeling confident. Your first year is going well so far. Yeah, um, I'm pretty confident after that second place. Uh, I think that was my first time doing juniors. so. Yeah, really just uh, give me confidence for this one, and the waves are pretty fun here, so stoked. Well, keep it up. We are very happy to have you here on the island. Uh, I know that is here. Hi, Dad, and twin brother as well. But you want to say uh, maybe hi for friends, family, maybe sponsors back at home? Yeah, I just want to thank my sister for watching, Reese, and my friends and family back home, and the sponsors for the support, and my parents. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Can't wait to see more. Thank you. <laughs> All right, with 14 minutes, 30 seconds remaining, we're back to live action. We saw Leah Mons drop a 6.5 for that one single maneuver, vertical up in the lip on that north section coming at her. So she is currently in the lead, followed by the Tahitian Koa Fierro in second position, sitting on just a 3.5. And in third position, with a single wave of a 3.10, Maddie Starr. And in fourth position, Mia McLeish with a 1.7 and a 1.1. So we have 13 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. You are tuned in to the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. This event has been running for 12 consecutive years. Every year we get bigger and better. Just want to remind everybody, food and beverage tent under the main bar that is run solely by Surf Promotions. Surf Promotions is who brings all of these events to you. For those of you that have been coming here year after year after year, you can see that every year the event gets bigger, the infrastructure gets bigger, and that is bought from your support at the bar, food and beverage. Also want to remind everybody coming up on Saturday night, we're going to have an after party right there under the main stage. It is free for everyone to attend. We have one of the top local bands on the island, and they absolutely rock it. Last year's party was absolutely off the chart. 
Here we go, up and right in red. Oh boy, Liana Mons, another big turn in the pocket. She's gonna stick with this one, working it all the way down to the inside. And the young Tahitian on the outside, another big vertical snap as well. She's sticking with this one. This girl's got lovely, lovely style, both of them. Great futures ahead of both of these girls. Definitely saw some good surfing just go down. So we're hoping the replays can be queued up. First of red, Lena M Mons from USA gets a lovely outside hit. This lady has a strong backhand. She gets vertical. She's trying to stick with this to see if she gets all the way through. Gets one more snap. That's all that she wrote. But the judges will will score her. And the outside here is the last of, the of green. She gets a lovely first snap. River goes a little flat, she gets a second snap, redirecting the white water, she pulls up. Yes, Iams, we're going to see that score of red go up there, close to that first score. So last of red, 5-8-3, 5-8-3 for red. So working on green, it's going to be her best. Just a couple, couple scores drop, 4-1-0 for green. So red first, green second. White, you are third. You now require a 4.50. And blue, you are fourth. You now require a 5.83. Just want to welcome everybody to the broadcast. And I'll get a message from my good friend, Candy Pate, listening all the way from Idaho. Welcome to the broadcast. You have to definitely get here one day, and I know that you will. Also, her husband, Josh Pate. He is responsible for the TV series Outer Banks. L Great it. people, lovely to have you join us on the broadcast as we watch Green up and right and throwing it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. Another wow. big turn. She's on the way to a good score. She's gonna try and finish this strong. Eyes this section coming at her and bangs it. Throws spray flying. So there you go, well pow, take that Simon. What do you think about it? I think we just witnessed very good surfing. I'm not going to call a score. I'm not a judge, but this is probably going to go in the good to excellent range. That's three major outside maneuvers, and she's throwing a lot of water. This wave cooperated the whole while, and an end section, beautiful hit. That is perfect surfing for this type of wave today. Absolutely. That's going to go right up there. That's going to rival the best of the best today. And Red was up and riding as well, so she had a couple of turns on the outside, but I think her strategy is one to be. Here we go, watching Red. So look at this first maneuver. And then I think she just realizes that this is not going to be better than the 6-5 or the 5-8-3, so she kicks out. So here we go, Koa Fierro. She's going back up in the excellent range. Couple scores drop already. 8.67867 for the surfer in green. From Tahiti, Koa Fierro, she goes into first position. Coming in, dropping Leah Mons, surfer in red to second. So surfer in third, in the white jersey, you now require a 9.23, and surfer in blue, you are in fourth position. You require a combination of 12.8, 12.33. Nine minutes, 20 seconds remaining. So this young, Tahitian surfer, 8.67. That was a devastating um, kind of backhand performance she had there, but she actually picked a very good wave that gave her that steep section all the way through. And she's light, she's nimble, and she was very quick on her feet, responding from every from one top turn. She drove off of that, back into the deep bottom turn. The wave presented a steep phase, and she was able to torque it every time, throw, throwing, throwing buckets of spray. So that was excellent surfing, and reward, the judges have rewarded that. Out in the booth. Okay, we're back up, Booth. I'm back up, thank you. Now 
All right, just want to welcome all the visitors to the beach. Welcome to Super Bowl, welcome to the event. All of them on the live webcast. Welcome to the broadcast. You are tuned into the BTMI. Live like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. We are in heat number four in this round of 32 of the junior women. Coming up immediately following heat number eight. So we're halfway through this round. Coming up immediately following the heat number eight, we're gonna go into the round of 32 junior men. And that is gonna be where all the top seeded surfers are gonna be, 16 top seeds. We'll take on the 16 that advanced out of the round of 48 this morning. So some exciting surfing coming your way. Sounds like some pepper sauce in the bowl, Lou. That's right. Here we go, looking at this is the surfer in blue, Mia McLeish, currently sitting in fourth position, sitting with She is sitting, was sitting with priority for quite a while. Sitting on a 1.7 and a 1.1. So sometimes you're in rhythm with the ocean and sometimes you're not. So when the better. Probably one of the hardest things to do is what the girls are doing right now is actually to sit and do nothing and wait for waves. Uh, uh, yep, absolutely. And you know, it's, it's so stressful knowing that you Great, knowing that you don't even really have that good of a score, you know, you need a score. You know, still six minutes left in the heat, there's still plenty of time, she's in combination. So she, she needs two waves. It's not a big combination, only 12.33, so two sixes will get her there, a seven and a five will get her there. So anything in those range will get her there. So coming up, coming up in the next heat, we're gonna see Sonoa Olin, Remy Todd, and Sophia Gambio. If any of you saw that heat with Sonoa yesterday, she absolutely destroyed out here. I think she dropped two eights or an eight five and an eight. So we're just coming up on this five minute mark situation. Priority in the water sits with white, red, green, blue. So priority order is white, red, green, blue. But once again, just want to welcome everybody to the beach. Thank you very much for coming, all the visitors to the island. It's great to see you all. Just want to remind everybody that please, there are plenty of garbage bins located throughout the event site. Please drop everything in the garbage. If you see anything on the beach that doesn't belong there, please pick it up. Leave nothing on the beach but footprints. The girls um, have moved right down. They're almost dead in front of the judges' tower here right now. And they're really in the lower section of the bowl, so they, if the set does come, they just have to run up a little bit and maybe go out a little bit, or if a small one comes in, they'll drift in. The girls are actually positioning themselves really smart right now. So there you go on your screen, you see the next heat. Sonoa Olin, Remy Todd, and Sophia Gambo. They are warming up. Ladies, you are free to paddle out. Three minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, this, heat has not, ha this heat has not had a flurry of waves, it was, I think only we've seen about two sets and it's gone rather quiet. So maybe in the next three minutes, the girls will be hoping for another opportunity to uh, up, up one of their scores for sure. So just a reminder, ladies, please stay down in the channel in the next heat. We'll give you plenty of time to get in position. So coming up in the next heat, we're gonna see the number two ranked surfer, Sanoa 
Olin from Canada. She's going to be paired up with Remy Todd and Sophia Gamble. Two minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Girls are holding their nerve there, just waiting patiently. Under two, min under two minutes now. Under two minutes. It's been a little while since we've seen a set. Could be an indication of what's to come. However, there was a wave just there that ruled onto all these girls and hit the inside. So you see an eight, six, seven on this board, on the scoreboard by this young surfer from Tahiti. Wasn't the biggest wave, but she definitely went to town on it. Flurry of major maneuvers. So immediately following this round of 32 for the junior women's, we're going to be going into the junior men's. Under a minute now remaining, so 50 seconds remaining in this heat. I know there are people tuned in all over the world. Thank you very much for tuning in. We are expecting a little bump up in the swell tomorrow. As I was saying earlier, once a new swell is coming, it draws out all the energy from the old swell. Sometimes it happens at night, sometimes it happens in the day, and just can't control these things. However, there is plenty of scoring potential in the water still, as you can see, indicative of the scores on the board. But an excellent score and a good score. With just 10 seconds remaining, this heat looks like it's gonna close out. And the order it is, this would be the first heat that we did not have a flurry of waves at the end. So here we go, counting this one in in three, two, one. So that ends heat number four in this round of 32. So, Surfer and Green from Tahiti taking the win, Koa Fierro, followed by Surfer in red, Liana Mons. They will be moving on and advancing into the next round. So, breaking that last seven minutes down, Lou, I don't think any waves were ridden for the last seven minutes. The girls sat and waited patiently. All right. All right, we're going to take a short commercial break and we'll be back with the start of heat number five in this round of 32. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Yeah. Come from a place, we have set every single race. Paradise is being named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. No search of many houses. the best of us. Sophia Gamble. Back to live action. Here we are in this heat. Number five, round of 32 coming up in this heat. 
Sanoa Olin, Remy Todd, and Sophia Gamble. That is red, blue, and white, respectively. You see them on your screen. Last of White breaking it down, she starts off with a lovely first turn. This little wave kept running along the reef nicely, and she was able to capitalize with a second maneuver, making the connection on the inside, another little snap to end off. So that's not a bad way to open her heat. We're waiting for scores to be locked in. And that was Sanoa. No, no sorry. And we have another pallet on the inside, white again. Here we go, white up and right, and this is Sophia. So first of, of white, previous of white, 4.0. Okay, so we do have a green in this heat. Arena Vargas, as we watch this replay of white. Breaking, breaking down white, she picked this up on the pallet back hole. Gets one little back carve there. She'll be very happy with that. That was a quality maneuver. Conditions are a bit slower, and she's probably identified that watching the previous heats before, so she wants to get busy early. Yeah, that last heat, the heat before the last one, was one of the only heats that didn't end with the two servers over 12 points. But the last heat, uh, an 8.67 go down in the, in the last heat. So Sanoa. Nope. Right, last of white 217. So the, the only server to catch waves in this heat so far is the server in white. So she's going to go to fourth priority once she gets on the outside. Priority has not been established between the other three surfers. So the surfer closest to the peak will have right away over the next. Yeah, last heat was um, nearly seven minutes without any rides happening, so it was no flurry of action. So hopefully this heat may have a few more opportunities than the last heat. It's usually working every other. Well, it just so happened that the set ended up coming just after the horn while we were at that commercial break and while the girls were still getting into position. And the last couple of heats, that, that set has been arriving before the end of the heat. The judges want to get everything right, so there's a lot of replays going on up here, making sure that they can compare like wave for like wave and like score to like score. And I just want to commend the judges up here doing an excellent job, full international panel, the QS 5000 highest ranked rated event on the North American tour. That's how we rule here in Barbados. We want to be the biggest and the best. So here we go, once again, same girl, Sophia, up and riding, working her way onto the open face, working her way down onto the inside wave, not cooperating. She's currently sitting on a 4.0 and a 2.17. 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. That's Sophia Gamboa. Sophia Gambo. Gambo. That's her third ride. And she's improved her situation ever so slightly. Yep, 2.30, Sophia. Your last one coming in at a 2.30. 
So I see a lot of new faces at this event. We were managed to qualify quite a few surfers last year through the Challenger Series. All of those surfers did come through this event. Congratulations to all of them. I hope you all are tuned in. A lot of the 2% crew, coached by Matt Myers. Got to feel very proud about that. He also has a few competitors in this event doing very well. All right, we're gonna take a quick break in the action while we have slowed down a little bit. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Koa Fierro. We're welcoming back at the St. Luke Glass, the young surfer from Tahiti, Kohai Fierro. How are you today? I'm feeling good. Uh, the waves are a little bit tricky today, but uh, I'm happy I got this uh, good wave on the board and just get me going through the heat. Yeah, getting you going through that first heat in the um, BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro, not the QS today. Uh, you did showcase your strong backhand again and scored a 8.67. That must be a, another confidence boost for you. Yeah, definitely. I'm happy I got this one and being able to express my surfing, especially today, it was really hard. Not many waves coming through. So, yeah, I'm happy I got this wave and, yeah, stoked. I do have a question for you. After you scored that wave, you were sitting third priority and the ocean went quiet for the rest of the heat. Were you praying for a set to come through to back up your A or were you praying for no set to come through? No, I really wanted to get another score. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was just hoping a couple more waves, maybe that would come by because it was still a couple minutes left, maybe nine minutes, so that was a while. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to back up with the higher score, but uh, it, no waves came through, but that's fine. <laughs> well, hopefully more waves on your next round uh, tomorrow maybe. How are you going to prepare for it? What are you going to do this, this afternoon? Uh, I think just rest, drink a lot of water, eat, and uh, yeah, just do the same routine. And yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. And get it going again. And two eights next time, right? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Tu veux faire un petit coucou à la famille et les amis peut-être? Bah, je, vous me manquez beaucoup et puis euh, j'ai hâte de vous voir. Un gros bisous. <rire> Merci beaucoup. Bonne fin de journée. We go green up and right in. Well, I'm going to attempt to call this live because I've lost the feed. Okay, last of blue, 2.7. Last of green, 2.27. So with nine minutes, 10 seconds remaining, 
Server in white holding down first place, followed by Server in blue. Server in green, you are in third. You require a 1.5. And Server in red, with priority, yet to open your account. Sniffing at that one, but she leaves it. Here we go, Sonoma, she's gonna pull the trigger up and right in. Working it out onto the upper face, coming around north section. Nice little down carve, she's setting up the turn. Throws it up, this is world-class surfing you're witnessing by this young girl. Sonoma Olin in fine form. She's a solid competitor, Sean. From Canada, showing well, lots of class and style. Well, honestly, breaking that down what we just saw there, she has sat for so long. Nerves of steel, the first quality wave that came through there. She took it apart, outside snap. She was able to, to wait for the north section, bang it up vertic vertical. Do all the filling work to connect the dots. She made the inside connection and finished strong. That's going to be good to excellent score. I may not be the judge, but I know excellent surfing. So Bream, she's up and riding and out the back. Okay, last of red, 717. Red, you go to first. White, you drop to second. Green, you now go to third. Green, you require a 3.3. And blue, you are currently in fourth. You require a 3.5. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining. So we apologize for that short break in transmission. We are having some technical issues with our feed. having technical issues with the feed in the announcer's booth, so we're trying to get that rectified for you. Here we go, red. Up and riding. Green gives way to red. Red trying to back up that 717. And there she goes, showing it up in the lip. She's going to try and get the high road, but she can't get back on that wave. So that should be enough just to back up that, make that requirement a little more difficult. Well, look, we've lost the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the live feed, so we're, we're actually guesstimating a replay here. Yeah. But this young lady. Something very special, some magic here at uh, Soup Bowl, and this is trying Soup Bowl. This is very slow, uh, very soft waves, and this lady is cultivating magic here. We just watched Surfer and White. Sophia currently in second position. She's sitting on a 4 and a 2.30. We're watching that replay, so we're back up on, on our feed so we can see what you're seeing at home. So blue on the outside.
All right, so that was surfer in blue, Remy Todd. So we just had a little technical difficulties in the booth and we weren't being able to see the feed. Only affected us here, not going out. As we watch this replay of Blue, so she just goes up in the lip with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Remy Todd looking for a score. So last of White coming in at a 5.0, Sophia. So the surfer in green, you are in third. You now require a 6.0. So last of White coming in at a 5.0. And green, you now require a 6.0. So wait on the last of blue is a 2.43. So blue, you are in fourth. You require a 6.23. Three minutes remaining. Heat number five, round of 32. Coming up next, we'll see Kyle Pusini, Keanu Miller, Charlie Eastwood, and Ava, we Ava Wagner, Wait. Wagster. My old eyes and this computer screen are not gelling when it comes to reading these names. Blue, looking at that one, she doesn't get in. So priority on the outside sits with the surfer in red, followed by green, then white. Two minutes, 20 seconds remaining. And blue on the inside, she's trying to build a score up in the lip, working it out onto the open face, going to try and stick with this one. Doesn't look like it has much to offer on the inside. Just two minutes remaining. She's going to try and write it for whatever it was worth. Queuing up the replay for last of blue, Remy, Remy Todd from USA gets her first outside snap. It's a very soft, hard wave to right here. She cuts back to the pocket, redirecting, trying to make a connection. She gets one more little check turn. And that's really a lot of work out of a very small bit of energy. She's now sitting, I think she got a 2.67 for that effort. All right, coming up on that one minute mark, one minute, 10 seconds remaining. So the situation in water is red in first, white is still in second. Last of blue coming in at a 267. So blue, you move up to third. You require a 6.23. And green, you drop to fourth. You require a 6.0. 45 seconds remaining. Priority is on the outside with server in red. She is current heat leader. However, the battle is going to come from second and third. Green, she's turning, she's paddling, she's up and riding, she's going left. And, and we're sticking with her. She's going to serve that one all the way to the rip with just 18 seconds remaining, and we're going to cut to blue. Blue, we'll catch that replay from Blue. I'm just gonna count this one in as we watch this replay with three, two, and one. Yeah, break, breaking down last exchange of green. That's Arena. She was able to get two pretty decent snaps on the, on the left. And then last of Blue, Remy Todd from USA picked up another, another wave. This is quite a a hard wave, she had to do a lot of fill-in work on the inside section. Two little taps. Not sure if that's going to go into her top two. All right, servers in the next seat, please hold your position. Stand by. We got a couple scores to drop. So the last, so we got one to drop for blue and one for green. So green, you are in. You require a 6.0. You drop a 4.87, so that's not enough. And we're waiting now 
We are now waiting on Blue. Blue requires a 6-2-3. It's going to come in. The three range is not going to be enough. 3-7-0. So first position goes to the surfer in red, Sophia Olin. And second position goes to the surfer in white. And advancing, Sophia Gamble. So we are going to go to a short commercial break. We will be right back with the heat number six in this round of 32. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, counting it in. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, this is heat number six. Round up 32, coming up in the red jersey. Kylie Pacini in the blue jersey, Kiana Miller. In the white jersey, Charity Eastwood. And in green, Ava Wagester. I want to apologize for that last um, announcement. Winning the heat was Sonoa. Coming in second was Sophia. And I have just been told that I swapped the names around. So server in red, winning the heat, Sonoa. Coming in second was Sophia. As we see blue up and riding, Kiana Miller with 19 minutes and 18 seconds in this heat number six. And she goes down in a very peculiar spot. And server in red, Kylie Bolsini, she also had a short ride and she goes down. So server in green opened up the exchange with just a point five. So priority will go with the surfer in white on the outside as we look at this replay of blue. There's a couple of down cars. Looking at that inside section, hoping it's gonna stand up for her. She kind of changes gears here, and she looks to force up that turn, and then she goes down. So, got some work done on the outside, Blue, 4.0. Red, your first opener was a 217. That is heat number six. This is heat number six in the round of 32. Here we go, green up and right in. So server in blue holding down that first position with a single wave of like 4.0. And red, Kylie Pulsini, she's up and right in, but she gives way to white. So you see here, red took off, but he had a lower priority than surfer in white, which is acceptable once you don't interfere with scoring potential of white. And here we go, live action, up and right in, in blue. This is Kiana Miller, working her way all the way to the inside, sitting on a 4.0, working on that score. So we're gonna stick with red going left, Kaidi Pulsini. All right, 16 minutes, five seconds remaining. We're gonna watch this replay of 
blue. Just doing some setup work, getting it down to the inside. Showing some power and flair. Wave not offering much, trying to make the best out of it. Just manufacturing that little score. She is sitting on a four point rise, so she is trying to back up that. And then we're looking at this red, so that was a little bit more of a quality maneuver. Smaller wave, showing some rhythm. So wait for that score of red. Also have a score to drop for green. So the last of blue coming in at a 317, that will put her in first. As we look at white, she's up and riding. Nice little down carve in the pocket. Setting up this inside section. She's gonna try and get over this little bump. She does, still working on it and tries her best to get a little finishing maneuver, but she goes down. So looking at last of red, 4.6. So red goes to second as we watch this replay of white. Hey, good afternoon, Lou. Welcome, glad to join the broadcast again. Looking at white's last wave. Just doing lots of pumping, trying to make her way down to the inside. Tries to tag that last section. So this is live action. Your heat leader, Kiana Miller and Blue. Working it to the inside. And red on the outside, Kylie. Showing some flair. All right, a little flurry of activity there in heat six. Looking at this replay of green, smaller inside wave, comes around, wraps it back around to the white water, little rebound, tries to make her way out, gets a little wobble, see that weight shift onto her front leg and kill all her momentum. Here we have blue with a nice opening carve Second nice wraparound carve, throwing lots of spray. Third, nice maneuver. So three back-to-back -back maneuvers there from Blue, showing lots of flow. All right, 13 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Waiting for this last of red. Some scores trickling in. So white. So... Once I get this whole situation, I'll update everyone, because... So everyone has a score coming. All right, server in white, you are deemed not to be on the takeoff zone, you're in the channel. So you will resume fourth priority once you get back to the lineup. You're free to serve there, but you will be surfing without any priority. And here you go, look what just popped up right in front of her. This lovely North Peak, and she goes left. This is Charlie Eastwood. And two nice turns. So it pays off for her sitting down there. We're still looking for some scores. And Green, she's up and riding. Nice little down carve in the pocket. Throwing it up and she comes unstuck and goes down. Uh, so feet. surfers on the outside, shipping around as we watch this replay. Yeah, so Carly decides to go left on this one after getting a little separation from the pack. Nice, manages a nice first turn. Second one's a little hung up. So priority blue, red, priority goes to blue, then red. Here we go, blue up and right in. So that was a little mistake by Kylie. She paddled for that wave, lost her priority, and gives this wave to Kiana, who was just going to town on it. Lovely series of maneuvers on her way to the inside. Live action with red. There we go, Kylie. She just manages a little cutback and she goes down with 11 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Yeah. So still waiting on a score to drop for green. 
Loads of scores still to come in. Here we have Green on that last wave, coming in from pretty deep. Manages to wake her way around the white water. Wrap back, attacks the lip, but comes out of the wax. Here we have Blue's last wave. Nice, nice setup wave. Loads of wall, nice and vertical. Tags it twice. She'll be happy with that. That was after a priority mistake from Red. Right, so last of red, 417. So red goes to first. However, I'm still requiring a score for blue and white. Last of green, previous of green, 317. Loads of scores to drop. So these judges are just, oh. All right, so while we're waiting for these judges to s take up these scores, we're gonna cut to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Sonoa Olin. Here we are, the St. Luke glass with Sonola, Sonoa Olin, who just won heat number five, round one of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You displayed some real patience over there. Did not catch your first uh, wave until like past 10 minutes or so. How did you manage to keep your cool and made that wave count, 717? Yeah, it definitely wasn't the plan to wait, you know, more than 10 minutes to get my first wave, but a set didn't come in before that and I didn't want to pull the trigger on a bad wave um, too quickly. So it was definitely, you know, tough to stay patient, but I'm happy I did. Well, I mean, you did make it count uh, with a smaller backup, but it still worked out for you. Showing some real powerful surfing over there, real mature. How are you feeling on your board? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Um, I love this board. It's feeling good in these waves. And um, yeah, I don't know. I like the wave here, so just enjoying it. Is it the same board as yesterday? Yeah, it's the same one. Oh, cool. Well, it's working well. <laughs> you want to maybe give a shout out to friends, family, sponsors, or maybe just your coach down there? Yeah, I want to shout out to all those people, um, my family, mom, brother, grandparents, and my sister here supporting me. Shout out to Matt Myers. I've been working with him for the last little while, and his support's amazing. And for all my sponsors and everyone who supports me. Well, thank you so much. Can't wait to see more, and maybe have you back by the glass again tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you. Paddle battle ensuing. So back to live action. As we're looking at green, sorry, blue on the outside. Nice open face, down carve. Showing some flair. Just trying to push out the fins on that last maneuver. No. So previous of blue still trickling in. Just, just giving you all a little update on the conditions. The swell um, is starting to fill in a little bit better because of the, we're now on the switch of the tide. The tide is coming back in. I'm still waiting on a lot of scores, Green. As soon as I get everything, I'll let you know. Currently, you're in fourth, requiring a 5.9, but this is going to flip all around. So last, previous, last of red, 5.9, previous of blue, 5.5. Last of white, 3.4. I still have one more to come for blue and one more for green. So red first, blue your second. White is third, requiring a 5.1. And green is fourth, requiring a 5.9. But I still have a score coming for green. So everybody's in, so those scores are it. So white, you white, you are third, requiring a 5.1. And green, you are fourth, requiring a 5.9. Six minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Just watching Kylie go to town on this replay. Big wrapping gouge right in the pocket, straight into another maneuver. Nice combination of speed and flow. I think, I think we're seeing a little improvement in the conditions. Wave faces are a little cleaner. Wave is looking actually really glassy, and although it's moved really close in on the inside, there's some clean little faces doubling up by the north section. 
So there's some opportunity, but on the bottom corner of the wave. Yeah, definitely seeing a lot less swell in the water today, but nice clean conditions as we look at Blue paddling in. There she goes up and riding, looking to regain that first position. Just got a little hung up in the lip there. That'll just be a small score. She'll paddle back out. But even though the swell is small, we've got favorable winds and it's really clean, fun conditions. If you can pick off the right nuggets and there's still a little residual north swell in the water, very small pulse. So if you can choose the right wave and get that north section, you can end up with a really fun, clean. Here we go, Red putting herself in position. She's gonna pull the trigger, has second priority. Wave kind of breaks in two. She's looking at that section and she can't hang on. So she is the current heat leader, looking to just better a 4.6. So priority order is with white first, then green, and then blue. So blue gets up, tries to attack that first section, doesn't get a really vertical wave face, kind of catches the rail and loses all her momentum. Surfers are looking interested. Here we go, White. She's gonna use her priority. Nice looking wave. She is currently in third position. Not requiring more than a mid-range score, so she's gonna stick with this and she goes out the back as it offers nothing more on the inside as all three girls turned and watched her surf that wave. Four minutes, eight seconds remaining. Surfers in the... Flag. Flag. All right, server's in the next seat. You're free to paddle out. Just remember, please stay down in the channel. Sorry about that. No worries. Just looking at the replay of White, she manages to get up and tag that lip twice on that third one. Gets a little hung up, but manages to pump her way, try to stay with that wave, but doesn't find the inside reform. So watching blue in second priority. Red wanted it, she's gonna give way to it. She goes up in the lip, Keanu Miller. Another turn off the top. This is a better looking wave. Soup Bowl is trying to cooperate. She's gonna surf this one all the way to the inside and finish it strong. All right, so looking at the replay right. here of blue. Green, sorry. Green, you're looking for a 5.9, but Kiana Miller in blue just had a bomb of a wave, so we're gonna wait for that score to come in. Yeah, that wave had a little bit more of that north section on it. Kept, just stayed open. Kept giving her opportunity after opportunity to attack the lip. So waiting for a score to drop for blue. All right, last of blue, 6.67. So blue, you go to first. Red, you drop to second. Red, if you want to regain the lead, you need a 6.3. White, you are four, thir third, you need a 6.06. .06. And green, you are fourth, you need a 6.86. .86. Two minutes, five seconds remaining. All right, just coming up on the one minute, 30 second mark. So we just saw Kiana Miller with higher priority than red. And second priority, green actually had priority. Let her go and she drops a 6.67, highest single wave of this heat. Yeah, that wave just kept offering up a nice, clean, steep, vertical wall 
and Kiana just went to town, graciously accepted that gift. Here we go, Green, she's gonna use priority. Up and riding, she's got a nice looking bowl section ahead of her. Throws it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. Showing lovely technique on this wave. With 37 seconds remaining, she's working it all the way to the inside. And Blue is gonna pull the trigger on this little inside nugget. This is a runner, North Peak. Coming around the section, throws it up, little late get in there and she gets hung up and goes down. Nonetheless, she is in first position, so she is just 15 trying, seconds. She's just trying to maintain her, her lead, keeping off the surfer with 10 seconds remaining. We're going to count this one in. Red with five seconds. Four, three. All right, that ends the heat number six in this round of 32. Women in the next heat, please hold your position, stand by. So we have one single wave ridden. So we have a wave for blue and a wave. All right, so a wave for Green and a wave for blue coming in. Yeah, we're still on hold, ladies. We are on a short hold. Please stand by. We got scores to drop. I have a score for green coming. So green, and also a score for blue. So blue is in first, not gonna change her situation. So green, you drop a 5.23, which moves you up to third. So the heat's gonna end with blue first, red second. And we're gonna take a short commercial break, and we're gonna be right back with heat number seven in this round of 32. Stay tuned. All right, back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're going to see Candelera Rosario in red, Maddie Stanton in blue, Olivia Storer in white, and Felice Astacio in green, and here she is up and right in, right on cue as I called her name, and she goes out the back. So this is heat number seven in this round of 32. We have one more heat to go. And then we're gonna change gears and go back to junior men's. You are tuned into the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro Women's in memory of Xander Venezia presented by Diamonds International. As the ocean comes alive and the girls put themselves in position. This could be an indication, fingers crossed, of what is to come tomorrow as we are at full high tide now. Still plenty of scoring potential out there as she's working her way to the inside. Maddie Stanton, nice little vertical turn off the top. Yeah, Maddie finding a nice little nugget there. Here we're looking at the replay. Comes around, nice wrapping turn to get started. A little pump to get her speed. Tacks the lip there, another wrapping turn. A little more pumping. Attacks the lip again. Tags it a fourth time, and she cuts out. All right, last of white, uh, blue, 417. Last of blue, 417, as we see white, sorry, red up and writing. 
This is Candelaria Rosano. She's working her way all the way to the inside. Yes, yeah, searching for urchins. <laughs> as she goes down. Yeah, as we said yesterday, oh, looking at this replay first of Candelaria. Nice attack of the lip. Throws the tail a little bit. Another little blow tail. Throwing as much spray as she can, trying to show the judges that she's moving that board around. A little finish on the inside. And as we said yesterday, when soup bowl is small like this and you're catching the waves, you're a little bit closer to the reef, this is when you're more likely to find those urchins. Here we go, green up and right in. She goes up in the lip. Okay, so looking at the replay for Felis, tax that first lip, but doesn't quite carry enough speed out of the bottom turn, and she goes down. Looking at White, Olivia Stora, again, trying to attack that lip. All right, last of red, 493. Last of blue, 417. As we look at live action here, this is green. Estacio. Working her way to the inside, and she kicks out the back. So she's just sitting on two small scores under a point each. She requires a 3.25 with 16 minutes and 10 seconds remaining. And heat number seven. It's another warm day here in sunny Barbados. Looking at green. Does a little cutback, rebound off the white water. Second little cutback, but this wave isn't giving her a lot to work with. All right, well, we have a little break in the action. We are going to cut to the glass, standing by with Amaya. It's the winner of the last heat, Kiana Miller. Here we are at the San Luis Glass with Kiana Miller once more, who just won heat number six, round one of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm so good. The waves were pretty fun for how small it was, and I was able to get a few and just surf. Yeah, you took the lead um, towards the end of the heat. How was that? It felt so good to get that six. I, I was so happy that that wave came through. Yeah, I mean, Subol is providing for you. You've been here for, you know, you've been around for a little while now, so Subol knows you and be like, yeah, let, let me send you a wave, right? Yeah, for sure. It's nice to be able to come here a little and just get to know the wave. For sure, it shows. I mean, your backhand is really strong, so that's why you're getting all those points. How are you going to prepare for your next heat tomorrow? Um, honestly, I've just been resting a lot because the heat is very, like, draining here. So I've been trying to just stay out of the shade and listen to some music and do some schoolwork. Schoolwork? Whoa. Surfing well with the brain. Here we are. Your parents must be happy that you're putting some schooling in. Um, well, maybe you want to say hi to them back at home? Yeah, I just wanted to say hi to my parents, friends, family, sponsors, and my Bayesian friends for coming down again. So. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Can't wait to have you by the glass again. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> fourth one, so all four surfers getting a set. Wave, this looks like the best one. Here we go. She's going to wrap it in the pocket as we're back to live action. So we got some replays to cover. That was the best looking set of the entire day right there. Beautiful, clean conditions. Yeah, we had another little flurry of action. All four surfers taking a wave one after the other. We're going to wait for these replays to drop so we can break them all down, see who had the best of those exchanges. As we see a little bit of a paddle battle between blue and red, I mean green and red. All right, so as these scores start to trickle in, with 13 minutes and 28 seconds remaining, let's queue up some of these replays here. Oh, so we're starting off with Olivia Stora. Attacks that first lip, throwing some spray. Big wraparound carve, rebound off the white water. Waits for that section to reform. Hits it vertically, attacking it. Nice wraparound under the white water. Gets one more vertical tag on the inside. And she's going to just cut out. 
Ni nicely ridden wave. Here we see Blue dropping from a little deeper, having a nice section here. A little bit hung up. Didn't quite time that first section the way she would have wanted. Realizes that having not got that outside scoring potential, it's not really worth trying to track into the inside. Okay, here we go. Scores dropping in. Green, you drop a three, two, nine, three. White, your wave coming in at a 7.0. Waiting for red and waiting for blue. Red, 4.4. And blue, your score is going to drop, but it's, well, it will factor in, so I'll wait. So red, you go on the first. White, your second. Green, you are currently third. However, as soon as blues drop, it could change that. Right, last of blue, two, four, three, so blue goes to second. Sorry, blue goes to third. And here she is up and riding. She's sitting on a 417 and a 243. Yeah, that's Maddie Stanton out of USA. Finding a little nugget on the inside and going to work. She's trying to drop a small score. So green setting on the outside. She is currently in fourth position, looking to replace a 2.5. She's got a nice looking wave ahead of her and she goes out the back. Eleven minutes remaining. Surfers in the next heat. You should be checked in and ready to roll. Talia Swindow, she's currently ranked number five in this qualification. Zoe Chait. Sarah Fryer and Ellie Brown. So another exciting heat. So surfers in the water, here we go. White, she's up and riding way up inside. Maddie Shore, she just gone to second position. And she goes out the back. The girls are a little bit too far up inside the point for that set, only managing one maneuver. So the, the last of White coming in at a three, two, seven. Waiting on the last of white, which will factor in. She is sitting on a, on a seven. Backs that up with a 3.6. Olivia, 3.6 on your last effort. They will go to first, red, second, blue, third. Blue, you now require a 5.1. And green, you require a 6.4. Green up and writing. All right, nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So immediately following the next heat, we're going to go into the Live Like Xander Jr. men's. As round of 32, so we will be seeing all the top-seeded surfers coming up in that round. So we're going to be qualifying two surfers on the men's side, two surfers on the women's side, as green goes up and out. So these will also be 20 minute heats and that will take us from heat one to eight and round out the day. So green, she's up and riding and she goes out with eight minutes, 54 seconds remaining. Situation stays the same, white first, red second, blue third, blue needing a 5.1, and green fourth needing a 6.43. Green just picking off everything that moves. She's already got eight waves under her belt. All the other girls. I always used to tell the surfers, I want two tens, not ten twos. <laughs> I want to say good afternoon to everyone tuning in online as well. Go on YouTube, subscribe to the World Surf League YouTube page and get the live feed.
or you can download the World Surf League app. World Surf League app. All right, seven minutes fifty seconds remaining. So right now we can see there's nearly six hundred people tuned in online, watching the action from all over the world. That's just that's just via YouTube. All right, six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So these ladies being real patient out there. There is a lot of scoring potential. It is slowing down a little bit, just sets rolling in. So you need to time the sets to make sure you figure out how much opportunity you're going to get. So blue has to give way to red and red up and riding. Candelario Rosano, nice big top turn, working it out onto the open face, cutting it back, surfing it all the way to the inside and she goes out the back. Okay, looking at a replay of Candelaria. First vertical attack. Rise out onto the face, wrap back onto the white water. A little white water rebound. Not much offered on the inside, so she cuts out, heads back in into the lineup. All right, here we go. Blue on the outside, up and right in. Oh, and she digs a rail and goes down. So she gave up her position in the order, and white is going to use priority. So we're seeing three or four waves come in with every set. So they're getting some scoring potential. This is the heat leader, Olivia Storer. She is looking to replace a 3.6. She's sitting on a seven and a 3.6. Okay, breaking down the replay of Olivia's first wave. A couple of wraps. Looking for that inside reform. Doesn't see anything on offer. So just a couple of small waves coming in, more of that east direction. Not offering up the north section that allows them to stretch off and get multiple maneuvers. Yeah, so she's looking to throw away a 3.6. Let's see where this score comes in. She's currently in first position with four minutes, 40 seconds. So ladies in the next heat, you are free to paddle out. Just please stay down in the channel. This next heat of the women's will be the last of the round of 32. We'll be moving right into the junior men's following that heat. So last, last of red, 5.67 red, last red, 5.67. So red, if you're looking to retake the lead, that cuts your requirement down to 4.9. Blue, you are still looking for that 6.43. And green, you're looking for that 7.6. Four minutes remaining. Here we go, little battle up inside. Blue wanted it, but green had a higher priority. Oh, and she not able to negotiate that takeoff. And white on the inside, Olivia, she's the current heat leader trying to build on that score. Two major maneuvers right there, backing it up, smashing it, working her way all the way to the inside, trying to get a finishing maneuver. But I think the work was done on the outside with those two big turns. Yeah, I agree, Lou. Olivia taking advantage of a mix up with the surface in priority being a little further down the line, manages to sneak into that one. 
And that looked like one of the better waves of the heat so far. Yep, totally agree. She's looking to replace a 3.6, and I'm going to risk the bet that she's definitely going to do that. Okay, looking at the replay, Olivia flies straight up into that first section. Loads of aggression. Throws the tail out on that wraparound curve. Another throw tail. A little pump. Tags that inside section, but the work was done outside. Yep, she drops a 6.17, so 6.17. So that ups just the requirement for the surfer in second with two minutes in second place. Two minutes and 10 seconds. Still in third is Surfer in blue, requiring a 6.4. And in fourth, Surfer in green, needing a 7.6. So two minutes remaining in this heat. Olivia sitting in 18th position on the ranking. And Candelaria sitting in 12th position. And we're going to see our number five ranked surfer coming up next, Talia Swindell. She's going to be paired up with Zoe Chait, Sarah Fryer, and Ellie Brown. Those are the ladies there you see in the channel. Please stay down in the channel, ladies. Thank you very much. Remembering Zoe's nail biter of a heat yesterday. Yeah. On the buzzer. On the buzzer. I think <laughs> it was around 15 seconds to go. Yeah. So with just a minute and 10 seconds remaining, Surfer in red sitting in second priority. She's going to let Green look at it. Green looks at it. She takes it. But she was in third priority. So Surfer in blue, she's going to use her priority right now. Up and riding, working her way down to the inside. Bangs it off the white water. So that wasn't a bad surf wave. She's sitting on a 417, a 327. Currently in third position. She's looking to cut that requirement down with 35 seconds remaining as we look at this replay. Yeah, with under a minute to go, Blue didn't have any choice. Needed to pull the trigger, try to manufacture a score off of this smaller inside wave. She's making that board work, throwing the board around as much as she can, trying to throw as much spray as she can to impress the judges. Let's see if she gets rewarded. 15 seconds. So Red, looking at this one, Rosario, Rosano. This Candelaria throws it up in the lip. Oh, nice hanging finish. On, hanging on to it with one second remaining. Okay, that was, she was not up before the horn. The, was the priority judge's call and only his call. So unfortunately, that will not go in her scoreline. However, she is holding down first place solid. So winning that heat in white, Olivia Storr advancing. Second place is Candelaria Rosario in red. All right, ladies in your next seat, please stand by. We're on a short hold. I would, uh, right now we're going to throw to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with the final heat of this women's round of 30, heat number eight, round of 32. Okay, back to live action. We have not started heat number eight yet, so ladies in the water, please hold your positions, please stand by. We are just reviewing something coming up in this heat. This is the last heat, 
that you're showing on the board. So coming up in the seat in red is Talia Swindell. In blue, Zoe Chait. In white, Sarah Fryer. And in green, Ellie Brown. That is heat number eight in this round of 32. So, all right, ladies, stand by, counting it in 10 seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. So we are underway, heat number eight, round of 32, as you can see on your screen. Talia Swindell, Zoe Chait, Sarah Fryer, and Ellie Brown. They will be competing for a spot in the round of 16 in this BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Women's Division. Ladies are so far up the point that they're almost getting blocked by the tree in front of the camera. In front of the camera. That's where they want to sit. That's where they want to sit. They're within the contest zone. So be it. Here we go. Blue, Zoe Chait. She had a barn burner yesterday on the buzzer. Nail biter. Here she goes. Throws it up in the lip. She works it out onto the open face and way up inside green. Ellie Brown, she's up and riding. Throws it up in the lip. The wave's gonna run off with her pretty quick. She's not gonna be able to get around it. So she surfed that wave for about 50 or 60 feet and she still is 50 or 60 feet from the point. <laughs> yeah, all the competitors. Anymore. Yeah, all the competitors are way over to the right trying to sneak out a little nugget wherever they can. Here we got Zoe Chait getting us started. Little white water climb. Comes around the section, bangs it off, throwing the tail out. Little wraparound. Trying to look for that reform, but doesn't get any more out of that. And now we got Ellie Brown coming from a little deeper out. Goes straight up into that first section, but gets a little caught up. The wave runs off along the reef, and she can't make it away, make her way around the white water. So just a short ride for Ellie. Okay, so Surfer in Green will hold third priority, and Surfer in Blue will go into fourth as the Surfer in Red and White still have not established their priority order. So we're looking at this one. Yeah. Red is going to look at this one. She lets it go. Oh, yes. So while we have a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Olivia Strohr. Here we are at the St. Luke Glass with Olivia Storer, who just won Heat 7, Round 1 of the BTMI Liv Alexander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to make it through my heat. I mean, you did display a great surfing over there. It was kind of close, but not close till like three minutes, because you guys had the same heat total. Just you had a better score, obviously, but you got to back it up with a better score, so you must feel great. Yeah, I feel great. I mean, I went out thinking I was just there were not going to be many waves just because of the heats before. But I was super excited that there were actually waves. Yeah, there was a little push in there and you managed to uh, put down some great maneuvers. You're looking steady and strong. What kind of board are you surfing? I'm surfing a Sharp Eye Inferno 72 and it feels really good. All right, sounds good. And how are the waves here compared to where you're from? Um, They're kind of similar. It's like a right, so that's more like home, but it's definitely different. Well, I can't wait to see you on the next round. Keep shredding. You want to say maybe a little, give a little shout out to friends, family, maybe sponsors? Yeah. Um, hi to my dad and my sister at home. Uh, thanks for watching and thank you to my sponsors and everyone who's watching. Thank you so much. Keep it up, girl. Thank you. <laughs> so back to live action. We just saw Zoe surf a really nice wave. So we'll bring that replay to you as soon as we get it. So first of red, 2.9. Yeah, we have Zoe here just trying to get a backup score to her opening ride. Comes off the top there, throwing some spray. Nice deep bottom turn, throws it up into the lip. Couple, little two turn combo. 
Well, that earned her a 5.5, so blue, 5.5. Blue, 5.5 for you. Opener of red, 2.9. So early going, Zoe, Chate, and blue in first, followed by red in second. Green, you are in third with just a single wave of a 2.83. You require 8.08. And in fourth is white, yet to open your account, but you are holding priority. You only need a 2.91 to move into an advancing position. 15 minutes remaining. So coming up in heat number one of the round of 32 for the junior men's. In red, Reed Platinus. In blue, Rafe Gooding. In white, Jack Zietz. And in green, Timothy Fande. As we look at green up and riding, Nice little slash in the lip. And she goes down. So with 14 minutes and 35 seconds remaining, we're going to take a look at this replay. Okay, so we got Ellie Brown from Hawaii coming from deep once again, throwing the tail out on that first maneuver. But once again, finding herself a little bit caught up in the white water. Coming from way deep, it's going to need a lot of speed to get onto that open face. So she's really looking at one maneuver. Before that, we saw Zoe. So live action, here we go. Green up and right in. Ellie Brown, she dropped a 3.57 on her last effort. So she's currently in second place. So we got Zoe getting busy today. Yesterday we saw Zoe sit with a high score for an entire heat. Today she's making sure she gets some backup scores. Doesn't want to have that nail biting moment at the end of the heat like she did yesterday. The beach loved it. Yeah, she waited, 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 and then she made a priority mistake and went to fourth priority. And everyone thought it was done, and literally with five seconds remaining, bingo, she catches a wave. We all know how this girl can serve. Yeah, she so ripped it to the beach. She's currently sitting in the lead with a 5.5. She's looking to replace a 4.17. But I know her, she's going to be thinking, I'm replacing that 5.5. 12 minutes, 30 seconds. 12 minutes, 30. You are currently in third. You require a 3.5. So junior man, you should be checking in, getting ready to go. You're going to be utilizing 20-minute heats. You are tuned in to the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro Women's Division. This is brought to you by Diamonds International and presented by Surf Promotions Barbados. This event is in memory of Xander Venezia. I want to remind everyone, food and beverage under the main tent. Everything is for sale. You can get all your food and beverage needs. All proceeds from that will go directly back into these events. As I was saying earlier, all the proceeds go back to making these events bigger and better year after year. Our infrastructure gets better. We have more tents, more stage area. I want everybody to be completely comfortable while you're watching world-class surfing right here at the soup bowl and look what just popped up in front of all these girls who's going to get in position green she's going to turn and burn on the first one and on the outside white is going to use her priority sarah fryer she is out onto the open face cutting it back and she goes out the back so red she now assumes priority and she's going to go so here we go talia swindow Nice wrapping cut back out onto the open face. Another right wrapping cut back. Utilizing all of this wave, she catches an edge and can't com come out that white water, but the wave was more or less done. 
right, breaking down the replays of what just happened. Green picked up a, a wave that split in half on her. She was only able to get one turn, elected to get out. Then we had White on a slightly better quality wave, had one down curves, redirecting to the pocket, waiting for a reform, elects to get out. That wave did not connect. And definitely the last ride was Red, getting a clean open face curve, and then another step into the pocket, letting go of some spray, so that will probably be the best of that exchange. And that surfer is Talia from the USA. Back to live action as we see Blue scrambling to get into that one. She's gonna leave it for White, who's gonna leave it for Red, and uh, nobody took it. So in nine minutes, 55 seconds remaining, we're waiting for a score. So we're waiting for a score to drop for for just green now. So last of red, 6.6. .6. So blue up and right and driving hard off the bottom, right up into the power source, sticking with it. And on the outside, white is up as blue continues on to the inside. So blue working it all the way to the inside as red, nice wrapping cutback. Sarah Fryer. She's looking to get into the mix. She only has a one, one wave of a 2.7. Looking at the replay of Blue's wave, Zoe Chait. Nice, big, wrapping turn to start. Gets a little hung up, but then this wave stretches out, so she just sticks around looking, with, waiting with a power source. Watches it peel on down the bay. Looking at green. So back to live action as we see a paddle battle. So if the cameraman can kick, look at that paddle battle. These girls have been going at it for 50 yards already. Neck and neck, side by side, kicking their feet. This is what passion is all about right there. That's a study of determination there. They're still going at it, Lou. They're still going at it. This is what it used to be like when before priority, but these girls are actually battling for priority right now. Yeah. So we're waiting for scores from blue, from green, and from white. Yeah, that was awesome, girls. The crowd enjoyed that. Okay, so updating the situation. We're waiting on a few scores to drop, Red. Waiting on some scores to drop. We're just gonna break down the replay of white in the meantime. Little wraparound court carve, another big wrapping carve. Looking down the line for a little more opportunity to score. Another big wrapping carve, throwing some spray. Wave steps up, and that's a nice tag. Okay, just updating you guys as scores begin to drop. Red, your last wave came in at a 6.67. That moves you into second place. We're waiting for a score to drop for blue and white. Back to live action. Surfer in red has executed several turns. Yeah, Talia going to town on that one. Absolutely going to town on this wave. This Still wave going. A, a little line, and she was able to just have a sequence of maneuvers. And the crowd shows their appreciation. Still waiting for some scores to drop. We got six minutes and 40 seconds to go. Nice replay there. Talia's first wave right up into that first steep section. One of the nicer waves we've seen in this heat. Then throws the tail three, four times the fins. I will oh. not be the judge here, but I would say that she's probably dropped one of the best um, scores of this heat. Definitely that wave gave her a lot of scoring opportunity. She picked All up. Right. Still waiting on scores to drop. Lou's going to update us as soon as those scores drop in. Six minutes and 10 seconds to go. Okay, ladies, as we have a little break, still waiting on two scores to drop, one for blue, one for red. Last of green came in at a 2.77. Last of blue that just dropped at a 4.7. So we're and just we're waiting on a score to drop for red. 
Five minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Priority sitting with blue, white, green, and then red. All right, last of red, 867 red, 867. So red, you're sitting on an 867 and a 6.6 .6 blue. You're sitting on a 5.5 .5 and a 4.7. You're in second. White, you are sitting on a 583 and a 2.7. White, you require a 4.3. And green, you are sitting on a 3.5, a 2.8. You require a 6.6. .6. Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, red picking off a nugget and easily the best wave of the heat there. Reflected in the scoreline, an excellent scoreline, reflecting excellent surfing from Talia. Her mom, Kristen, is going to be on the beach with a big smile on her face right now. But with four, a little over four minutes to go, priority sitting with second place surfer Zoe. Still seeing nice, clean conditions here at Soup Bowl. Yeah, this tight starts to push in. So does the swell. Surfers are looking interested here, Lou. Here we go. Who's in position? This looks like blue in priority. She's going to roll under it. Yeah, that wave just rolls on down the reef. Everybody, a everybody was a little out of position for that one. So three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And surfers putting themselves in position. They were a little bit out of position for that opening, that set coming through. Surfers in the next heat. Boys, please stay down in the channel. Thank you very much. So red dropping that 867. So there is definitely a lot of scoring potential out there, even though the waves are a little bit smaller today. We do have some clean conditions. These conditions are expected to stick around for the remainder of the day and into tomorrow. Tomorrow we're supposed to see a little bump up in the swell and even more on Saturday and Sunday. So potentially some very exciting surfing coming your way for the remainder of the week. And just to give you a little bit of an example, today is 1.2 at eight seconds, and tomorrow is supposed to be 1.5, 1.6 at nine seconds, and that's gonna continue and build all the way up into the weekend as we see red go up and out. So surfer in red, currently the heat leader. Coming up immediately following this, we're gonna change gears and go into Round of 32, heat number one of the junior men's. Reed Platten as Rafe Gooding, Jack Zietz, and Timothy Fonday. That will be coming up in about one minute, 50 seconds. That's how much time is left in this heat. Green looking at this little insider. She's currently in fourth position. Nice little runner, got some wall ahead of her. She comes around the white water, little slash in the open face. She's gonna look to finish this strong. She can't manage any speed and she goes out the back with one minute, 15 seconds remaining. She's just sitting on a 3.5 and a 2.8. One minute, ladies, one minute. So have a look at Ellie's last wave. Once again, trying to make her way out onto the open face to get some scoring potential. Smaller wave, just a couple of wraps. 
So back to live action. Surfer in blue in priority. She's looking at this one. She's gonna scratch to get in. Here we go, up and right in Zoe Chait in blue. Nice big down carve out onto the open face. Another wrapping cutback. She's gonna get some legs, comes around the white water, floats it. 15 seconds remaining and blue. She's gonna come in with this, but white on the outside. She's scratching into it. She gets in with five seconds remaining. And in three, two, and one, as the, as the heat comes to a close, surfers in the next seat, please stand by. We are on a short hold. We got a couple of scores to drop. So surfer in blue, she's trying to extend her lead, but then white caught a wave just at the buzzer. She doesn't need much of a score. So let's see what happens with this blue score. See if she can up that requirement. Okay, looking at replay of Blue's last wave. Zoe Chait, big wrap and turn. Tries a little foam kind to get back onto the open wall. One last snap to tag, and she comes in. All right, so last of... White, 2.7, not enough. Last of blue, 5.8, so she remains in second. So end in the heat, in first position, Talia Swindell in red, coming in second in blue, Zoe Chait. So they will be moving off into the next round. Coming up, we're going to be witnessing heat number one in the round of 32. We're going to take a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with hot action coming your way. live action this is heat number one round of 32 this is the btmi live like xander junior men's we are into this round of 32 for them you're going to see all the top seeds coming up in this heat you can see on your screen in red reed platinus in blue rafe gooden in white jack zietz and in green timothy fande and up and right in local boy rafe gooden so he goes up and out the back a lot of local knowledge with Wraith. He will go into fourth priority once he gets back on the outside. Just manufacturing a .50 on that wave as he was just an up, a quick up and out. All right, so group blue, you will hold down fourth priority with 18 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. So this just looks like a typical summer day here in Barbados. Yeah, in the winter, <laughs> typical summer day is exactly what it looks like all day, every day in the summer. So here we go. Who's going to turn? Nobody. Everybody's going to let this go. All right, they're going to leave it for Green, and Green's going to go left. Timothy Fande out onto the open face. So that wave came in right on that little point up inside. Yeah, so Timothy opting to go left on this one. Manages to tag it a couple of times. Gets a little bogged down on that second turn. Finishes with a nice snap. Just trying to get his feet in the wax and work himself into a rhythm. Yeah, buddy, it's slow going out there, but their surfers are getting more than their fair share of opportunities. Seeing 
Thaddeus Swindell in the last heat, putting down a 15.34 two-wave heat total. And Zoe Chait putting down an 11.0. So we know there's scores that can be had out there. Just got to be patient and wait. Hold on to your priority. Start for smart heat. Heats like this are what make champions. And here we go. Who's So priority has not been established between red and white. Red is going to get the better of it. Green going left. We're going to follow red as he cuts back. Looking at this inside race course. This is a series of cutbacks. All right. That's Reed. Reed Platin Platinius. Platinus. Reed Platinus from Canada. Home break in uh, Tofino. I was chatting with Reed earlier. Such a nice kid. Absolutely rips. Loves coming to Barbados. First turn. A little bit of a wrap around. Waits for that section to stand up, tags it. Another wrap around, throwing loads of spray. Reed's got his feet in the wax and he'll be feeling good about that opening. As we look at that split peak with green opting to go left again. And a little white water rebound. So I just want to send a shout out to this webcast crew that we got here. They are putting on one heck of a production and I just want to let everybody know that these these guys and gals that are doing this they do this once a year and they are as good as any webcast crew anywhere and I just want to say thank you it is not easy doing this thank you to all the judges but especially in the booth you guys have this covered so here we go while we have well, we got a little set coming, so let's stick with this, right? We're going to look at Reed. He dropped a 5.67 on his first effort. And he goes up and out. And so blue, uh, sorry, green on your second wave was a 5.17. Your opener was a 3.3. So while we have this little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the booth, to the glass with a Maya. And standing by is Talia Swindell. Here we are to San Lu Glass with the winner of the last heat in the first round of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia presented by Diamonds International, Talia Swindle. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. It feels really good to put a heat together, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you came here kind of out of breath, you know, put a lot of work over there. Yeah, no, it's very hot outside. I don't even I don't even have a paddle bottle or anything. I'm just overheating for some reason, but <laughs> yeah. It must be the adrenaline. Um, you started the heat kind of slow, then got that six point, but you really pulled the trigger and showed some, you know, good real work and variety on that eight point. How you feel about this one? Yeah, no, I'm definitely stoked just to like do my surfing and I feel like I have a lot more left in the tank so I'm just gonna keep doing my thing and hopefully I think the waves are gonna get better so I'm excited to see what the week has in store. Well I believe you when you say you have more left in the tank. I've been watching you online you know following you on Instagram you're surfing really well so keep it up can't wait to see more. Mom is here but would you like to say something for friends and family maybe back in California? Yeah I'm not sure who's tuned in probably my dad and my sister and maybe some friends but love and miss you guys and let's keep it rolling. <laughs> Yeah, keep it up, girl. Can't wait to see more. Maybe tomorrow by the glass again. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, back to live action. So while we were on that short break, surfer in red, Reed did have a wave, dropping a 3.0. See if we can queue up that replay and bring it to you. All right, 12 minutes and 55 seconds remaining. So we're going to go into this round of 32 junior men's heats, number one through eight. So White giving this a sniff out. He decides he wants it. He's going to use his priority. This is Jack Zietz. Two maneuvers, three maneuvers. Still working it to the inside. Showing plenty of flair on this wave. Small little wave, but he surfed it well on his back, on his backhand. He 
Yeah, Jack Zeets finding a nice little nugget. Nice vertical face. One, two big tags, throwing loads of spray. No downtime, straight into a nice wraparound. And then this wave just stands up and allows him to keep attacking. Three more big wraps, throwing loads of spray. And then a little inside tag, and then one more. So that was really good surfing from Jack, finding a lovely nugget. Here we go. You can see the score starting to drop. This is exactly what I was expecting. 8.0, 8.0 for white, 8.0. So as you can see, even the small waves, just perfect timing on every single maneuver from one maneuver into the next, into the next, into the next. Hit the lip exactly where he wanted to be. Knows he got an eight. He's going to turn and burn on this inside one. He just wants to back it up which is smart surfing. Here he goes, right where he left off, smashing the lip. Two turns, three turns, working it all the way to the inside. He's gonna look to finish this one strong. Here he goes, Zach Zietz bangs it up in the lip. That's gonna go. <laughs> wow. That was, that was pretty, pretty, pretty technical surfing. Jack just in a total rhythm with the ocean right now, finding another beautiful nugget with a nice vertical wall that allows him to attack and throw loads of spray. No downtime in between maneuvers. A little bit of pumping now to get his speed up to the inside, but then a lovely tag to finish. Four beautiful turns on that, and that was totally under priority. So Jack feeling it. All right, here we go. Six, three, three for white. Six, three, three. So in less than one minute, this surfer drops an 8.0 and a six, three, three, and goes straight to first with 10 minutes remaining. And he's going to put a lot of pressure on these three surfers because he's going to be hard to beat. We saw. Yeah, Jack being able to get that second wave under everyone's priority and drop another solid backup score is going to make it really difficult for the other competitors. Some movement outside, Lou. Here we go on the outside. Rave good, and he's going to use priority up and riding. Little fade to the right. He's working it down to the open face. Cutting it back as red goes left, but we're sticking with blue. It's a series of cutbacks so far for blue. Throwing it up, pushing the fins, and completing the maneuver. So that was local boy Bar from Barbados, Rafe Gooden, as we're going to watch this replay. Yeah, so Rafe opening his account with a little bit of a fadeaway. Runs out onto the open face, opens up his shoulders, big wraparound carve, rebound off the white water, does that a second time, just waiting for this wave to stand up and give him a vertical face, which he gets right at the end and does a nice tag, throwing the fins. And Rafe will be happy to start his account. In the meanwhile, we had Reed going on the left. Two, three big hits with a little wraparound. All right, waiting for this last exchange between blue and, and red. So two scores dropping for them. For our audience at home, that's what we refer to as splitting the peak. One wave comes in, one surfer, two surfers each taking off and going in opposite directions. Makes it really challenging for the judges and we got green. So green up and right in. He's going left, we're gonna follow him, but blue is also, as green throws it up in the lip, blue slides out the fins as he's working to the inside, does another big blow tail, but comes undone. So we got scores now to drop for all four surfers. More action. And on the outside, Jack up and right in, surfer in white, another big vertical snap. Working it all the way out onto the open face floater. Goes up into another revert, uh, vertical tag, and he's going to go out the back. Currently sitting on an eight. 
and a 6-3-3. Three, three. So scores trickling in for red. 7.67 for red on the left. So looking at green, taking the left and throwing the Hail Mary air reverse. Somehow manages to bring that board around. Crazy rotation. Looking at a replay of local boy Rafe Gooden, building his speed up. Throws it up into the lid, throwing the tail out, blowing the fins. Attempts to do that another time, but a little too aggressive and just loses, loses the board from under his feet. Okay, previous of blue. Previous of blue, 4.5. Last of blue, 347. So we're waiting on the last of green and the last for white. Six minutes, 13 seconds remaining. Waves are looking good, Lou. Yeah, that high tide's helping it out, pushing it through. It's taking a little while for the sets to come, but they're definitely getting more than their fair share of opportunities. There we go, Red, he is holding priority and he's gonna use it. This little wave throws it up vertical, throwing tons of spray out onto the open face, working it. And behind is blue, R Rafe Gooding. Cutting it back, he's gonna stick with it. Little down carve in the pocket as he works his way all the way to the inside. And he digs a rail and he goes down. So, so we're still waiting on a score for white and a score. F so last up green, four, five, three. As we see Reed here making two big outside turns, a little bit of a wraparound, doesn't see it, any more scoring potential down the line. And now we're looking at local boy Rafe Gooden doing a little wraparound, rebound off the white water. Working his way to the inside. Trying to milk every little score he can out of this wave. Rafe surfing is steadily improving all the time. He's also grown about six inches. We're waiting. I'm waiting, Red. I got what well, you got one more score to drop. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Last of red, five, six, three does not factor in, so Red, you're still in second. So Green, your last coming in at a 4.53, you're in third, you require an 8.17. And Blue, your last coming in at a 3.47, you require an 8.8. .8. So this was the last 4.53 for Surfer and Green that was just on your screen, that air reverse. Yeah, the rotation on A reverse was insane. So 3.50, so three, three minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So with three minutes, 24 seconds remaining, servers in the next heat, you should be checked in and ready to go. You actually can paddle out. We watch this set roll through the lineup. Coming up, we're gonna see Tosh Talbot, Blair Barton, Grayson Grant, and Will Dean. That is heat number two in this round of 32. You are tuned into the BTMI Live like Xander Junior Pro men's. This event is in memory of Xander Venezia. This all started 12 years ago. We've been running these events every year since. We want to continue that legacy for a long time. My new goal is to have every single event the WSL offers. So we got Challenger NCT left to go. World Juniors, we were invited last year to have the World Juniors here in January. Unfortunately, we couldn't muster that up in time. So that went to Oceanside. But there's always next year, we're gonna start the ball rolling. That would be awesome to have 
All those juniors here fighting for a world title. We had a SUP World Championship Tour event here about four years ago. And I actually, as an announcer, got to crown a world champion. And that's not many announcers in the world that can actually say that. It was very emotional. It was awesome. I know the girl, Izzy Gomez, very well. I've known her since she was about 10 years old. And when I walked under the tent, she had no idea that she had clinched the world title until I told her. It was awesome. Right here at Super Bowl, when I first said that we were going to bring an SUP World Tour event here, people kind of was like, well, the SUPers are going to get their heads handed to them at Super Bowl. But let me tell you, these guys and girls absolutely destroyed this wave. It was incredible to witness. They surfed those SUP boards like they're short boards. Pull any barrel and drag the paddle in the lip to slow down like a surfer with double hand stall. And then just come out and go right off the bottom and go straight vertical off the lip. It really is amazing to witness. Yeah, they had awesome conditions for that event as well. Yeah, it was, it was pretty sizable. It nearly killed me and Chris because we had a week of this event and then a week, 10 days of the other event. So it yeah. was like three weeks that we were down here every single day. But it was a great event. It was a great tour. Yeah, speaking of some of the competitors, they all loved it here. They loved surfing in the bowl. So 25 seconds remaining in this heat. So surfers in the next heat, please stay down in the channel where you guys are. Thank you very much. I know there's a lot riding on this. I'll give you more than enough time to get yourselves in position. But with 10 seconds remaining and the ocean looking like it's not having any motion, this is going to end where it's at. So we're counting it down with five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So that ends the opening heat in this round of 32. In first position, surfer in white, Jack Zietz, taking the win. Coming in second in the red jersey, Reed Platinus. So those two servers will be advancing into the round of 16 coming up later on in the week. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we will be right back with heat number two in this round of 32. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Up every single race, paradise is be named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search for many and miss. Travel for many and miles. Find a fine and miss. And have a time and miss. You may have a million problems. It's a place to ease your mind. Welcome to my place. Oh yeah. In our mind. All right, back to the broadcast, live action. Coming up in this heat, number two, round of 32, we're gonna see in the red jersey, Tosh Talbot from Costa Rica, Blair Barton from USA, Grayson Grant from Sweden, and Will Dean from the USA. As you see the surface on your screen, big shout out to Courtney and James Barton. I know you guys are watching. Welcome to the broadcast, and here we go, up and right in Tosh Talbot from Costa Rica, throws the first turn up in the lip, floats the second section, trying to get out in front. He's gonna get out in front and get some more work done. Cutting it back, letting this one wall up on the inside. This young surfer from Costa Rica, and he can't quite negotiate that little end section, so the rave rolls underneath him. But that's gonna get him on the board. Yeah, Tosh just getting us started on this heat, coming from quite deep. Couple of foam climbs, makes his way out onto the open face. Looking for the inside reef for him, pumping, trying to make it on the inside, but that wave just rolls away down the reef. So he'll just get started.
So Tosh, opener, opener of red, 4.3, 4.3 for red. So Serpent and red currently sitting ninth in the rankings. So we will be qualifying two surfers on this men's side for the World Championships in this Junior Man Tour ranking. So Ch Tosh managing a seventh position, seventh place in the Ranjan. And a 13th place at Slocal. All right, a little shout out to our sponsors. I want to say a big thank you to BTMI. Diamonds International, Tourism Development Corporation, and Slam 103. Also, Info Rentals, BHTA, the Barbados Hotel Tourism Authority. Zacchio's, providing all the food. General Distributors, Lloyd's Tea, Sun Bum. The Sun Bum crew is out today, handing out samples. We got Chipmunk, Eco Sky. Mount Gay Rum, Banks Bear, Remy Martin, and St. Luke. All right, so with 16 minutes in this heat number two, round of 32, we're also seeing the likes of Blair Barton placing second in the run, John, recently. I think he missed out last year. He was injured. Also placing 17th. Pismo Beach. So he's sitting in fourth position. So with a good result here, he can leapfrog somebody. Coming up a little later on, Kai Kushner taking a win at Slocal in Pismo. And also Owen Moss taking out the win in Virginia B uh, in Ronjon. And here we go, blue up and right in. This is Blair Barton. Yeah, Blair opting to go left on that one. Yeah. All right, Blair getting his account open. 15 minutes to go, just waiting on a replay. Looking at Blair's opening wave, Blair decides to take the left and throws it into that section. Nice wraparound, controlling it through the white water, riding out just the one maneuver. All right. First of blue, 517. First of blue, 517. So while we have a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Jack Zietz, winner of the last heat. We are welcoming back by the St. Louis Glass, Jack Zietz, who just won the first heat in this round three of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm just stoked to get a couple waves in my heat, and uh, it's kind of a slow start, and I was just figured I got to get an early uh, wave soon after sitting for 10 minutes, and uh, stoked to start off with an eight. Yeah, I, I did see you start out with a strong wave so that must have been a little confidence but then yeah it kind of slowed down although there was a lot of action with the other boys how did you manage to keep your cool and back up your eight yeah i mean i i watched it for a while and i figured i i knew which wave i wanted and um i kind of just waited and i didn't really see anything i was interested in and then i figured everyone kind of had small scores like fives so i got that first score and then from watching it all day i figured there's a couple inside ones that i could get under priority and I just tried to back it up as quick as I can. Yeah, well, it did work out really well for you. So that will be it for the day. Next heat will be tomorrow. Yeah, uh, that's my last heat today, and I'm stoked to keep going. And hopefully tomorrow is a little bigger and better quality waves. Well, let's hope you carry that momentum again for tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you by the glass again. Yeah, yeah. You want to give a little shout out to friends and family back at home? Yeah, I just want to say like a big thanks to Still Frothy again for paying my entry fees and helping me get here. And then Doll Waves, Dave Latinsky, he the uh, best mentor I could ask for, and my dad for coming and supporting me and making this happen. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Keep Thank it up. You. 
<laughs> All right, back to live action. This is Tosh Talbot, surfer in red. Had a couple of waves ridden while we were on that break. We will catch you up, two of them, as we watch Blair Barton going left again. Nice wrapping cut back, bangs it off the white water. Working it all the way down to this last section, trying to get a finishing maneuver in about six inches of water. So he cuts out. Blair coming from Virginia Beach. All right, looking at this replay of Jack. Oh, Back Grayson. to live action. Grayson. This oh, is Grayson. Sorry, Grant. Grayson. Sorry, Grayson. Grayson Grant, yeah. So this was his opener. He earning himself a 4.7 on his opener. So all the scores are in. So the first of red, 4.33 and a 2.7. First of blue, 5.17, First of white, 4.77. First of green, 2.3. Green also waiting on a right. That was a 2-3-3. Three, three. So first place goes to blue, sitting on a 5-1-7 and a 4. Second is red, sitting on a 4-3 and a 2.7. White is third, sitting on a single wave of a 4-7-7. You require a 2.2. Green, you are fourth, sitting on a 2.3. You require a 4.7. 11 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. So looking at that replay from Blue, that was his 4-0-3. Yeah, a few of the competitors opt in to look at the left. So coming up in the next heat, Wheeler Hasberg, William Hedelson, Nadeev Attar, and Tomas Leeson from Barbados. So Wheeler, the high seed in that heat, Rank number fourth. Coming up on the 10 minute, 30 second mark. We are in heat number two in the round of 32. All right, server's battling, putting themselves in position. Surfer in green with priority. Red has a higher priority over white. Sorry, over blue. Blue lets him go. This is Tosh Talbot from Costa Rica. Currently in second position, looking to replace a 2.7. Working it all the way to the inside, looking for this last finishing maneuver. And he goes out the back. Nine minutes, 15 seconds remaining. He's going to drop his best. All right, so blue giving away to red on that one. Red coming around that section, throwing a big wrapping turn. Now he's going to just try to get to work to keep his momentum up so we can try to look for that inside section where hopefully it stands up. This one just rolls away. Looking at a replay of White, Grayson. Nice turn, second turn up into the lip. Loads of commitment coming out. And back to live action. Blue had a big opening maneuver. And he's going to kick out the back. So we're going to look at these two scores. Last of red, 357. But we're going to look at these two scores from Blue and White. These were definitely more quality waves. Here we're seeing Blair. Going straight up vertical in that first section. Coming around on the outside. Just a couple of small wraps. Loses interest in that way, but that opening maneuver was explosive.
So Blue is currently in first position. So we still got two scores to drop for Blue and for White. So last of White, 4.7. Last of Blue, 433. So Blue, you remain in first. White, you are in second. Red, you drop the third. Red, you require your last wave coming in at a 3.5. You require a 5.1. And Green, you are fourth. You're sitting on a single wave of a 2.3. You require a 7.1 to move up into an advancing position. Priority order, green, white, red, blue. Seven minutes, five seconds remaining. So servers in the next seat, you are free to paddle out in that five minute mark. Just please remember, stay down in the channel for me. I'll give you more than enough time to get into position. Thank you very much. So these surfers know that they're only going to maybe get one or two more opportunities with six minutes remaining. So Green, he's going to use his priority. Will Dean throwing it up in the lip twice, kind of gets hung up a little bit, working his way back out onto the open face, and he's going to go out the back. He's kicking and scratching to get back out there as quickly as he can. Yeah, here's Will throwing the... Fins out on that first one and then throwing the board as high up into the lip as vertical as he can. Nice little wraparound again. Will's been, Will's been quite impressive all week. Very fast surfer. Yeah, he's currently sitting in 22nd. Yeah. He's currently sitting in 22nd position. So the score is going to drop for Green. I'm just comparing some scores with five minutes, 35 seconds remaining. These surfers are battling for 1,000 points towards their qualification. Right now, Owen Moss and Kai Kushner are within that qualification. As we qualify the top two surfers from this region, and we're looking at Blue. He's up and riding. Working his way to the inside, big first turn up in the lip. So eyeing up this north section, throwing it up vertical. Blair Barton stamping his authority and on the outside, White, Grayson Grant, the first and second position surfers. Well, looking at this replay of blue, Blair coming from quite far deep, makes a nice first wrapping turn and then just turns on the afterburners and attacks that last section. Vertical, right in the pocket. Green, your last wave just dropped at a 4.8. You now require a 4.6. Four minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Waiting on blue and white. Yeah, we just saw Grayson with a short up and down. Didn't see a lot of scoring potential there. Decided to kick back out, try to maintain a higher priority. But waiting to, for a score to drop for Blair with that explosive finish. All right, last of blue, 677. Blue, 677. So waiting on the last of white to drop. Yeah, so two will be dropping for white. So here we got Grayson staying busy, going on the left, taking off, turning on the afterburners, and launching into the air. Picks the nose, manages to spin and ride out. So just the one maneuver. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Priority order, red, green, blue. So red, then green, then blue. So while we wait for those scores to drop for Grayson, we want to shout out Alan Burke. Said he's tuning in from over at Freights Bay, enjoying the coverage. Local legend and dad to Josh and Jacob Burke, both still representing Barbados in the QS. All right, last of white, 4.9. So surfer in red, you now require a 5.3.
Surfer in green, you now require a 4.8. Two minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Surfers in the next seat, please stay down the channel, hold your positions. Priority is red, green, blue, white, green, up and riding. Wrapping it down onto the open face, working his way to the inside. This is a really important wave for green. Working it for all it's worth. Got some work done on the outside, but two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. We're gonna see what's gonna happen here. All right, so here we got Green on the replay, throwing a nice gouging curve to get started. Second one, throwing the tail out. Another little wraparound, rebound off the white water. One more little rebound. So Green getting some work done. So red, uh, sorry, white, this is live action. He's trying to answer back Green, and he stamps his authority. And on the outside, Red, he was also looking for a score with one minute, 30 seconds remaining. This heat's going to finish just like all the rest with a flurry of waves. This is going to give the judges all something to work about. So let's take a look at White's wave again. Charging down the line, does a little lip line float, throws it up vertical into the white water, and then attacks that vertical section. Nice wraparound carve. Waits for it to stand up on the inside, or pumps his way to the inside. And then, nice finish on that incoming section. So live action, green up and riding. He, trying to answer white. And red throws the reverse, spins it around, maintains control in the white water. And he goes out the back. So with 40 seconds remaining. So the last two minutes, that heat really turned on, Lou. Yeah, I kind of lost track of how many waves are, are due to each surfer. I think quite a few. Looking at red here, a little wraparound turn. Waits for the wave to set up. So 20 it seconds remaining. So last of red, two, three, seven. So he stays in third with 10 seconds remaining as blue sets on the outside. Floats the first section, comes around driving hard off the top. Another big wrapping cut back off the top as this is live. Working his way to the inside as the heat comes to a close. So surfers in the next heat, stand by. We're on a short hole. We got a bunch of scores to drop. We're gonna get good looks at all of these. So here we're looking at Blair's last wave. Stands up, just tags the white water, makes his way around that section, throws a nice gouging carve. Once again, nice wraparound carve, staying close to the power source. Three big wraparounds, throwing loads of spray, and then tags it vertically, almost picks the nose, loses a little bit of speed on that last maneuver. All right, so I definitely know I got two waves for green coming, and I got a wave for blue, which is probably not gonna affect anything. But the more important wave is the one for the surfer in white. It was a big outside wave. He's, he's going to look to try to increase the requirement for green. So this is really important. The judges are really giving this one a good look. The surfers in the next heat, just hold your positions. So this is where we're just patient with the judges, giving them plenty of time to deliberate. They're gonna analyze, compare. Try to drop accurate scores, reflective of the work the surfers did out in the lineup. All right, so Green drops a 607 and goes to second, however, White has a score to come. So we're gonna hold the phone, we're gonna watch that, we're gonna analyze that, and I'll give you the whole situation. So momentarily, Green goes to th second. So 
White requires a 6.01, drops a 6.6, .6, goes back to second. So the heat's gonna end with blue first, white second. Blue also had a finishing wave, which is gonna go in the score line, but that's just gonna increase his lead on second. So blue first, Blair Barton, first place, second place goes to white, Grayson Grant. We're gonna cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with the start of heat number three in this round of 32. We'll be right back. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, back to live action. We just saw a flurry of waves as usual in that last heat, flip-flopping third to second, then third, then second back to third. Well, so it's very exciting. Heat number three, round up 32. Coming up in this heat, we are gonna see Wheeler Hasberg, William Hedelson, Nadav Attar and Tommaso Lesen from Barbados. Another stacker of a heat. We're going to go all the way down to heat number eight. Probably finish sometime around 8.30 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. So here we go. Drawing first blood is surfer in blue, William Hedison. Working it onto the inside. Just a smaller wave. Looking to just... Cam his nerves, get his feet in the wax. Board looking a little spicy under his feet. So small away, but he got some work done. So we'll break down the replay as soon as we get it. Yeah, I think William will be happy with that opening right. Get his feet in the wax and work into a rhythm. Here we go. Stands up, throws it right up into the white water to tag. Nice little wrap around, throwing some spray. Pumps to get his speed up. Another little tag of the section and then comes in. And throws it up one more time. And then one, two more tags to finish. So the key to all these maneuvers is board speed. As long as you have that speed up and momentum, then the board feels loose and maneuverable. There we go, Red. This is Wheeler. He's going to go left, throwing up the first turn, and he goes out the back. Saw some scores dropping in the last heat on that left. But the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It's starting to come back, back more around from the right. So that's... Maybe get conditions a little bumpy. We'll see what happens. So first of red, first of blue, four, six, seven. Yeah, Wheeler getting started with just a quick up and down. Here we go, green, Tommy Lason from Barbados, a little bit too far behind that peak and he goes out the back. We see a set, surfer putting himself in position. So he opts not for that ride. So whether we have this little break, we are going to cut to the glass standing by with Amaya is Blair Barton, winner of the last heat. Here we are with the winner of heat number three, no, yeah. Heat number two, round three of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro presented by Diamonds International. Blair Barton, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm stoked to be here. You did do great. You showed some uh, power turns over there. Not an easy heat. A lot of waves were ridden. How did you manage over there? Um, it's, it's pretty small right now, so it's pretty similar to home. But it was pretty slow, but I just tried to get the ball rolling and get as many waves as I could. Did see that a lot of waves were ridden, a lot of action towards the end, kind of a close call, but more towards the uh, the second spot. So not bad for you. Um, you feel pumped for the next round? Yep, just getting the nerves out in the first couple rounds. So I'm stoked for the next ones. All right, can't wait to see more. You wanna sell us something maybe for friends and family back at home? Of course. Uh, I just want to say hi to my family, every all my friends back home watching. See you. Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Cut back. Bangs it vertical, flicks out the tail, bangs it vertical again. Nice wrapping cutback. Tommy Lason and finishes strong. So local boy, Tommaso, 
The crowd like that one. Simon, tell yeah. us about Tommy and that wave. Oh, well, that's my little buddy right there. Very Bert. proud to see this or oh, been last of white. With a lovely first top turn. But a lot of jam in the pocket. And a sweeping roundhouse, perfectly timed. And one more just to finish. So we're queuing up the replays. Last of green, Tommy Lason. Starts off with a little check snap to redirect. He's setting this thing up. Gets one tap in the, in the pocket, then swoops. Throws the tail a little bit, and a second. A round, a round snap in the corner. Set up the inside section. And he just gets a little tail jam at the end. So that'll be a good score. I'm sure um, Lason can't be happy with that one. So this is back to live action now. Surfer in white. Still waiting for some scores to drop. Red, your first was a 3.33. Blue, your first was a 4.67. Blue, up and right, and he's going to use his priority. Goes up in the lip, pushes out the fins, working it out onto the open face. Cutting back, letting this one stand up. Cutting back again. He's going to stick with this. It's going to maybe give him a little inside runner, but it fizzles out, and he kicks out. And here we go. Green blows out the fins, comes around the section, pushes out the top of the wave. Surfing it all the way to the inside. Tommy. Banging it. Oh, and he just can't hang on. Flicked out the tail a little too hard. So as we'll let the judges work on these scores. So I have a score for blue and a score for green to drop. Back, back to live action. Watching white, notice the replay. And two jams in the pocket. Trying to make inside connection and gets one more hit. That was a smaller wave. Replaying last of blue. So yeah, William on this one, making two nice big snaps on the outside. A slightly bigger wave to start, but doesn't find that north section. And the wave peels away from him. So more east in that wave. Looking for a We're still waiting for scores, Wheeler. The only score that's in is your first score of a 3.33 and Blue's first score, which is a 4.67. So I still have another wave for Blue to come, one for Green to come, and one for White to come. Two more scores for Green. Twelve minutes, thirty-eight seconds remaining. So last of white. Previous of white. Six three three. Previous of white. That was a six three three. So we still have one more for white, one for blue, and two for green. Twelve minutes, twenty seconds remaining. And yeah, that was a nice exchange there. So last of blue, 477. Previous of green is a 6.4. That's the previous of green. Green still has one more score to drop, and so does white. Then I'll run down everything. So last of green, 4-1-7. So one more score for white. Eleven minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So blue just up and down on that last one. Yeah, so last of white, 4.10. So situation in the water, green first. Green, you have a 6.4 and a 4.1. White, you are second. You have a 6.3 and a 4.1. Blue, you are third. You have a 4.77 and a 4.67. You require a 5.6. Red, you are fourth with a single wave of a 3.33.
you require a 7.1. 10 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Priority order is with red, white, green, blue. So priority, red, white, green, blue. Cameraman is owing us a couple of replays, though. Yeah, so local boy Tommy Lason getting started with two back-to-back -back waves. I think he took both of those under priority. Here he goes again. So up and right, and Tommy Lason surfing his way into the channel, coming off the bottom, throwing it out, blowing out the fins, and he goes down. Tommy uh, showing some local knowledge to. Again, find a nice little wave under priority. Just tries to throw that a little too much into that lip and comes unstuck. Yeah, Tommy overcooked that one a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just put a little too much oomph. <laughs> too much hot sauce, as Simon said. Looking at the replay of Tommy's last wave. Here he comes. Draws back, waiting for that wave to stand up nice and vertical. Goes up in there, tries to throw the back foot out and just loses connection. Tommy's sitting with a couple of decent scores, realizing he needs to get the judges excited. So with nine minutes, 20 seconds, Wheeler's going to pull the trigger with priority. Nice wrapping cut back out onto the open face. Another cut back, just giving it a little flare, sliding out the tail as he works his way onto the inside. And he's gonna go out the back and out the back, surfer in white. He's gonna let this one roll under him. But he's actually gotta duck dive it. All that wave needed was a little bit of a north peak on it and it would have been a bomb. We're playing last of red, this is Wheeler. He has a lovely fin release there, big arc. And a big wrong house cutty. He does really well to keep to keep up with this little insider which shot just split in half on him. But the outside work was done. So we're still waiting for this score for red. Judges are analyzing every little aspect of it. Judges taking their time, deliberating. In the meantime, we got Wheeler pulling the trigger on an insider. He's working his way. Little wrapping cutback, slides out the fins. Kind of gets hung up a little bit, but he's strong enough of a server to pull that nose of that board right out. So previous red, your previous red was a 6-1-3. So red, you go to third. You have another score coming. You just require a 4.3. Seven minutes and 15 seconds remaining. So, so last of red, 3-8-3. Three, three. So that's not enough. Red, you still are in third. You still require that 4.3. Blue, you are currently in fourth. You require a 5.6. Seven minutes remaining. The surfer's coming up in the next heat. We're gonna see your number two ranked surfer, Kai Kushner. He's gonna be coming up, paired up with Lucas Cassidy, Rex Hennings, and Becca McCart. You surfers should be checked in. You can paddle out in about a minute and a half. That's going to be another exciting heat. The surfer on the outside in white holds priority, followed by blue and then green. green. So yeah, Wheeler just realizing that he was under priority, decided to pull the trigger on a couple of smaller waves. Not quite getting the score required, but working himself into rhythm. And here he goes again. You go up and right, and this is red throwing out the fins, working out onto the open face, going straight into a bottom turn, pushing out the board, but can't hang on, and the wave runs away from him. That was unfortunate. I think he was on his way to that score for sure. 
That was a good start to that wave. Yeah, he's still, you know, it's only a small score, so let's see what happens. That was some good real surfing there. First turn was looking good. If he didn't get hung up, he could have well been well on his way to a good score. He made the first turn. It was the second turn. He jammed it. He overcooked it a little bit, but he was well on his way to a very good score there. So only really one maneuver completed. So here's the replay. Goes straight up into the white water. Gets some air. All right, so last of red drops a five. You go to first. Green, you drop the second. White, you now go to third. You require a 4.2. And blue, you are fourth. You require a 5.8. Five minutes and five seconds remaining. Judges really liking that, those, that first two combo. Yeah, that outside maneuver where he managed to get some air and throw the fins out. Definitely a dynamic outside maneuver, which again, the judges have consistently shown they like to see those outside maneuvers. He got a little underneath the tail of the board. He got a little fin drift there. That score was going excellent if he landed the third maneuver. Yeah, if he could have kept going, who knows where that would have gone. So Red, your last wave coming in at a 5.0, you go to first. Green, your second. White, you are third, requiring a 4.25. And Blue, your fourth, requiring a 5.81. Four minutes, 13 seconds remaining. So Simon, this next exchange could be really important. Considering coming down to under, under four minutes, the last exchange here is going to be very critical. Yeah, I think with all the surfers just requiring a mid-range score, anything could happen. Ocean's a little bit sleepy right now. Guys got to be, guys in third and fourth got to be wishing for a wave. Guys in first and second wishing <laughs> it goes flat. Exactly. So with three minutes, 20 seconds remaining, servers in the next heat are free to paddle out. Please just stay down in the channel. While well, there's a little lull in the action, reminding you guys to go over to the bar, get your sunbun sunscreen and free sunbum lip balm samples. Go visit Trish and Fiona and Ryan. Stay hydrated. Plenty of Banks beer, Mount Gay Rum, and Mer Remy Martin on sale. We also got burgers, cheeseburgers, fish cutters, chicken cutters. So for those of you who don't know, in Barbados, whenever we take a bun, like a burger bun, whatever we put in the middle of it, we call it a cutter. So if you put egg in it, it's an egg cutter. If you put fish, it's a fish cutter, and so on. So go grab yourself a cutter. Simon wants to make sure that Zed's doing okay. We want to make sure that Zed's got his Eco Sky water, staying really hydrated. Keep that pulse rate down as he watches his son Tommy hang on to second place with two minutes to go. Tommy, just 15 years old. Amazing kid, amazing surfer. Really suited to these conditions as well. So shout out to Coach Layson, another local surfing legend, one of the guys that I used to come here when I was a kid and watch them out in the lineup. All right, so with one minute, 30 seconds remaining, this is going to go by so slow for somebody I know in that tent. <laughs> one minute, 20 seconds remaining. So at this stage, the surfers in first and place position with lower priority are hoping that the water stays flat. The surfers in third and fourth with the first and second priority are going to be wiggling their bums, hoping for a wave to come through. And we got our first place surfer. He's up and right, and we're in Hasburg. 
So servers in the next seat, hold your positions, 50 seconds remaining. White pushing himself up in the point, putting himself in position. He's looking at this one. He's setting and he's up and riding. Fin drift on the first turn, nice wrapping cut back. Blue paddling as well. Here we go. Blue up and riding on the outside. And on the outside, Tommy Lason finding a nugget as Blue continues on into the inside. Blows up the fins, throws it out, working his way onto the north section. Completes the maneuver, Tommy Lason. Here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Working it all the way to the inside. Trying to finish strong, throws it up and completes the maneuver. And Red, the heat leader on the outside as we come to an end in three, two, one. As the horn goes, it's all up to the judges. Surfers in the next heat, you guys got plenty of time, trust me. There's no reason to waste wow, your energy. We got Luke. so many scores to drop. We so, are literally on our feet after that finish. Wow, that was local boy Tommy Lason answering back. Four waves of consequence to end that heat. I think thinking um, we're looking for some hefty scores, but I think best best score might be green. So we're just looking at the replay of red quickly. Wheeler getting some work done, throwing the tail out there, wrapping it around on the white water. This was the first wave ridden, I believe, of that sequence. Staying with it and tags it on the inside. So everybody giving it their all. Here we're looking at blue. William Heddleston from USA gets up, throws it straight into the lip. A little wrap around, waiting for that reform. Gets a little hung up by the white water. Manages to come around and gets looking for war. But it looks like that wave just peters out on him. And here's the one. We're looking at Tommy Simon. Tommy picks off this, the wave of the, of the set. Huge first fin ditch. North section. Throws the tail again. Buckets of water. Redirects the right water. Throwing throwing tons of water and he gets a finish and a follow-up form claim easily the best wave of that heat oh uh, tommy will be really happy with that all right so white your wave comes in at a 477 so that puts you into second momentarily so we still got waves to come for red and for green so blue your last wave coming in at a 530 so that factors in but that keeps you in fourth so we're going to work on this green wave, and we're gonna figure out where that's gonna go. Yeah, I'd love to see a replay of green again. That is one of the waves of the day. Finding some really steep sections, big fin drifts, vertical attack, showing all the commitment we've been talking about all week. Here's green one more time, Tommy Lason, finding a nugget. Here we go, big fin drift, throwing out the fins, coming up vertical into that big section. Big wrap around, rebound off the white water, maintaining his speed flow the whole time. Tags it on the inside. One more. So we're working on this last one of red. However, the score for Tommy drops in, requiring a 4.7. Drops a 9.0. He goes to first. Tommy Lason. We still got a wave for red to come, so we'll see if that puts him back in first. So as it stands, Tommy first, Wheeler second. Last of red, six, two, three. Does not enough to go back to first, so the heat ends with Tommy Lason taking the win in first position, followed by the surfer in red, Wheeler Hasberg. We're gonna take a short commercial break. We'll be right back with the heat number four of this round of 32. Don't go anywhere.
All right, back to live action. Coming up in this heat in red, Kai Kushner in blue, Lucas Cassidy in white, Rex Headings, and in green, Beckham McCart. So we just witnessed a flurry of waves in the end of that last heat with all four surfers catching the wave. Tommy Lason from Barbados holding it down, the third wave of the set, the biggest wave of the set, Cam and composed, went to work, drops a 9.0, and goes from third to first to advance into the round of 16. Yeah, that was perfect for Tommy. He was holding third priority and got the third wave of the set. It was just worked out. But oh, we have red up and right in. On the, uh, going left, big air reverse, rotates it. Kai Kushner completes the maneuver. And Kai likes that. Kai's a regular here in Barbados. He and his dad have been coming down for many years. They absolutely love it here. Never miss the opportunity to come over and visit. Looking at Kai taking this left, stands up, starts to generate some speed, launches into the air. Nice rotation, rides out, gives the judges a little stare down to say, hey, what do you think about that? All right, stand by, ladies and gentlemen. While we have a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to Amaya with the last heat winner, Tommy Lason, dropping a 9.0. Here we are at the San Luis Glass with the winner of Heat 3, Round 3 of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro and loving memory of Xander Venezia, presented by Diamonds International. One of our young local heroes, Tommy Lason, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank, thank you. Super stoked for you. A little buzzer beater there, a nine point. Yeah, I'm so happy to get that wave. Last 30 seconds, because, yeah, I knew I had to get another score. And when I saw that wave, I was just so happy. And I just tr didn't fall, tried not to fall, and I didn't. And it worked out in my favor. Yeah, it worked perfectly. I mean, Subal did provide for you on this one. And you hit right where you were supposed to hit, held it, and that was a score, a nine point. You must be super stoked for the next round now. Yeah, definitely. I, this is the furthest I've made it in a junior, so making the quarterfinals is pretty, pretty nice, and I'm so, so happy. We're all very happy for you, very proud as well. And it's only the beginning, don't worry. Many, many quarters and, and over. So how are you going to prepare for the next round? Um, just relax. I'm not worried too much about it, and yeah, just focus, and yeah, I'm done for the day, so just relax, watch another person's heat, one of my friends, and yeah, get ready for tomorrow. Sounds great. Um, Dad and some other family is here. Yeah. Hi, guys. Um, boy, you might want to say something for sponsors, maybe, to the camera? Um, yeah, just thank you to all my sponsors for the support, and yeah. <laughs> and mom, sorry. Hi, mom. <laughs> and my parents and my family for the support, so thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Can't wait for the next round. See you rip it up again, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Last of red, 217. So we're back to live action. So previous of red, 683. And last of red, 217, with 16 minutes remaining. He's the only server to catch a wave, so he will go into fourth priority. Yeah, Kai jumping out the blocks, getting a couple of quick scores. I know he was super bummed to go out of the QS. Kai, again, one of the faster surfers out there. Always oh, got that board moving on rail. So coming up in heat number five, we're going to see the current points leader, Owen Moss. He's going to be taking on local boy Warren Povey. Benji Lang and Titus Santucci. So that's going to be another barn burner of a heat. We got 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Green looks at this one. Nobody takes it. So there does seem to be a little more energy in the water. I can see some lines as they roll over this reef with a little bit more north in them. It's not. 14 minutes, 50 seconds. So the wind is coming back a little more to the left. Just creating a little bit of chatter on the face. 
as red. Kai Kushner is going to look at this one. He's sitting on a 683 and a 217. So you. So, so you're tuned into the BTMI Live Like Xander. This is the round of 32 in the junior men's. This event is presented by Diamonds International, brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. And here we go, Red, looking at that one, but he is in fourth priority. Priority has not been established within the other three surfers yet, as they have not caught a wave. That's how it works. We go to conventional priority to begin the heat. As you catch a wave, you go into fourth priority, and it will roll on from there. Yeah, so Kai with the fi fourth priority, just trying to stay busy and try to improve his scores slowly. No point sitting around waiting on the set because he's got three guys ahead of him. So he's going to just stick a little closer on the inside and hope to pick off a nugget and get to work. Want to once again shout out to everyone tuning in online whether via the WSL app, YouTube, on the site, saying hi to everyone from all over the world tuning in. There we go, putting themselves in position. Surfer in white, Rex Hennings, another extremely talented young man. Every one of these heats could be a final. He's rolling his way down onto the inside, throwing it up in the white water, wrapping cut back. All right. Rex manufacturing a score there out of what didn't look like much of a, a wave for him. Lots of white water, but he manages to come around, keep his speed up, wrap back, and then look for that little bit of a steeper section, generate more speed and keep that board moving. So back to live action. Here we go. Blue, Lucas Cassidy. Out onto the open face, throwing up in the lip, pushing out the fins. Throwing it up one more time, speed, power, flow. So that'll get him on the board. That's going to hand priority to the server in green, sitting on the outside, Becca McCart. Last of white, 4.5. So just here looking at Lucas Cassidy from Mexico, throwing the tail out there, lots of spray. A little bit of a wraparound, but then that wave peters out, so he just comes on back out. So we have three surfers from USA in this heat and one from Mexico. So shouting out all our viewers in Mexico and all over the States. Big shout out, my good buddy, Travis AJ. Listening all the way from Mad Dog Surf Shop. So the only surfer we're waiting on for a wave is Beckham McCart. Oh. Here we go, blue up and riding. Lucas Cassidy, he just dropped a 5.33 on your first effort. Lucas, 5.33 on your opener. Looking to back up that score. Rex Hennings in white, 4.5, 11 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Heat number three in this round of 32. So we got some serious action coming up for you tomorrow, right through the next week right through the rest of the week. As we see Surfer Green, he's gonna pull the trigger. Becca McCart, trying to get past this next section. This little float re-entry. And on the outside, white is setting as Green continues on to the inside. So white having some fun on the outside and Green goes down and red on the outside, he's setting. Kai Kushner, he's trying to back up that 683, and he goes out the back. So with 10 minutes, 35 seconds remaining, we're going to see where these scores come in at. So here we have a replay of Beckham McCart opening his account, racing down the line, trying to regain his board speed, a little bit of a pump, waiting for that section to stand up. Nice wrapping gouge. Another bit of a wrap back to the white water. Little pump to the inside, looking for one more section to tag. Oh, he just comes unstuck at the end. And the replay now of White Rex Hennings, again from the USA. Nice fin blow. Throws it out, attacking that little section. Waves are small, but they're clean and they're fun. Oh, and Rex just comes unstuck as well. And now we're looking at Kai. 
blowing out, wrapping it back round. Doesn't see much more scoring potential, so he packs out as well. Okay, so last of red, 4.0. Waiting for green and waiting for white. With nine minutes, 26 seconds remaining. As a surfer in red on the outside, giving this one a look. There he goes, he's gonna pull the trigger, Kai Kushner. He's up and riding. He's currently sitting on a 6.8 and a four. Nice little carve. Throws out the fins, going up vertical, two major maneuvers, but a little bit of a smaller wave as he works his way onto the inside. Looking to try and ditch that four, make the requirement a little bit more. Currently in first position. Yeah, Kai really paddled in hard to get his way into this one. Stands up, has to start pumping to generate some speed as it starts off a little flat. But as he goes down the line, starts to stand up a little bit more, give him more to work with. Nice turn there, throwing lots of spray. Another nice turn, lots of flow. Little tag off the white water. So once again, Kai just staying busy. So judges are still working on that for green and also for red. So green and red, you still have a score to come. 8.20 seconds, 8 minutes, 20 seconds remain, remaining. And green up and riding. Working it out onto the open face. Little series of slashes. Nothing real major on this wave. And he's going to go out the back. And on the outside, server in white. Rex Henning sees something he likes. He's scrambling hard to get into it. Floats the first section out onto the open face. Nice wrapping cut back. Letting it stand up, pushing out the fins. And blue on a nice looking outside wave as white continues onto the inside. Lucas Cassidy, big, two big turns. And finishes strong. All right, the crowd love it. Waiting for these replays. So la previous of white, 5.5. .5. Last of green. 3.4, so green, you still have another wave coming. Blue, you have a wave coming, and white, you have a wave coming. So all four surfers have waves to be scored. Yeah, looking at the replay of Rex, straight into a little vertical flow of crime, makes his way around the white water, gouge in turn, throws it up, another big wrap. Looking for that inside section, pushes the tail out, looking for that point of difference for the judges. And now we're looking at a replay of Lucas from Mexico. Here we go. Plenty of speed, big gouge and turn up in the lip line. Another big blow tail. And a third tail, blow tail. He likes that, three mo maneuvers, lots of flow. Yeah. yeah, this boy turned some heads throughout this week. So last of red, 6-0-3, working on white. Last of white, 6-3-3. Three, three. Now the last, so red up and riding, a live action, and he goes, gets up and goes down. So we're working on the last of blue. A little bit of a priority mistake there for red. Pulling the trigger on that one and not finding a score. And on the outside, white. Throwing the reverse and goes down. Five minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Judges are working hard on this blue score. He had a really nice first maneuver. He went straight into another maneuver. Yeah. And that could flip-flop everything. Have we got a replay of that last wave from blue? So score is starting to drop for Lucas. Two major maneuvers, and he's going to get rewarded for it. As we watch green, this is going to flip-flop everything. One more score to drop as green goes down. I'm, my eyes are glued. So last of blue, 9-3-3. Blue goes to first. Red, you drop to second. White, you are now third. White, you require a 6.5. And green, you are fourth. You require a 9.3. Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining.
So here we go, White up and riding with four minutes remaining. So last of, of green, 447. Last of green, 447. So green, you now require an 8.39. So Lucas sitting with that big score of a nine and priority. He's going to be feeling pretty good out there right now, Lou. Yeah. There we go. White up and right in Rex Hennings, and he goes out the back. He's requiring a 6.5, recognizing not much scoring potential on that wave. He's hunting, though. He's sitting on a 6.3 and a 5.5, but the wave of the heat was that surfer in blue, Lucas Cassidy. Three minutes remaining. So here's the replay, I believe, of Blue's last wave. Big wrapping gouge outside. Throws it up into the lip. And a third big turn, throwing the, throwing the fins out the back. Three major maneuvers, one after the next, seamless surfing. Speed, power, and flow. So, Surfer and Blue sitting with priority on the outside. Looking at this nugget coming in. Here we go. Lucas Cassidy up and right and eyeing up this north section. Pushes out the fins. Goes straight up in the lip. Finding lovely rhythm and white. Sorry, red on the outside. Another big maneuver. This third major maneuver. Fakai, and he's going to go out the back. Servers in the next heat, please stay down there and hold your positions for me with two minutes remaining. So here we got Lucas coming up straight into a nice vertical turn, up into the lit line, banging it off the white water, drifting the, the fins. One more turn on the outside. A little bit of a white water rebound. He knows the work is done outside. And now we got Kai Kushner in red, straight up into a nice wrapping turn, throwing the fins, throwing some spray. Another big wrapping turn, more spray on that one, and then a third vertical tag. So Kai and Lucas try to defend their positions in first and second. With some good surfing there. Let's see what the judges think. So a minute, 15 seconds. We have a score to drop for green. Also blue and red. All right, here we go. Look at this. They see it, so I can say it. Well, who's turning? White's going to use priority. He's going to turn. Rex Hennings up and riding. This one's got a little north in it, as you can see it, up in the lineup. Working it out onto the open face. He's gonna get a big north section to smash. Throws it up, throws a reverse, and completes the maneuver. So this is gonna rival it all with 30 seconds remaining. <laughs> Rex Henning getting the crowd on its feet, and he likes that. So watching the water on the outside. Green is up and riding. Servers in the next heat. Stop, stop, stop. Just wait. Still five You're seconds. Gonna, they're going to have plenty of time. They've got big scores to come down. In three, two, one. Well, Lou, once again, a flurry at the end of a heat. It seems like every heat just ends with plenty of action. So servers in the next heat, please stand by. We've got some waves to come. I see blue... S score drop in, the last of blue drop in, 8.5 for blue, pair it up with your 933, you have a 17.83 two wave heat total, that is the highest two wave heat total so far for this event, however we still have a score for red to drop and white, that big score for white is going to come in, also green. Yeah, white's so, feeling that one. So the scores are going to really compare. Just had that replay. White had two solid maneuvers and then a nice air reverse. Managed to stick it in right out and then salute the crowd. 
So let's see, plenty of action. We're gonna give the judges time to deliberate. So this is an important score for Red coming in. So last of Red, 7.70. So as it stands right now, we have blue first, red second, but there's a wave coming for the surfer in white. Look at that replay of Lucas again. Absolutely going to town. Lucas is really enjoying himself out there, the surfer from Mexico. So while we wait, the judges just take their time looking at replays. They're gonna do a comparison. They're gonna analyze. All right, so the judges are up here comparing scores. So serve is in the next heat. Just stand by, this heat has ended like every other heat so far for the day. So we saw the server in red better his score, however, we got the score of White coming in. Here's the replay of Rex. White. Yeah. First turn up in the section. Nice wrapping turn back to the re Whitewater rebound and then just launches into a nose pick air reverse. Rides out and salutes the crowd. So we're All gonna. Right. Scores are gonna get typed in. Here we go. All right, the score is in. He requires an 8.2, drops an 8.63. So white goes to second. So official results, blue. Blue first, white second. Sending server in red to third. So we're gonna take a quick commercial break and we will be right back with heat number five in this round of 32. Don't go anywhere. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. As we're back to live action. So coming up in this heat, we have the number one seated surfer, Owen Moss. He's also the points leader in red. Warren Povey in blue. Benji Lang in white. And Titus Santucci in green. What a barn burner that last heat was. We have surfer in third position with a 14.53 two-wave heat total. That is higher than any other winner of this round yet, and he was third. And the two second, the, the second place finisher was a 14.97, but taking the day is Lucas Cassidy so far with a 17.83 two wave heat total. What an incredible heat we just watched. And once again, all the fireworks coming at the end. Every getting single the crowd heat. on their feet. Yeah, every single heat. We've had to be on a five minute hold, dropping scores. That went down to the wire. Yeah, we could end up being here an extra hour this afternoon <laughs> with the amount of time we've had to wait on, on scores, deliberating, because it's been so close. But we never want to rush the judges. We always want to make sure that the surfers get accurate scores to reflect the surfing they've done. Once again, messages coming in from Tobago, want to shout out all the Tobago posse tuning in. All right, giving this one a sniff, Benji Lang. He's got a couple of excellent scores under his belt, are ready for the day, competing earlier in the round of 48.
Yeah, so well, a big hello to everybody tuning in from all over the world, whether it be via the WSL app, the WSL website, or straight live on YouTube. Subscribe to the WSL page on YouTube. Tune in and enjoy the broadcast. Feel free to leave a comment. Let us know where you're, where you're watching from. I'm going to tell you, though, the action we are witnessing here at the bowl is off the chart. The talent that is here, and we are only in the round of 32. Juniors. Yeah. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. And forecast with hopefully some slightly increasing swell over the next few days and wind still staying favorable. Here we got Warren Povey looking at one. Yeah, Warren, local boy, giving this one a look. He's going to be up and right, and here he goes. He's got a little bit of a north section on it, comes off the sec. Oh, and he goes down. Foot, back foot looks like it just slipped off, and he goes down. So let's hope he can reset, come back with a clear head. Warren was saying he was having a little issue with his back early in the week, so hopefully he managed to get that sorted out. He's out there competing. He's going to give it his all. I told Warren it's probably just growing pains. <laughs> Coming up in heat number six of this round of 32. All right, we're going to call the heat, but for right now, we have a little break in the action. We're going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Lucas Cassidy, winner of the last heat. Here we are, the San Luis glass with the winner of heat five, round three in the BTMI Live Lysander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. Lucas Cassidy, how are you? I'm good, yeah, super, uh, super happy to take the win. Um, I was, uh, I was getting a little nervous because it was like, there was like 10 minutes left in the heat, and nobody, well, Kai had a six, eight, three, and but everybody else had like fours and threes and fives, and yeah, I just, I got that one nine, and it kind of gave me a, like a confidence boost. Well, that was a pretty solid heat total. Do you know that is the highest heat total of the, the whole contest for both QS and juniors so far? Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> the 933 and an 8.5, so looking really sharp over there, loving the flow. The, the judges are loving it as well. So you want to maybe talk to us about your board? Because I have a feeling it might be like related. <laughs> yeah. Um, right now I'm writing a epoxy CI 2 point pro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, I got it right before I came to the contest. Uh, I had. I only had like my Hawaii quiver and uh, yeah, I just used all my boards that for like just everyday surfing and yeah, I needed I need a new batch and uh, Brent and uh, Brent Power and Brent Merrick uh, hooked me up with uh, a batch of four boards and this one's magic and yeah, I'm super happy. I mean, it's looking great under your feet. I see there is a bit of volume around here, so that's good for those kind of more mellow conditions for bowl. Um, well, I mean. Great, you're looking great over there. You want to say a little something for friends and family, maybe back in Mexico? Sí, um, saludos a todos los que estén viendo, apoyando. Um, estuvo, estuvo difícil el hit ahora, no, no salieron muy buenas olas, pero um, sí, aquí andamos, vamos para pa los cuartos, creo. Y sí, este, ojalá entre un poco más de suel. Y sí, este, super feliz de pasar mi hit. All right, thank you so much. Congratulations again. Can't wait to see the next one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. We are back to live action with 13 minutes and 30 seconds in heat number five in this round of 32. While we were on that short interview break, we did see Owen Moss dropping just two small scores of a 2.33 and a 3.5. Benji Lang going left, manufacturing a score of a 2.83. So nothing of real consequence. Yeah, we just see Owen here on the inside, trying to work himself into a rhythm. Smaller wave, doesn't give a lot off on offer, but it's always good to get your feet in the wax and get one or two waves under your belt. And even though that's a smaller wave, Owen went to town on it. Now we see Benji going left, big wrapping turn, showing us the tail, and then another big wrap.
Oh, here we go, red up the right <laughs> on the inside. Owen Moss just trying to get two scores on the board, sitting on a 3.5. You never know what can happen. So he's trying to manufacture this score. Either that or he's reliving his days at Cocoa Beach. And green up and right on the outside. Cutting it back, working his way onto the inside. As the two surfers on the outside see what's coming. Surfer in blue with priority as green goes out the back. Right, that leaves local boy a priority. Let's look at the replay of red. Owen Moss once again staying busy. Looking nice and loose. Aggressive first turn. A little tag of the white water for the second. Tries to build his speed for the third. Tags the lip. One more little white water tag. And then finishes by blowing out the fins again. <laughs> and how we look at green. Titus. First maneuver up into the lip. Big wrap around. Another big wrap around. Throwing plenty of spray. Third big wrap. Blowing out the back of the board. We have another paddle battle. So red and green will hold third and fourth priority. So priority order is blue, white, red, green. Blue, white, red, green. Waiting for that last of red to drop and also the first of green. So surfer in blue, Warren Polvey on the outside with priority. And for those of you tuning in that aren't completely familiar with some of the surf terminology and lingo, on your surfboard, the tip of the board is referred to as the nose and the back of the board, we refer to as the tail. Here we, here we go, blue up and right, and Warren Pulvey using his priority, working his way onto the inside. So last of red, 483, last of green, 3.8. 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. All right, Warren using his priority on that one. Warren started off the heat with the first wave, but got hung up, so he, after a little reset, that would be a much better score for him to get started with. So just under 10 minutes remaining. Servers in the next heat. Lucas Osin, Hayden Rogers, Teddy Whitman, and Hudson Saunders. Green, your, lot, your first wave was a 3.8. 3.8, you are currently in second position. Blue, you are currently in third position. Your last wave for blue was a 2.5. So green, looking at this one, he's up and riding. Wrapping, cut back, right in the pocket, working his way out onto the open face. Gonna let this one stand up. No real major maneuvers. Nice finishing maneuver, but there was nothing really on the outside for him. As Benji Lang goes up and riding, Couple of nice backhand turns as he goes out the back. So surfer in red, Owen Moss with nine minutes and five seconds remaining. Will hold priority, followed by the surfer in blue in second priority. So as we watch this replay. So looking at local boy Warren, try to get his account open. Smaller wave, just trying to make some cutbacks. Waiting for that section to stand up. Does a little tag there. Rebounds off the white water. So that will open his account. And now we're looking at Titus. Big wrapping turn. Another wrapping turn, staying near to the white water, which is the source of power on these smaller waves. And now he puts on the afterburners down the line for one big tag to finish. All right, so service in the next heat as Warren kind of shifting down on the point. He's going to let that one go, but green is going to also let that go. So servers in the next heat, you have about three minutes before you can paddle out. Please remember, please stay down in the channel. I will give you at least 30 seconds to get from where you are to where you want to be. No reason to try and creep up. It, it gets very confusing up here when we have eight surfers in the lineup. Even though you don't think you're in the lineup, it's a priority issue. So it's difficult to tell who is who for the priority. 
So White with third priority is looking at this one. He goes up in the lip. He just dropped a 3.97. So Red's going to pull the trigger. Owen Moss out onto the open face, cutting it back, working it out onto the open section. Bangs it vertical. Drifts the fins. Another wrapping cut back. Last up, green, 477 green. So you go to first. However, we have a score coming for red. So looking at red's replay, he got some work done on a real short section. Very fast work. Smacks it wrapping up into the lip. Another gouging wrap. So three maneuvers in quick succession on the outside. Smaller wave. All right, so Surfer in blue will hold priority on the outside. He's going to let this first one go, and green is going to be up and riding. Blows up the first turn, up in the lip, out onto the open face. As blue turns on this one, he's got a good-looking wave ahead of him. This is Warren Pulvey from Barbados, driving hard off the bottom, going up in the lip, blowing out the fins, working his way out onto the open face, cutting it back, working his way down to the end section of the wave. So manufacturing that one turn on the north section with six minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Last of red, 5.9. Red, you go to first. So looking at the replay of local boy Warren gets up, tries immediately to generate some speed, get down the line, deep bottom turn, flies up into the section, comes around the white water. Nice big wrap. Wave starts to peter out. So he gets the two maneuvers, but that first outside maneuver was awesome. Here we go, live action, red, up and riding. He is your current heat leader, sitting on a 5.9, a 4.8. Owen Moss, big vertical turn, throwing some spray, going straight up into a wrapping cutback with five minutes and 28 seconds remaining. So waves coming for all four surfers. So Owen's strategy seems to be to keep busy in this heat. Here he goes, keeping the board moving nice and loose. Big snap off the lip there, and another gouge. So four maneuvers in that short space on that little wave. Owen is keeping busy. So priority with white, green, and now blue. Waiting on scores to drop for blue, white, and red. So last of blue, you come in at a 3.17. All right, full situation. Red, you're first sitting on a 5.9 and a 4.8. Green, you're second with a 4.7 and a 3.8. However, white is looking for a score. Comes in, not enough. So white, you are third sitting on a 3.9 and a 2.8. You require a 4.6. And blue, you are fourth with a 317 and a 253. You are sitting in fourth. You require a 5.4. Four minutes remaining. Priority blue, sorry, priority is white, green, blue, red. White, green, blue, red. All right, so last of red coming in at a 623. That doesn't affect third and fourth. So last of red, 6-2-3, paired up with a 5.9, and you're in first. So waiting on this score for Warren, for Surfer in blue. Yeah, so red just increasing his lead, making the requirement for second to overtake him a little bit higher. All right, last of blue, 3.0. Blue, you are still in fourth. You still require that 5.4. Three minutes, five seconds remaining. While you're on the beach waiting for the next set to come through to check out some more action, head over to the bar. Help yourself to some refreshments. Plenty of food on sale. All right, last of green does not factor in. That was a 3.33.
Last of White also does not factor in. That was a 1.7. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Also, just shout out, letting everybody know that Zacchio's will be open until 7 p.m. All right, Red, your last score was a 6-2-3. Oh, and you are in first place. Absolute pristine conditions today here at the Bowl. Yeah, just needed to be six foot. <laughs> Here we go, White using priority. Benji Lang up and riding, working it out onto the open face, throwing it up in the lip. Banging it up once again. Some big turns and blue on the inside as White kicks out. So we're gonna follow the score for White because this could be this could be something. We're gonna watch this replay. So here we see White starting off slow, just getting a couple little wraps, but then he just continues the flow and bang, bang, one more. So White getting loads of work done on that smaller wave. And then we had Blue right behind it. All right, with 50 seconds remaining. <laughs> 30 seconds. So white requires a 4.6, drops a 5.6, goes to second. Green, you drop to third. Green, you now require a 4.8. And blue, you now require a 6.4. So green with priority. He's scrambling to get into this. He's up and riding in this first turn, second turn up in the lip, out onto the open face, wrapping cut back, working it out onto the open face, trying to manufacture this small score. Counting it down in three, two, one. So that ends the heat. So once again, we're gonna wait for the judges to drop this last of green. Looking at the repair, Red Owen, trying to secure his lead. Big snap off the white, incoming white water section there. Looking at Green, nice wrap to start. A little bit of a check turn, waiting for the wave to develop. Big wrap in turn, rebound off the white water. Another little snap check inside, finds a little bit more, keeps the board moving. One last snap, and he will kick out. So it's all in the hands of the judges now, Lou. All right, service in the next heat. We're on a short hold, just waiting for this last of green to drop. Green, you require a 4.8. Your last wave coming in at a 3.9, not enough. So the heat ends with red first, taking the win, followed by white second. You two servers will be moving on into the round of 16, coming up later on in the week. We are going to go to a short commercial break and we will be right back with heat number six in the round of 32. Stay tuned. All right, back to live action. Here we are in heat number six, round of 32. In red, in, there we go, looking at the servers in this heat. Lucas Osten, Hayden Rogers, as you see up and right in, he was in the blue jersey. Teddy Whitman in white, and Hudson Saunders, as you see him going left, he is in the green jersey. So while we were on that short break, we had no waves ridden, so there's really nothing to catch up on. Just those two waves as the heat started. 
Yeah, so all four riders here representing USA. So shout out to all, everyone tuning in from back in the States, whether you're on the East Coast or the West Coast. Big hello from Sunny Barbados. All right, live first of blue, 4.0. First of green, 283. So Blue getting a good score for one maneuver, but he threw it vertical into the oncoming section. Again, showing that commitment. Green was looking for, I think, a section, a little air section. Didn't find what he was looking for. Just a couple of check turns, and he'll kick back out. We got red and white looking interested. There we go. Surfer in Blue is the only one in position. Hayden Rogers in the bowl. Up in the lip, working his way out onto the open face. A little bit of a north section ahead of him. And white, he's going to hit that oncoming section as blue continues down into the line, into the rip. So surfer in the red jersey will assume priority on the outside. So let's we'll see what those scores go. If we look at this replay of white. So this is Teddy Whitman. He just turns on the Chargers, throws it off, drifting the fins, and then a rebound and back up to reverse pick off of the oncoming whitewater again. Well-surfed wave. Looking at Hayden Rogers, first wrapping turn, deep bottom turn, another wrapping turn, waiting for this wave to stand up a little bit. It's a little bit flat at the moment. Another nice snap. And another nice snap. So Hayden Rogers getting plenty of work done. All right, here we go, red, Lucas Osten. This is his opener. Working his way out onto the open face. Lucas is currently in sixth position. We see surfers jockeying for position on the outside. Green's gonna use his priority. He's gonna leave it. So that wave just looked good and just kind of rolled under them. So while we have a little break in the action, we're going to send it down to the glass. Hanging out with Amaya is the last heat winner, Owen Moss. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we are at the San Luis Glass with the winner of Heat 5, Round 3 of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro presented by Diamonds International. Owen Moss, how are you? Hey, yeah, I'm good. Uh, stoked to make my heat. That was pretty, pretty grindy heat, but uh, glad to get through it. Yeah, you were just telling me you kind of got slow-ish during your heat. How did you manage to keep cool and still got some good scores under your feet? Yeah, honestly, I was just like, all right, now I'm just going to try to hunt double ups under priority and just try to get a couple of scores and see what I can get. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it. Nothing really. I never really was in priority the whole heat, so that kind of kind of sucked. Like, I was in position for the best two waves, but I couldn't go because I had lower priority. Um, but, yeah, I know it felt good to still get first and get a couple waves. Well, keeping busy seemed to be the right strategy for you there, so good, good for you. And you look pretty strong and confident over there after your, your win last week. Um, do you have the goal to, like, kind of win here again? Yeah, no, definitely um, be sick to go back to back, but uh, just focus on one heat at a time. Everybody's surfing so good, so you really got to be on your game, and um, yeah, I'm ready to go. For sure, no easy heats over there at all. You all boys are, and girls are shredding. It's so good to see, so sure. keep it up, man. Uh, right. Maybe a little shout out to friends and family. Yeah, yeah, just shout out to my friends and family. Um, thanks for the support. I'm sure you are watching. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Up in the north section, another big wrapping cut back, working his way all the way to the inside, throwing it up vertical, getting some work done on the inside. 
Working his way all the way to the rip and kicking out. 14 minutes remaining as we are back to live action while we were on that short break. We had a couple of waves. Redden Hayden Rogers dropping a 4.4 and Teddy Whitman dropping a 3.43. So currently, Surfer and Blue is in the lead, followed by White. We're going to watch this replay of Red. This was his opener. Yeah, nice vertical attack for the first maneuver. Big wrap and turn. Another wrap and turn. Doesn't see anything else on offer, so cuts out. Now we're looking at Teddy Whitman's second wave. Nice holding wrap. Staying with that power source, waiting for the wave to stand up, and now he tries to attack it more vertically. Gets a little hung up. Just about rides out, but loses the opportunity to score more on that wave. Yep. We also had Green drop in a nice, ridden, a well-ridden wave during the break. So Green, you dropped a 6.0 on your last wave. So Green goes to first with a 6.0 and a 2.8. Blue, you are second with a 4.4 and a 4.0. White, you are third with a 4.6 and a 3.4. You require a 3.8 to move up into an advancing position. And red, you are fourth with a single wave of a 437. You require a 4.07. With 12 minutes, 30 seconds remaining, Green just having a quick up and out. He's looking to better that. He's looking to back up that six point ride as he only has that paired with a 2.83 with 12 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, Green chose to use priority on that last wave and it paid off with the highest scoring wave of the heat so far. Very well ridden. All right, com coming up in this next heat, we're going to be seeing Ryan Huckabee, Cole McCaffrey, Kai Granny, and Laird Lavick as we watch Green working his way onto the inside, trying to back up that six, just two maneuvers, and he's out the back. So Hudson using that strategy of recognizing that he's in fourth priority instead of sitting around trying to stay busy and manufacture scores because knowing that every now and then there's an absolute nugget that will roll through the inside the other surfers could be slightly out of position. And if, if he gets that one that gives a little bit of a north section and stretches out along the beach, he could definitely uh, increase his score with his backup just being a small score at the moment. So just a reminder to everyone out there, this event, both events are the last events of the 2023-24 season. So we will be crowning champions right here on our soil. We have always been the last event of the season. As we look at Green going left and he's up and out the back. So last of Green coming in at a 3.13. So he does better that 2.83, but just ever so slightly. 10 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Priority is on the outside with a surfer in blue, followed by red, then white. Yeah, it's so exciting that we're going to be crowning champions right here in Barbados. Heartbreak and happiness. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of heartbreak on this beach this weekend. There's also going to be a lot of elation and happiness. Well, we'll have some Mount Gay to celebrate and some Mount Gay to commiserate. Here's Green looking at a little insider. Yeah, here he is up and out. He's staying busy. He's just trying his best to better that. 3.13. Blue has a higher priority, so White is going to straighten out. Hayden Rogers working his way onto the inside. Big backhand. Slash off the top, pushing out the fins. So a quality wave, quality maneuvers is going to give you a quality score. So Hayden was really smart there. He managed to achieve two things there. He managed to prevent White from going on to score any higher by using his priority. And then he also managed to potentially increase his own score with a nice vertical snap. One, two. There's the money turn. One third snap, one third wrap around, sorry, and he cuts out. So Hayden will be pleased with that, knowing that 
he scored well while preventing his competitor from scoring. Because White started off with a really aggressive attack on the white water there. All right, eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Surfer with priority is red. Being patient, waiting. Lucas Osten, he is currently sitting in sixth position on the rankings. Still waiting on that score to drop for blue. There we go, it's dropping now and it's gonna be looking good. 7.0 blue, 7.0. There you go. So as I said, quality wave, quality turns, quality score. So he goes to first. So server and first, you're sitting, blue is in first, you're sitting on a seven and a 4.4. Green, you're in second, sitting on a six and a 313. White, you are in third, sitting on a 4.6 and a 343. You need a 4.5 to advance. As we go, Lucas Osten throwing up the fins. He's requiring a score as well, looking to get in this mix. He doesn't want to feel left out, so he's got two maneuvers on the outside, sitting on a 4.37, just a single wave. So this wave will go in a score line. Yeah, Lucas sat there for quite a while. Here he does, manages to scramble in, goes straight up and attacks that first section. A little bit of a wrap, gets hung up a little bit on that second turn. Third turn is a nice wrap and rebound, and then that wave peters out. So oh, oh, Lucas decided to pull the trigger using his priority on that one. And as you were saying before, Hayden dropping that, that hammer with a seven. Here we go, last of blue, sorry, red, 5.2. Three, Lucas, five, two, three, you go to second. Green, you drop to third. You now require a 3.6, Green. And White, you are fourth. You now require a 5.0. Six minutes, 56 seconds remaining. So just referring to that wave earlier, White was actually scored on that wave, even though he had to cut out and give room to Blue. Yep. White yeah. score came in at a 3.3. .3. Blue managed to block him and then score a seven. So that is excellent use of strategy and priority right there for all the viewers at home. So six minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat. You're gonna be paddling out in about a minute and a half. I just wanna remind you all, please stay down in the channel. We're gonna be seeing Ryan Huckabee, Cole McCaffrey, Kyle Granny, Kai Granny and Laird Lavick. They will be doing battle for the top two. We'll advance and move into the round of 16. Today is a absolute beautiful day. Look how crystal clear the horizon is. We get affected quite regularly with Sahara dust. The air just gets dusty. It's not really a big deal. It actually makes for amazing sunsets. And when the wind drops in like this, gives the dust a chance to settle. As we look at Surfer on the outside in red, he's gonna take this one. Lucas Osten on under fourth priority. He's got a nugget ahead of him. And he goes out the back. Didn't really have much on the outside, but it's gonna hit the reef on the inside. But he knows those big scores are coming with those outside maneuvers. He's currently in second position. So he's looking to replace a 4.37. We know how explosive this boy could be. So Surfer on the outside in green, he's got priority. He's gonna use it, here we go. Hudson Saunders floats the first section, throws it up on the second section, cutting it back, wrapping it round. Another nice wrapping cutback and he goes out the back. So with four minutes, and 40 seconds, he is sitting on a six, and just a small score, looking to better at 3-1-3. So he doesn't need much to go to second with four minutes and 30 seconds. Here, so here he go. goes, he requires a 3.6, drops a 4.1. So green, you go to second. Red, you drop to third. Red, you require a 4.8. And white, you are in fourth. You require a 5.5. Four minutes and five seconds remaining.
All right, servers in the next seat, you're free to paddle out. Just remember, please stay down in the channel. All right, three minutes, three minutes. Priority is on the outside with the surfer in white, followed by blue, red, and green. So green is gonna go from way up inside, <laughs> blows out the fins. Red hunting, hunting, hunting. He's got one sneaking up under him, but he's not gonna be able to get into it. That one had a little north on it, and it's going to close out. So White, he's going to look at this one. He's going to pull the trigger with 2 minutes, 28 seconds. Teddy Whitman blows out the fins, but he goes down. So Surfer in the lead with Blue is going to hold the priority, followed by Surfer in red with 2 minutes and 12 seconds remaining. Yeah, Surfer in Blue, Hayden Rogers holding priority and first position. So he's sitting in a strong position right now. Surfer in green in second place is going to be trying to play some defense, but he's third priority to blue and red. Under two minutes to go. Do you think we're going to have another one of those last-minute flurries? Well, we've got to wait and see. Can't really call anything, but we don't see anything. Whether we see it, when they see it, we see it. I think only one heat petered out without a lot of action towards the end so far. So Surfer and White with fourth priority is going way up the point. Surfer and Green, he's in third priority. There's not really much he can do to hold off Red. Next heat, hold your positions. So red's gonna look at this one, but blue's gonna hold him off with 50 seconds remaining. Hayden throws it up in the lip, out onto the open face. Wait there, Wait there guys. With th 43 seconds remaining. All right, so we just saw Hayden Rogers playing a little bit of defense, using his priority to twenty five seconds. Next seat. Here we go. Surfer with red in priority. He's gonna pull the trigger. Lucas Osten, big wrapping cutback out onto the open face, throws it up in the lip. Green behind him as well with three, two, one. So this will count for Green as Lucas Osten's working his way down onto the inside, sending it all the way down, waiting for it to line up, which it doesn't do. So stand by, we are on hold. Next heat, we are on hold. So we got some scores to drop. <laughs> Once again, we, Soup Bowl does not disappoint. No, it doesn't. That's what we're talking about. So we had Lucas there on the first wave trying to take... Oh, first we're going to go with Teddy. Teddy Whitman rushing down the line, throws it up, gets a little air, but then gets a little hung up in the white water. Right behind that, we got Lucas Olsen trying to manufacture a score to get into an advancing position. Big wrapping turn, another wrap back. Yeah. 
And now we got Green playing some defense. Hudson straight up into the lip. Big wrap and turn. Another big wrap and turn. Rebound off the white water. Straight up into the lip. Throwing the fins. Another wrap and turn. On a slightly bigger wave. So Lucas putting the pressure on Hudson. And Hudson playing some defense. So let's see what the judges do. All right, so here we go. Red, you drop a 5-1-7. You go to second. However, we are waiting for scores for green and white. So with the scores coming in for white is a 3.5, not enough. Now we're looking for green. Green, you need a 4.4, drops a 5.6, turns the heat, goes to first. So first position, green. Second position will be blue, Hayden Rogers. So Hudson and Hayden are moving through. Surfers in the next seat, please stand by. We are going to go on a short commercial break. And we will be right back with heat number six in this round of 32. Stay tuned. Come from a place, we upset every single race. Paradise is being named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways. Travel a million miles. To find a paradise. And have a time like this. You may have a million problems. Seek some place to ease your mind. Welcome to my place. Oh yeah. It all's mine. Oh mine. This place here is the sweetest place. My country you can eat on. Ten seconds, and we're back to live action. Just about to start this heat in three, two, one. So coming up in this heat, we have in red, Ryan Huckabee. In blue, Cole McCaffrey. In white, Kyle Granny. And in green, Laird Lavic. This is heat number seven, round of 32. BTMI, Live Like Xander, Junior Men's. Presented by Diamonds International. The surfers in, out there getting busy, Lou. In memory of Zander Venezia as they're putting themselves in position. They see something. Way up inside the point. Who's going to pull? Laird Lavic up and riding. Almost a parlor. Another big turn off the top. Looking at that closeout section. Surfed that whole wave, didn't even make it into Soup Bowl. Not even made it into the bay. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. guys all paddled way over to the right to get started. We had a heat did that earlier. But I think once they recognized that it was really hard to get around that first section, they all kind of paddled a little bit back down into the bowl. It almost seems like every heat starts up there, but as soon as the surfer catches one wave, yeah. they come back right here into the point. As you can see, the surfer in green, just off of your screen, he's doing... He's paddling straight back into soup bowl. And you tend to see that happen after the priority's been established as well. Yep. So first of green, 317. 3.17. Early going in this heat. It's just a fair score to get started. Once again, trying to start and get a rhythm. Absolute pristine conditions out here at soup bowl. All right, while well, we're standing by, waiting on the next set, we're going to throw it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Hudson Sanders going from third to first in that last heat. Then we're going to stick with this, a green, and then we're going to cut. So we just see green, we'll get you his score after the interview.
All right. Experiencing some technical difficulties, so we're going to stick with this. Ryan Huckabee in red from Flagler Beach, Florida. Setting up this inside section. We saw Ryan drop a big eight, way over eight points yesterday. So he goes up and out the back as we see blue. And now we're going to cut to the glass. Here we are with Hudson Saunders at the St. Luke interview. Wait. Oh, at the St. Luke interview glass. He just won heat number six, round three of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, lots of action over there. Everything kind of got decided in the end with that almost buzzer beater. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I was a little nerve wracking. I didn't really know how I did till I got to the beach, and it's always hard when you're waiting on the sand. But yeah, happy I got that last one before the buzzer, and always feels good to get a win. Yeah, I mean that's a good um, good start. I mean start-ish of the comp, uh, straight into the quarters. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never got to the quarters in a pro junior, so it's kind of new for me. But I'm excited to give it a shot. Well, that's pretty sick. Congratulations! And you were also telling me first time in Barbados. How are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's awesome. The waves are super fun, really nice people, weather's great. Yeah, it's a good time. Perfect, perfect. You want to give a little shout to maybe friends and family back in California? Yeah, say hi to my mom, my sister, to my dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, Can't wait to you. see more. Yeah, Have I'm a good excited. evening. Thank you. Bye. All right, back to live action. While we were on that short break, we saw the scores come in for the surfer in red. He dropped a 4.67. Also, the second of green dropping a 2.5. So you can see there on your screen the situation. Situation in the water, green first, red, you are second. And blue and white yet to open their account. And they will, as we look at this replay of, of green, yeah, just a smaller wave, gets up, starts moving the board, lots of pumping, trying to generate as much speed as he can to get down the line and tag that one section. Looking at a replay here of Red, Ryan Huckabee manages to come around that little section. Big wrapping turn back to the white water. A little bit of a pump, keeping the board moving, trying to generate a little speed, hope for that wave to stand up a little bit and a nice tag on the inside. So live action, Ryan Huckabee. Working on this inside, it's got a little bit of a grower on it. Gonna generate some speed. Nice big and cut back. And slides out the fins. He's a big boy and this was a small wave. And green on the outside, he's gonna go left. Seeing how this works on. And on the outside, white gets into this one. That will give priority to the surfer in blue, Cole McCaffrey. So Kai Granny from Panama, living in Costa Rica. I was at, I was at home earlier when the Granny boys went through. Oh. First, let's break down this replay of Red Ryan Huckabee making something out of nothing. When he first stood up, that wave was tiny. And as he went down the line, it just kept growing and giving him more to work with. Still having to move his board a lot to generate some speed. Here we're looking at Green. Takes a look at the right, decides to go left. Manages to get a sweeping turn once. Second cut back. Not much else on offer, and he decides to pull out. Here we see Kai Grani using his priority down the line. Does a bit of a white water foam, foam crime. Big wrap, second wrap. Doesn't see anything else on offer and decides to paddle out. So I was at home earlier when the granny, two granny boys went through and I absolutely loved the interview they did afterwards. They were just bouncing off of each other. Look, they were having a lot of fun. Yeah, they were having a lot of fun in the heat. And you could, you could see they had a very competitive nature. So you, those two boys are gonna push each other So scores trickling in, last of green, 2.5.
Last of red, 4.9. So red first, green second, first of white, 3.5. White is in third as he's up and riding. Throws the first turn up in the lip. Working out onto the open face. So, so Surfer in white, once your score comes in, I'll update the situation. Surfer sees some movement. Blue has first priority, Cole McCaffrey yet to get on the board, but he's gonna get on the board here. We'll look at this wave ahead of him, big vertical turn. Out onto the open face, another major maneuver. Another major maneuver as he works his way onto the North Peak. He's gonna stand up and wait for this to give him a last maneuver. He's eyeing up this last section. And Surfer and White just picks off one on his way out. So this was his second turn, third turn. But we're gonna wait for this score for Blue to come in. Yeah. That was a bigger wave on the outside. That was a nice little set came through. Gave them plenty to work with. Blue patience paying off. He went to town. We're going to look at Blue again. Dropping in from deep. Straight up vertical into that first section. Wraps around. Plenty of power, speed, and flow. Two more wrapping maneuvers. Throwing plenty of speed. Backs it up with a fourth. And he would have been happy with that. But then manages to stick with it. Gets a little reform. And throws one more. So... Cole McCaffrey starting off with a really solid ride. Right behind that, we had Kai Granny. Big wrap and turn. Couple more wrap backs. And then throws it up to tag it nice and vert. So he's happy with that too. All right, last of white, 417. So working on this blue, looking at this replay. Series of major maneuvers on a set wave. Yeah, once again, patience paying off, waiting for that set. And if you choose the right wave, it just gives you the platform to open up and express yourself. All right, last of blue, 817. Blue, 817. He's going to back it up right here. This little insider throwing it up, banging it off the lip. And white is on the wave behind as surfer and blue. He's going to be happy with that. White going to town on this little insider. And finishes strong, so both blue and white are going to come away with some scores here. Yeah, that's two awesome back-to-back -back exchanges for blue and white. Both no. of them getting plenty of work done. Nine picking minutes, off some nice waves. Nine minutes remaining. So priority goes with surfer and green on the outside, followed by red. So here we see Cole McCaffrey using priority, taking off on that second wave, looking for a backup score. Two nice wrapping turns and a third and a fourth. And a fifth, no downtime, so he'll be happy with that. That should provide a nice backup. And now we see Kai Granny with another nice wrapping turn to start. Throws it up, bangs it off of the lip. Nice tag of the lip there. And just like Cole, seamless transitions. One, two, three, four, five maneuvers after the other. The judges are going to love it. All right, scores trickling in, 5.5 for blue, 6.0 for white. So blue goes to first, white goes to second, red, you drop to third. Red, you require a 5.7, and green, you are fourth. You require a 7.4. Seven minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So coming up, coming up in this next heat, we're going to be seeing Luke Weiler, Luke Guinaldo, Lucas Skinner. And tail granny.
So yeah, these surfers just demonstrating that even though the waves are a little smaller than they have been the last days, there's still plenty out there to manufacture scores on. And here we go, White, looking on at the left. Currently in second position, floats the first section out onto the open face, pushes out the fins, and he goes down. Yeah, so more often than not, when the surfers take off going left, they are looking for that air section. Usually just the one maneuver. If they can generate enough speed, that left peak usually stands up nice and vert. Gives the surfers the opportunity to launch into the air and show some progression. All right, six minutes, 43 seconds remaining in this heat. Number seven in this round of 32. You're tuned into the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Men's, presented by Diamonds International, brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. This event is in memory of Xander Venezia. As the sun comes in the back of the tent. <laughs> yeah. All right, coming up on the five minute, 30 mark. Situation in water is the surfer in blue, dropping at 817. He backed that up with a 5.5 just now. He's in first position. White is Kai Granny. He is in second position with a six and a 4.6. Third is Ryan Huckabee with a 4.9 and a 4.6. Ryan in red, he requires a 4.7. And surfer in green, Laird Lavek, you are in fourth position with a 3.17 and a 2.5. You require a 7.43. Five minutes remaining. Surfers in the next heat. You are free to paddle out. However, please stay down in the channel. All weekend, we have given enough time for you to get into the lineup. So Luke Weiler coming up in this next heat, currently ranked number three. So Kai Grani taking a little interest in this one, using fourth priority. Up and riding. So Luke Weiler placed in second at Pismo and a seventh at Ronjong got him in third position. So he's looking to get up in that top two as Kai Kushner has lost in this event. So that could happen. Depends on how much further Luke can get. So there's Big implications. This is the last event of the year. A lot of surfers could possibly leapfrog others. That's why we dubbed this heartbreak and happiness. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it breaks your heart to see these kids and how much emotion they put into it. And then you're so elated for the ones who surf really well and, and make it, you know? Yeah, heartbreaking for Kai earlier. He came third in one of the highest scoring heats we saw of the day. So, I mean, that the score he had would have won most heats today. And he ended up with a third place with almost 15 combined totals. So, heartbreak for Kai. But he absolutely rips. And we know he's going to come back harder and stronger again next year. All right. With three minutes, 20 seconds remaining, surfer in green with priority, followed by red, blue, then white. So White on the fourth priority, currently in second position. The wise move. Don't know what's going to happen with that wave as the wind slowly starts the clock back around from the right to the left. Coming on sword just a little bit. So Green with two minutes, 45 seconds. He has priority and he has first pick. He's going to go on this one. So here we go, up and right in green, throws the first turn. 
up in the lip as he working his way to the inside. So two minutes, 20 seconds, he's gonna give priority to the surfer in red, Ryan Huckabee, requiring a score. So looking at this replay of green, comes from a little bit deeper on the section, just gets the one maneuver, throws it up into the white water, tries to get around, but it does not get a reform. Oh, he does get a little bit of a reform, but then decides to cut out that wave, not giving him much of a scoring opportunity. Meanwhile, on the left, we had blue just looking at a short one in and out. That'll be a throwaway score. One minute, 50 seconds remaining. So blue, Cole McCaffrey, he's current heat leader, just trying to stay busy, calm the nerves. Tried to get into that one, he could not do it. So here we go with a minute, 35 seconds remaining. It's about now we need to brace ourselves, Lou. Here we go, they're looking at it, they see it, here we go. Ryan Huckabee scrambling to get himself into position. He's holding priority. If he wants this wave, it belongs to him, but he's gonna leave it for White. White's gonna try and build on his score. First one down carve, second one up in the lip. He's got a north section ahead of him. Bangs it, sticks oh. to, and he goes down. So that's unfortunate, but leaves the door open for Huckabee sitting on the outside. And he sees this one lifting up in front of him. Is he gonna go? This could be his last chance. He's looking at it, no ride. Yeah, right. 50 seconds remaining. Kai Granny was on his way to a really nice score there, under priority, just caught the rail on the last maneuver. So just 40 se 35 seconds remaining. Perhaps leaving the door open for Ryan with one more opportunity with 30 seconds. Let's see. So green is up and riding on the inside. Next heat, hold your positions, next heat. 20 seconds, Lou. 20 seconds. Here we go, 15 seconds. Here we go, Ryan sees it with 10 seconds. He's gonna scramble for this. He's looking like at the left. Here we go, Ryan Huckabee up and riding at three, two, one. Throws it up vertical, another vertical. Out onto the open face. He's gonna look to finish it strong. One more turn. As he was on dry reef, literally. All right. So surfers in the next heat, please hold your position, stand by. We got a score to drop. As the surfer in white, he has a wave to come and so does red. So we're gonna see where this goes. So here we're looking at Kai Granny's wave first. Nice wrap and turn, straight up into the lip. Third wrap and then just catches the rail on the bottom turn, misses that last section. He was on his way to a fun score there. Now we got Ryan Huckabee with the Hail Mary, realizing he had no time left. Decides to go on the left, gets a nice tag, straight into a second vertical turn and a third wrap around. So Ryan's giving himself a chance here. I'm not sure what he's looking for, but it leaves it in the hands of the judges as we see a beautiful view of all the rock pools as the tide drains and goes lower. Hey, that's my wife and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> two beautiful I'm, ladies on the beach. I'm glad I didn't say too much too soon there. All right, we are wa waiting for this score coming in, very important score for Red. We're gonna see where it's gonna come in. Judges are giving it a real hard look. Big so shout the, out. So the last of White coming in at a 4.7. So just ups his, his requirement for Red just a little bit. Say a big shout out to Lisa and Bella down in the rock pools while we're waiting for the scores to drop. All right, waiting for this score for Red. So here we go, Red, you require a 5.8, you drop a 6.13, you turn the heat, go to second. 
So taking the win, Surfer in blue, Cole McCaffrey. And turning the heat on the buzzer, Surfer in red, Ryan Huckabee. So you two will be advancing into the round of 16. We're going to go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back for the heat, the last heat of the day. Stand by. Stay tuned. Introducing the crown of life. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, we are back to live action coming up in this heat. Luke Weiler, he's currently ranked number three on this North American tour. Paired up with Luke Guinaldo in blue, Lucas Skinner in white, and Tao Granny, Tao Granny in green. So no waves were ridden while we were on that short commercial break. So once again, Lou, some fireworks to end that last heat. Yeah, I was just saying almost every single heat for the day has ended with a flurry of an exchange. Yeah, look at this paddle battle, guys. What's going on? Everyone see something in the water? Yeah, they're just jockeying for position. This is old school surfing. Yeah. Before priority, this used to go on for the entire heat. And green, Tao Granny, up and right and floats the first section, coming out onto the open face. And he goes down as white. Looking at this, also is blue looking at this. So free surfers paddling out, please stay all the way down there in the channel. Thank you very much. So we had Tail trying to get us sorted out, but had a little bit of a bobble on the as he first stood up, didn't quite get his feet in the wax properly, tried to make it into that section, but when you're not set on the board as you like, you just don't have the same kind of control, didn't get the correct angle of attack, and just went down on the first turn. Yeah, just 1.6 on that score. Small score, that'll be a definitely a throw away for him. Yeah, that kid rips, I've been watching him. All right, we are going to stand by for these next set coming in, we're gonna throw it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is Cole McCaffrey, winner of the last heat. Here we are, the San Luke glass with Cole McCaffrey who just won heat seven, round three of the BTMI Live Like Xander Pro Junior, um, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How was it over there? Um, it was, the waves were actually really fun. It was just kind of slow, like, scrappy heat but I kind of like timed my wave right I guess I, I kind of got the only set of the heat so I'm super stoked about that yeah you did show some strong surfing and get to score that eight eight point over there and then I saw you try and like keep really busy and try and back it up so how did you find a wave around there uh yeah I knew it, like as soon as they they actually said the score as I was going on my second wave but I just wanted to like get one more on the board and then kind of like play the heat from there so that that's kind of what I did <laughs> fair enough I mean you did find like a 5.5 I believe so that wasn't too bad did you feel any stress whatsoever at the end when the guys started to get like real active and try and scramble for some waves at the end um yeah I mean it's always stressful I wasn't I wasn't like losing my mind stressed but uh yeah I mean it's a heat so you're always a little nervous for sure, for sure. So on to the quarters. How are you feeling for next heat? Is that gonna be tomorrow, Friday maybe? Um, I'm I don't know when it is. I, I haven't seen the call yet, but I'm excited to surf. I think the wave's gonna get better. So yeah, hopefully just keep it going. For sure, can't wait to see more. I know mommy's there. Hi mom, but you wanna give a little shout out to friends and family back at home? Uh yeah. Shout out to anyone that supports me or is psyched to watch me surf. Thanks. Thank you so much. Keep ripping, man. Nice seeing you. <laughs>
All right, back to live action. So while we were on that short break, we had Surfer in blue dropping a 4.67. And then just a couple of inconsequential waves for white and green. So that gives priority to the Surfer in red, Luke Weiler sitting on the outside. So you can see these scores on the board with 15 minutes and 15 seconds. This is heat number eight. This is the last heat of the day as we are just 20 minutes before five o'clock. If we look at this replay, Lucas Skinner just going down. Uh, this was a replay of Luke Ronaldo earning himself a 4.67 for his effort. Yeah, only score of consequence so far. It's been a slow start to the heat. We got Luke Weiler and Luke Ronaldo representing USA. Luke Skinner representing Great Britain and Teo Granny representing Panama. We saw his brother narrowly get beat out the last heat. Live action, Luke Ronaldo. And he's gonna go out the back, just trying to stay busy. 14 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. We're going to kick things off tomorrow morning with a 7.30 call, 8 a.m. start. We are expecting a small increase in the swell tomorrow, getting a little bigger on Saturday and a little bit bigger on Sunday. Also, we're going to see a little bit of more north filtering in. So the forecast has pretty much been very inconsistent for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is starting to shape up. A little bit more in our favor. Let's just hope the winds stay away like they are. And we're going to see some explosive surfing coming up this weekend. Yeah, I can't wait. So it looks like a little bit more wind on Saturday, perhaps. What was the wind today? 12. Yeah, so slightly increasing winds perhaps on Saturday, but you know, we're a tiny little rock in the ocean and the forecast can change so often. It feels that every time I hit refresh on my forecast app, it, it can show something different. Here we go, green. Looking at this one, he's gonna leave it for blue. He's going left, up and right and blow tail, spins it around, cutting it back, looking at that, uh, in that section coming at him. So he finishes it strong. So very, very similar to the wave that we saw Huckabee surf. Had a little more flair with this one. Second wave falls there, look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Blue's been keeping busy under priority for pretty much the entire heat, and he is, uh, that's his third ride now. Showing plenty of flair, keeping that board moving. Looks nice and loose under his feet. Yeah, showing a little bit of progression on that wave. Judges taking note, as I, as I commented, was very similar to the wave of red in the previous heat, and pretty much almost the same score, dropping a 6.17. So 6.17 for blue, paired up with a 4.6. You are in first position, followed by the surfer in green, with just two inconsequential scores. Third is white. And yet to get off the mark, holding priority on the outside is the surfer in red, Luke Weiler. So this, this, this could be a final. Every heat in this round could Every have been a final. Heat. Can you imagine what the round of 16 is going to be like? I can't wait. Oh, Lord. I, I can't, can't wait. If it's anything, with any of the fireworks we've seen today, especially the finishes, the flurries at the end, it's going to be such an exciting weekend of surfing. Hope everybody can come on out and support. Absolutely beautiful day here today at the Soup Bowl in Barbados. We so got some surfing going on. So as we come up to under 11 minutes, Luke, let's see if um, this patience is paying off for Luke Weiler. We've seen other, other competitors sit for a long time and managed to drop a big score. 
Yeah, he's just being patient. He knows exactly what kind of wave he's looking for. Being coached by one of the best in the business, Matt Myers. Matt is responsible for, I guess, putting three surfers on the world tour this year. Straight out of this region in North America. Yeah, some of the names that have passed through here over the years, a lot of them have gone on to be the, on the world tour. None of them bigger, obviously, than the GOAT, Kelly Slater. Some movement. Here we go, blue and white. We're gonna follow white, no, we're gonna follow blue, and then we're gonna go back to white, because he's smashed that first turn. Lucas Skinner on a hand-shaped board by his dad. Big up to Skin Dog. Hand-shaped in Cornwall. So here we go, we're gonna look at this replay. Yeah, Luke gets up, goes straight up into attack that lip. Nice big wrap around, tries to get back into the white water. Second, gouging wrap, then attacks it, throwing plenty of spray. And then a second, and then a third turn. Little pump, loses the inside, but the work was done. Once again, Lucas and his boards looking really good under his feet. Big shout out to his dad, Ben Skinner. Skin dog surfboards. I heard all the groms in the UK are riding them now. All right, last of white, 683 for white, 6.83. So we have two keepers on the board in the surfer in blue with a 6.17. And now the surfer in white with a 683. So they're going to look to back up those two scores with eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. The clock may start to play a factor. Yeah, Lou, you'll see their strategy now is going to be to keep busy. It puts a little bit of pressure on Luke Weiler, still sitting with priority, waiting for that first wave, but now there's two co scores of consequence on the board. So he's going to need to get busy soon, or the clock, as you said, could be a factor. As we see Lucas. Luke, uh, Lucas is going to try and back up a 683, working his way, dropping the wallet, picking it back up. Cutting it back, blowing out the fins, Effortle effortle effortlessly. <laughs> effortlessly. Yeah. That will ditch that 1.07 for Lucas, that's for sure. Looking at this replay, Lucas on the inside getting up. Once again, his board so fast under his feet. Starts to generate some speed. Big gouging layback carve. And then attacks a little more vertical section. Cuts out. That's going to be a nice backup score. So back to live action, Luke Weiler. Up and right and blowing out the fins, making that adjustment midway down that wave just now. And he kicks out on the inside, so he'll get on the board. He's going to scramble to get back out as quick as he can. He's yeah. going to have seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So Luke finally decided to pull the trigger using his priority. Looks like he got a nice little nugget. I'd like to see that wave from the start. Here we go. Here's Luke going, dropping in, looking down the line, straight up into that first wrapping turn. Comes around the white water, another big wrap and turn. A little bit more vertical section, throws the tail a little bit. Big wrap around. Again, blows out the, the tail and towards the, the beach and comes around. And we got blue, Luke Bernaldo, the busiest surf we've had so far with two big hits on the outside. He's so, looking to back up his score as well. So, so he went left, they split peaks, and he dropped a 703. And Lucas. He backed up his 683 with a 4.5. So we're now waiting for this score for Red, who's up and right, and once again goes oh. up big in the lip with six minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Surfer in blue in first position, followed by white. First of Red was a 537. So Red, you're currently in third. You require a 5.9. Green, you are in fourth. You require a 9.6. Six minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Blue, your last wave coming in at a 7.03. You are in first. Yeah, so the decision to go left for blue paid off. Two big smacks on the outside. And once again, we see the judges consistently rewarding that outside work. There we go, white, Lucas Skinner, he's up and riding. He's got an inside section to work with on the North Peak, throws it up. Hammers the turn and just gets taken out. He dropped an eight 
somebody, I, I mean, was a big eight long on his last maneuver, just go on his Instagram page. He has the whole sequence. It's pretty crazy. So five minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So he's not going to factor into his score lane. So no. neither is blue. That's not going to factor into his score lane. Here we see Lucas taking off on a small one on the East Peak, making his way down, looking for that incoming big section, just throws everything at it, but catches the rail a little bit and doesn't manage to ride out. So with five minutes, five seconds remaining, free surfers, you guys just sit right there, please. We've seen Lucas go to that layback hack time and time again. Big points when it comes off. High risk, high reward. Red, your first, your previous wave was a 537. Your last wave was a 103. You are currently in third position. You require a 5.9, four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Green, you are currently in fourth position. You require a 9.6. So as we come down to the last four minutes of the last heat of the day, Lou, I think everybody should strap in and get ready for the fireworks we've been seeing at the end of every heat. Let's see what happens. Surfers are patiently waiting. So this four minutes, five seconds remaining. A lot of heats have flip-flopped back and forth. Let's see if we're gonna be in tune for another one. Sitting with priority is the surfer in green, followed by blue, red, then white. Yeah, red and green only have two ridden waves. Green doesn't have a score of consequence yet. So he's going to be under pressure to get a couple of waves. He does have priority. The surfer in red, sitting with third priority. And looking for a backup score. So I'm expecting to see some more fireworks when the ocean wakes up again. All right, servers are putting themselves in position. Green, looking at this, he's going to leave it. Everybody's going to leave it for red. He's up and riding, Luke Weiler out onto the open face. Nice down carve. He's got an inside section, another down carve all the way back into the white water. Waiting for it to wall up for him on the inside. It doesn't really cooperate. So he is gonna throw away his score, but he's still gonna require something with two minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, just a series of wrapping cutbacks here for Red. Gets a little hung up on the first one. Second one is nice, rebound off the white water and then just a small wrap and turn. I think Red's gonna need to get out there and get some more work done. So two minutes, 25 seconds remaining. All right, scores dropping for red. So red, you require, you drop a 5.63. You now require a 5.7. So Luke, you drop a 5.63. You require a 5.7. One minute, 55 seconds remaining. All right, surfers are all looking interested. So one minute, 35, surfer in green holding priority, followed by blue, white, and red. So, that, so green holding priority, he's gonna look at this one. Free surfer, stop paddling. Green up and right in, working his way out onto the open face. Blowing the fins and going down. Yeah, Tail just recognizing that he needed a massive score and he'd have to throw something really impressive. So Luke scrambling, scratching to get into this one, and he can't get in with 50 seconds remaining. Yeah. 
Is there going to be any movement to end this heat? So Green on the inside, he's looking at this one. He's up and right, and he dropped a 2.1 on his last attempt. Nice wrapping cut back with 25 seconds remaining. Surfer in red looking at this little small insider. He's going to go left with 14 seconds remaining. Not going to offer him any scoring potential. And this one's going to come to a close with five, four, three, two, one. So that, that ends the day's proceedings. Coming in first in that heat, Luke Guinaldo taking the win. Coming in second and advancing, Lucas Skinner. So we'll see those two surfers battling out in the round of 16 coming up a little later on in the week. Yeah, another fantastic day of surfing here at Barbados at the Soup Bowl in Bathsheba. Been a pleasure to call this with you, Lou. Look forward yeah. to coming back tomorrow and seeing some more action. Yeah, it was definitely a good day. Hopefully the surf cooperates tomorrow. We get some bigger waves. We get some better swell. And we're going to see some ripping. So we're going to hang out here for five minutes. We're going to throw it down to an interview, hear what Luke has to say. And then we're going to go to a highlight reel. And we're going to throw it off for the day. So stick around for five more minutes. Watch the highlights and listen to that interview. Luke Winaldo taking the win. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. From a place, we have up every single race. Paradise is be name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search for many houses.
Andrew, let me know when. Andrew. Let me know when they want me to do the interview. I'll call it in. Let me know. Give it up. All right, we're going to cut to the glass. Hanging out with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Luke Guinaldo. Here we are for the last San Luke interview of the day. Luke Guinaldo, winner of heat number eight, round three of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You look like you were having fun at first on those little left-handers. Yeah, um, I was like... Paddled out, and I thought I was gonna go right mostly, and then like the two left, two like best left of the day came in. And I was like, "Why is no one going left?" And I was just, like tripping. I was, like looked back a couple of times, but uh, no one went, and so I had to I had to go because I'm a goofy footer, so you know couldn't help myself. Fair enough. I mean, when there is a little water on it, it's fine. It's safe. When it's low tide, you gotta be careful because it's kind of shallow. But I mean, you got the job done. Uh, how you how is the board feeling? Uh, board's feeling great. I'm riding a 511 Sharp Eye. It's the, actually the same board I rode in Florida. <laughs> so it's my Groveler, also uh, Island <laughs> Magic Board. So yeah, it feels pretty good. Well, it looks like it. Kind of an active heat again. Were you feeling any little stress from all the boys catching waves around? Yeah, um, yeah, those guys surf great. Um, it was it was kind of stressful in the beginning because I had a proper shocker in my first round in the in the QS so I was feeling pretty stressed out but you know just before just calming the nerves come down here early pray I just want to thank God for just calming my nerves and uh, and yeah getting me through that heat for sure well looking pretty steady over there can't wait to see more of that um, I think you have some family here yeah. but hi guys <laughs> you want to give a little shout out to some more people at home maybe yeah um, my brother Sage that couldn't make it hopefully we get to be here next year or Challenger series or whatever wherever we end up. Um, thank you, my thank you to my sister, my dad, Shay, my mom, my girlfriend Sarah, and um, John Daniels for coaching me and just anyone else who's watching online. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for that interview. We're gonna cut to some highlights right here, right now. This looks like Benji Lang in the first round of this Ren round of 48. Working his way on down to the inside. One of his advancing scores. This looks like Teo Granny. Also the same heat as he advanced.
Okay, that concludes today's proceedings. We're going to have a 7.30 call. We're going to have an 8 o'clock start tomorrow. As I said before, we are hoping for and expecting a small bump up in the swell. Going to be some action pack. For the rest of the weekend, we're all the way down into the main rounds of this event. More than half the event is over. So we will see how things transpire tomorrow. All the competitors, stay tuned for the email or message tonight from the tour manager. He will explain everything of what we're doing. I will make the call at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Over and out, we will be back in the morning.